American Comics, Psychiatrist, Cut Who Wonder Gwen, Author, Simple One, 101. Entrance to the Small Universe, Build a New Home, Family Roast. After listening to Su Yi's words, Little Hader watched from the side with starry eyes, and Su Yi began to shape the entrance of the Small Universe. He tugged on one edge of the entrance, then come to the expected wall and fix it. Then all four edges are straightened and go well. In this way, the back of the living room has now changed. At the same time, the scenery inside the small universe can also be seen outside. Wow Tilda, Little Halo exclaimed. The scenery in the small universe is too magnificent. Even better than in West of U Town before. But that's not all. So Yi just pulled the door out. But it looks awkward from the outside. Because of two different style gaps. The painting style changes too quickly. That's kind of weird to look at isn't it? So Su Yi walked into the small universe, then start the makeover. First change the floor where the living room borders the small universe, turn the stone floor into a log floor with a little elasticity and toughness. The floor extends from the object and changes, then go straight into the small universe. It didn't stop until a piece of the small universe was also turned into a wooden floor. This is like laying the groundwork. Then Su Yi wiped his hands. Shallow fences are erected around the floor. It looks like a backyard, but the scenery in the distance is too deep, like super far. It is too wide, so Su Yi waved again. Countless flowers and trees are soaring. Peach trees, cherry trees, gardenias, etc., are blooming all over the nearby mountains and plains. And the trees are surrounded by a circle. You won't feel so empty. But at the same time you can see the mountains and Poland not far away. That's just right. Retrofit here. Su Yi first clapped his hands in satisfaction. Papa. As for how to change it later. That's up to Wanda herself. She plants flowers when she wants to plant flowers. Plants trees when she wants to plant trees and grows whatever she wants. Anyway, the small universe is big enough. Don't say it's a bunny. Godzilla is enough to live. Little Hala saw it and immediately asked excitedly, Can I go in? Go in. You can enter as you like in the future. Wu Tilda, after getting consent, Little Hala after a few trots on the plank, jumped directly into the grass outside. This grass is so soft, so comfortable. Little Hala ran barefoot on the grass like this. The grass here is very soft. Even if O3 you stepped on the tip of the grass when you collapsed, that would also be very comfortable to step on. No discomfort. At this moment, Su Yi felt the elevator outside coming up. That means Wanda is back. Su Yi quickly looked at Hala and said, Hush. Be quiet. Little Hala braked and fell into the grass. Then it was directly covered by grass. Then Su Yi went to the door and waited for Wanda to come back. Part R, with the door being opened. Wanda came back with the dishes for dinner. Su Yi smiled and waited at the door. Looking at Su Yi's appearance, Wanda also tilted her head with a smile and said, I feel like you're surprising me. Then you feel it. Wanda closes her eyes. Take a deep breath first. She thought she wanted to feel spiritually. But with the breath, a fresh natural and floral fragrance entered her nostrils. Exclamation mark. Wanda opened her eyes instantly. She looked at Su Yi in surprise and asked, This taste. Su Yi tilted his head towards the inside to signal, but he didn't say anything. Expectation surfaced on Wanda's face. She came in and changed her shoes. Then go inside. Waited out the porch. She looked in the direction of the natural breath. Parter. Wanda's hands loosened involuntarily. She covered her mouth, but the vegetables fell to the ground. Su Yi seemed to hear the sound of eggs breaking, and Wanda also reacted after hearing it. Egg. Fine. Su Yi snapped his fingers. Eggs go back in time and go back to when they were not broken. Wanda breathed a sigh of relief. But suddenly, huge surprises filled her heart. Wanda hurried forward. Come inside the entrance. She opened her hands and took a deep breath. Wait until Su Yi comes over. She hugged Su Yi and asked, Su, how did you do it? Su Yi patted her on the back. This is a private small universe. Only we can enter, and you can modify it arbitrarily. In the future, we can not only live in the metropolis and experience the convenience of the city, but also experience different scenery in the natural world at home. After listening to Su Yi's words, Wanda was obviously overjoyed. After hugging Su Yi for a while, she quickly dragged Su Yi in to have a look. Wanda took her off her slippers, revealing a pair of exquisite jade feet. Then they set foot on the grass with Su Yi. So soft. Wanda stepped on the grass in surprise. The grass here is really comfortable to step on. You don't want to wear shoes at all. Yes Tilda. But Wanda just finished. A little Hala stood up in the grass and said, Fortunately, I tasted it just now. Talking. Little Hala grabbed a piece of grass and bit it. Wanda smiled when she saw it. She turned her head to look at Su Yi, then grabbed one to taste. Mm, Tilda. And it turned out to be exactly that. Su, try it. It's really fragrant with a milky taste. Confront Wanda's grass feed. Su Yi didn't choose to eat. Instead, he pulls Wanda over, then cover it together, 
import it and taste it. After a while we parted, Su Yi nodded for sure. It has a faint milky fragrance. Wanda blushed and tapped him on the shoulder, then turn around and look at the grassland, turned around a few times in front of Su Yi. I can see it. Wanda should especially like it here. Love doesn't work. She closed her eyes and took a deep breath. Then I thought for a while, suddenly said to Su Yi, then let's have a barbecue tonight, grill it here, let's go shopping again. Hear this advice, Su Yi's eyes lit up, too many dinners, too long a barbecue, no problem, let's go shopping. Su Yi waved his hand, Hala, are you going? I go. So the three of them went out of the small universe entrance, changed their shoes and opened the door to go out, ding. At this moment the elevator opens, Gwen who had just put away his music headphones, was overjoyed when he saw the three of them coming out. What a coincidence. Where are you going? Hot today. She put her hands on Gwen's shoulders and pushed her back into the elevator. We're eating barbecue today, let's go buy a grill, charcoal, and meat together. Roast. Hearing about the barbecue, Gwen immediately became interested, but she was taken aback. Are we going out to eat? Then why buy an oven? There's no room at home for a barbecue. So Yi smiled and said nothing. Halo with her hips akimbo dressed deeply. Wanda smiled squeezed Gwen's shoulder and said, you'll know when the time comes, let's go buy it first. Gwen looked at Su Yi, Su Yi raised his eyebrows, then Gwen knew it was true, she immediately looked forward to it, get off the elevator, Su Yi snapped his fingers, the four of them went directly to the supermarket, then Su Yi waved his fingers and said to everyone, Wanda picks vegetables, so you go and buy all kinds of beef, pork, lamb, seafood, etc, Gwen can just pick vegetables that everyone likes, such as eggplant, pepper and other lotus. I have a secret recipe for the seasoning, so the seasoning, tools, and oven are all handed over to me to buy. Wait until everyone buys and then this collection. Efficiency is emphasized this time, and Wang Da is eager to cook as a chef. So Yi finished the assignment. Gwen and Wanda both nodded in agreement. Me. Me. But Hala became anxious immediately after hearing this. What can I do? You? So Yi looked at Hala's appearance. Just follow along. Otherwise you will be alone in finding parents for lost children. Little Hala. So everyone split up. Wanda went to buy a meat. Gwen went to buy vegetables. Su Yi went to buy other items. And with little Hala. Three teams. One team. One cart basket. Wanda is a housewife. So Su Yi rest assured that she would buy meat. And it's easy for Gwen to buy groceries. Just buy fresh ones. And the vegetable and meat areas are connected together. If it doesn't work. Gwen can go to Wanda to ask and bite together. And here I am. Su Yi just rolled out a car. Little Hala sat in. Army attack. Su Yi. Su Yi reached out and patted her head. Keep your voice down. I'm afraid of shame. Oh. Shopping in the supermarket. Buy the big ones first. So Su Yi went to see the grill first. Then directly pick the good ones and buy the big ones. A few thousand dollars for the best grill. Buy it. How many packs of smokeless barbecue charcoal? Bayalmagin, by several large file sizes and small seasonings add up to hundreds of meters of gold, by Hala points to a toy that digs dirt and sand, by that one, not buying, Hala's idea of buying toys is shattered, but she still asked unwillingly, the soil in our yard has to be given away, and we have to make an open space to barbecue, otherwise the grass will be burned, Hala is right, but Su Yi shook his head and said, you do the physical work, wonder or I, who can use magic to weed and level the ground, do you have to dig with a shovel? Now Hala was speechless, then using magic, it is really a pig's head to do physical works by yourself, that's all. Su Yi also went to buy other spices and so on. Wait until all are bought. Little Hala will definitely not be able to sit down. So she stepped on the shelf of the shopping cart instead, and continued rubbing the hold basket with her hands. After seeing it, some children followed her and grabbed the basket of the shopping cart, then broke the front tooth. Su Yi patted Hala's forehead after seeing it. Just set a bad example. You, I, not a good person. Hala curled her lips, and they learned it by themselves. Okay, let's attack yourself first, right? As long as I'm not a nice person, then it is absolutely right for me to do bad things. After buying something, Su Yi pushed over to check out. Then come to the area where you gathered before. At the moment Wanda and Hala are already the waiting. Both of them bought a lot of things. They are talking at the moment. Gwen was curious and asked what was in the house. But Wanda just smiled and said nothing. Wait until Su Yi arrives. Wanda immediately waved eagerly. Here. Su, after Su Yi brought Hala over, he looked at everyone, by them all, um, then go home, this time Su Yi Tan didn't snap his fingers, so he didn't fight, but with a thought, the four of them also teleported back, huh, little Hala was stunned, why did you teleport without snapping your fingers, Su Yi opened the door and went in to change his shoes, teleportation does not require snapping fingers, then why did you fight before, for handsomeness, 0.0, .0. look, Su Yi is such a vain person, also very distinctive, but he is different, he admitted it all, then four people entered the door, Gwen noticed the difference instantly, the air has changed, Gwen's body was very impressive, and she noticed it instantly, but the next moment she looked at Su Yi suspiciously. How can there be a natural ecological smell and floral fragrance at home? Su Yi smiled. Why don't you go in and have a look? Wanda put down what she was holding. Then he smiled and pushed Gwen in. Clang, clang, 
Clang Tilda, a new area of our home. Wow Tilda, as expected. Gwen's eyes widened when he saw it. She immediately looked at Suyi and asked curiously. Where does this lead? Is it Cybertron? No. Suyi shook his head. This is an independent small universe. You can understand it as a private space. From now on, the world inside will be our exclusive world, and no one can enter. Own world. My own small universe. 687. Su Yi's words simply refreshed Wanda and Gwen's worldview. It turns out that there is still such a space in this world. Hurry up and grill. I can't wait. Su Yi waved his hand. Everyone carried things into the small universe. Wanda took off her coat put on an apron and said, I'm going to process the meat, I'll help you. Gwen also followed, and Su Yi flicked his fingers with his right hand. The grill is automatically unpacked. Then the grill parts fly out and assemble it yourself. Then he waved his left hand again. A nearby piece of turf of 20 meters by 20 meters was transferred to another place, and the vacated fertile black soil was paved with pebbles. Finally put the grill on top. This takes care of the troublesome thing about the grill. But this is not enough. Su Yi waved his hands again. A hardwood countertop appears on either side of the grill. The left side is used to put ingredients. The right side is for seasoning. Wooden rocking chairs and other furniture appear in the rest of the place. Wait until Gwen and Wanda come back after processing the ingredients. So Yi snapped his fingers for the last time. Crack. Bake Tilda. The charcoal in the grill burns directly into the flame. Now it's almost time to put the meat on the grill. How quick you are, Su. Gwen said in surprise. Hearing these words, Su Yi, who was still smiling, froze. I'll let you know if it's fast or not. Well, Gwen knew right away that she had said the wrong thing, and Wanda put the meat and vegetables on the left side indicated by Su Yi. Then pinch a piece of meat with delicate fingers. Started laying out on the grill. Silk Tilda. The barbecue made a sound immediately. But this is all normal. When Su Yi brushed oil on it again, there will also be Zilla's voice. Little Hala took out the night sky sword that she came back from the room that day. Then smoke and play on calf high or thigh high grass. Yes, it just passed by. The kind where the grass just breaks. Ha 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 Tilda. Little Hala laughed while smoking grass. Sue, it feels like killing people like crazy in the game. Well, it was useless to think about it. And Gwen also came to learn how to barbecue. She bakes with wonder. Then just drive Sue Yi aside to guide them. When to brush oil. When to turn over. How to match the seasoning. It's all about the details right? The barbecue dinner is also different from other dinners. A normal dinner is prepared and eaten together, but the roast meat is eaten as soon as it is roasted. So with a batch of meat coming off the grill, Ocean, Wanda just wanted to call Hala, but Su Yi called her. He first looked back at Hala who ran a little far away to play. Then he turned back to Gwen and Wanda. Let's eat one first, and call her after Hala reacts later. Gwen looked at the heartless Hala. This is not good. It doesn't matter. There is a high probability that we will eat half of it, and she will come back by herself after smelling it. One hundred and two. One day, absorbs Tegu, the quintessence of demons, humanoid mutants, as expected. The result was the same as what Su Yi thought. They ate here for a while. Hala in the distance stopped suddenly, then sniffled. She looked back sharply. Don't call me if you eat a tilde. Ah tilde. Hala rushed back with her night sky sword. Su Yi picked up a piece of barbecue, then dipped in the dipping sauce and threw it to her. A tilde. Little Hala received an aerial reception. Hot 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 hisso. Then he was so hot that he quickly swallowed it. But he still raised his head sharply and said, delicious. Su Yi himself was eating barbecue. Then why don't you come and eat? Come here, that's all. Two people grilled the meat and four mouths ate it. The grill is huge. Su Yi also helped to watch the fire, so the speed can be said to be just right. An hour later, everyone was lying on rocking chairs full of food. This rocking chair is the ground instead of table legs, but two curved pieces of wood. This allows you to rock back and forth while lying on it. Anyway, very cool. In addition, Su Yi made a cup of milk tea alone. Suck Tilda. Su Yi took a deep breath. Just washed away the meaty taste in my mouth. It's so cool Tilda. That must be cool. The four of them rested on rocking chairs enjoying the natural breeze. Definitely all three of them were shaking slowly. Only Hala rocks in her rocking chair. Gwen checked the time. Oops, I have to go back. I found myself going back again. Wanda got up and asked Gwen, who was packing up her things and running outside. Hasn't there been no accidents in New York recently? Why do you still have to go home regularly? It's time for the entrance exam, Gwen said, while putting on her shoes. The exam is after next week. I'll be free after the exam and the results are out. Sue, bye. See you tomorrow Tilda. Su Yi also waved his hand. See you tomorrow. After watching Gwen go, Wanda turned around and lay down inside. Gwen is going to college soon, really soon. Yes. Su Yi sighed, and counted the time. At this point, according to the sacred timeline, it has developed quite a lot. Ragnarok is over. Ant-Man has been locked up for two years. Now he should be rescuing his mother-in-law Wasp with Dr. Pine. If the time is pushed back further, that's who Thanos is going to slaughter half of the Nova Empire. Then get the power gem. After that, Find Asgard's spaceship and crush Loki to death. Then Infinity War begins. But it looks like there's a lot going on. 
but these things have nothing to do with Su Yi. Only when Thanos comes to Earth, kill him yourself. This is the most. Almost all other things have nothing to do with Su Yi. Does that mean he's getting old? It's really fast. Su Yi walked comfortably. Wanda thought he was talking about Gwen going to school fast. But what Su Yi meant was that the plot develops quickly. It's all over. Correct. Thinking of the end of the story, Su Yi thought of the following plot again. The celestial larvae inside the Earth have not yet been resolved. It is better for him to solve this matter in advance. Otherwise, it will explode suddenly. Turning back the entire world in time is still annoying. Think about it. Su Yi had already put his hand on Wanda's leg and began to feel it. Wanda put her legs aside. Let Su Yi touch it better. Gradually, Su Yi wanted to try the efficacy of the Yellow Emperor's canon of internal medicine. Also there is one more thing. That's Wanda's physicality. If you don't improve it, then Wanda has no ability to parry when facing Huang Dai aging. Su Yi was reckless. Wanda fell apart directly, so Su Yi stood up and waved to Wanda. Um? Wanda was taken aback. Then I got a little scared. She checked the time. It's past 9 o'clock. Let's be later. It's okay, you come. But you always stay late at night. That is, if you go late you can stick to it. If you go early, you will die. I will definitely faint if I don't persist until the end. And Su Yi smiled. Don't forget that I have a way to remind you of your physique. Oh yes, Su Yi reminded. It was only then that Wanda remembered this incident. So she got up and followed Su Yi to the bedroom. Then asked curiously, what the hell? Su Yi knew that the essence of demons would have deep evil thoughts. So just to be on the safe side, Su Yi asked Wanda first. Did you practice hard will in the book of Waishandi? or not be immune to the spell of mental impact. Compared with the Book of Darkness, there should be quite a few spells like this in the Book of Emperor Waishan, as expected. Yes, Wanda nodded for sure. I was practicing these spells when you said you wanted to get the Dark God book. Very good. Then Su Yi was relieved. Although even if Wanda can't hold on, I will help Wanda accept the essence of the devil. But the benefits of being able to survive on your own are definitely better than others helping you. So Su Yi took out the Tegu, which is the quintessence of demons. It looks like a jug of wine. The color is light blue, but in fact it is blood, and if you observe it at a spiritual level, you will find it. There seem to be great resentment roaring inside. Ordinary people will become manic and go berserk when they get close. Then don't talk about drinking. Someone else said it before Queenists drank this Tegu. Previous trials, without exception, they are all insane. So when Suyi took out the blood of the essence of the devil, he said to Wanda, You can cast those spiritual spells. When you're done casting it, take it from me and drink it up. Wanda nodded nervously. Then pinch your hands. The scarlet magic immediately began to flow out. Then Wanda crossed her legs in the air. Immediately afterwards, Wanda's form changed. Her clothes changed. It has become a witch costume with a large skirt at the waist and a red crown on the head. At the same time the spell is being cast. The Book of Emperor Waishan appeared in her hand. Spells began to cast on her body one by one. Wait until Wanda is ready. She opened her eyes and looked at Su Yi. Su Yi handed the essence of the devil to Wanda. Wanda picked it up and drank it in a few sips without any hesitation. Fortunately, she had practiced under Su Yi. Otherwise, it's really hard to say whether I can finish drinking it. But after drinking, Wanda just returned the bottle of essence of devil to Su Yi. Her brow wrinkled immediately. Su Yi knew it when he saw it. The resistance of the devil's essence appeared. Next comes the fight. Wanda held spells in both hands. Close your eyes and stick to your heart. Although her brows frown a few times from time to time, she is generally not bad. Su Yi waited and waited. He pointed his index finger at Wanda and continued. The zipper on Wanda's front opens. One half of the grapefruit beauty is exposed. But what Su Yi observed was not this. But the imprint on Wanda's heart is slowly appearing. This is the symbol of Tegu. The quintessence of demons. Also the logo of ability. Other Tegu are items. But the essence of demons is an ability. So its body is different. And over time, after only a few seconds, the imprint of this ability is basically fixed like a tattoo. But right now, it's also the last step. The imprint of the essence of demons on Wanda's heart suddenly changed color. Originally it was black. But it was changed to scarlet in an instant, and Wanda's hair started to change color too. Originally Wanda had long dark red hair. That kind of hair is still black if you don't look at it. But now it's quickly turning wine red. Much better looking than before. Now Wanda looks even more attractive than before. No wonder Queenests became even more beautiful after having Tegu, the essence of demons. It turns out that this Tegu also has a beauty ability. Sutilda, with the essence of the devil absorbed, Wanda opened her eyes and looked at Su Yi with surprise. She lowered her legs and landed on the floor again. Then he flew into Su Yi's arms. This ability is so strong. It complements my origin magic power. The time to use this ability is to bless it with origin magic power. So this is our. Su Yi flicked Wanda's color changed hair and smelled it. It smells so good. No wonder the logo of this ability turned scarlet. You're getting prettier too. 
Wanda, look at your hair. So you brought her hair to the front. Wanda looked down. The burgundy hair goes especially well with Wanda herself. And in this shade, Wanda's skin is as white as milk. When the two are combined, you can feel very strong color contrast. Wanda also fell in love with this hair. She looked up, looking into Su Yi's eyes. Then I didn't look good before. Su Yi smiled. Do you want to use this kind of question? No. You were beautiful before, and you are even more beautiful now. Wanda listened. Both legs can't help but close together. She stood on tiptoe, immediately became active. Su Yi pinched her lightly. It seems that someone can't wait. Yes, please, Su. Speak better. What do you call it? What is the object of the wife? Husband Tilda R. Tilda. The next day, Su Yi woke up refreshed, after working hard last night. Wanda is indeed much much better. And it feels the same. It's just that Wanda's recovery speed has become more than ten times faster. This should be related to the essence of demons, or the quintessence of demons transformed by origin magic power. The current Wanda is when physical strength and energy are exhausted. She can use mana to restore. So weak is still weak. I smoke every now and then, but battery life has improved too much. Going dizzy, right? Krypton mana fully recharged. Not enough mana. I will make up for you with Phoenix Force. Wait until Su Yi comes out of the shower. Huh? Where's Hala? He also wondered why Hala didn't come today. In the past, Hala always picked this time to pack milk. He didn't come now. But it doesn't matter. Su Yi snapped his fingers. Snapped. His whole body dries up. Clothes are also put on automatically. Look at the time. 8.15. Can also make breakfast. So Su Yi went into the kitchen and fried a steak for himself. By the way, I made a breakfast for Wanda. Then put it in the heat preservation furnace to keep warm. Finally. Put a reminder sign. Just wait for Wanda to wake up and eat. Finish the steak. Finish the steak. Su Yi wiped his mouth. Then go to work. 1855. Su Yi entered the office and sat down. It was neither too early nor too late for him. He usually arrives at the office between 8.50 to 8.59. As for the beginning of more than 40, that is absolutely impossible. It can only be as early as 50 at the earliest. It is absolutely impossible to start with 40. Even if it is 49. Bang till the apostrophe. Legs turned up on the table. Sui so leaned on the chair cushion and began to fish. Then opened the news to see as usual. But the first TV station he watched. What pops up is the emergency live broadcast on TV Live. Playback is placed in the upper left corner. The theme lives in a state park in New York. That is near the TV station building. Three monsters jumped out of the river first. Two of them are beast-like in size. But one is humanoid. As soon as the three monsters came out, they immediately started looking for something. So ye saw this. Just know that they are mutant races that have been seen once before. They seem to have a purpose. Just start shrieking havoc and hunting targets in the garden and surrounding roads. After a while. A middle-aged woman ran wildly on the road with a little girl, and the three-headed mutants also spotted the two of them in an instant. Two women confront the three-headed mutant race. Where did they run monsters? A Hilda. People around are panicking and running away. The three-headed mutant race chased after them fiercely. Toot Tilda. A school bus full of students passed by them. A mutant race took a look. It grabs the front of the car. Throw it directly at the two fleeing women. R Tilda. XN. The students in the car were screaming in terror. Water spirit. Run. The middle-aged woman pushed away the woman who looked like a child beside her, Cersei, and the little girl didn't know what to do in a hurry. But say something fun. They are also Eternals. That is, the race created by the Celestial Group to incubate the seeds of the Celestial Group and eliminate the mutant race. Every time a Celestial Group seed is about to hatch, they will be sent out to use. Wait until the Celestial Group hatches. They will be recycled, well, to clear the memory and then wait for the next use. This is the eternal race. Immediately afterwards, facing the flying school bus, Circe stood up and held out her hand towards the school bus, just at the moment where the two meet. Boom Tilda. The school bus exploded into a sea of petals. Pudgy Tilda, Puff Tilda, Rolling Tilda, and the students inside rolled out like bowling balls or billiard balls, even piled together. They're kind of scratched or something. But fortunately, I kept the name. But how to escape next? Raw Tilda. The three mutants charged up again. And Circe has no fighting power. How do you make her fight? Similarly, the water elves beside her can only do illusions. She uses ability by Circe's side. For a moment, there are hundreds of similar people here. But the mutant race can smell the breath of life. So what's the use of your illusion? So even in a crowd of hundreds of people, the three mutants still rush towards them. Without any hesitation, Circe and the water sprites to be exact. Run water elf. Circe knew it was impossible. She pushed the water sprite to make her go away. Tell the news to others. Mutants are back. No. The water elf shook his head immediately. She appeared in classic movie plots. I don't want to leave until Circe dies. I have to watch you die to react. Puff Tilda. Puff Tilda. And the mutant race is getting closer. There was nothing Circe could do. She conjured up a long sword and waited for a counter attack. But the next moment, a black and white pink figure flashed past. She flew from Circe's right to left in an instant, 
leaving only an afterimage in the air. P.S.S.D. Tilda. Then came the sound of meat piercing. The three mutants who were running suddenly fell down and lost their heads. Its blood was drawn into the executioner's body in the air. At the same time, the pleasant voice of the slayer also came. Please hurry up, I'm going to be late for school. It's Gwenda. Dot. 103. Female Knight Gwen. The Collector has arrived on Cybertron. The moment he saw Gwen coming, the students who rolled out of a school bus issued huge amounts of surprises. It's Miss Spider, Goddess. It's my Goddess. It's Miss Spider from the League of Goddesses. Listening to the noisy voice not far away, Gwen didn't care. Only his true identity is not revealed. Then it doesn't matter how crazy her fans are. She can even join her own fans to fan herself or scold herself. So Gwen is nothing to worry about. After she absorbed the blood of a mutant race, the symbiote battle suit has a delicious feel to it. That is, the taste of this mutant is very good. It has added a lot of combat power to Gwen. And what about mutants? After the instant death of a brother, the two mutant races have indeed persuaded a lot. Gwen flashed past like a black shadow just now. Then his brother died. They can't even see clearly. Now Gwen's physical fitness is terrifying. At least dozens of times more than when she first became Spider Gwen. Raw Tilda. But you can't lose momentum if you lose anything. The two mutants immediately started roaring. Among them, the mutant race in human form looked at it. It immediately rushed towards Circe and the water sprite again. Mutant clan and eternal scar clan are deadly enemies, and this humanoid mutant can also absorb super abilities. So it has to kill Circe and the water sprite first. Don't be too far away, I'm in a hurry. At this time, Gwen's voice came from not far away. The humanoid mutant turned his head. Gwen stomped on the ground with one foot. Crack at Tilda. A crack appeared in the cement floor. Jump Tilda. But Gwen instantly shot the Black Death Sword in his hand towards the humanoid mutants. Looking at the dark and lightless Black Death Sword, fear flashed in the eyes of the humanoid mutants. A death palpitation filled its brain. Raw Tilda. So the humanoid mutants rolled instantly. P.S.S.D. Tilda. But Gwen was fast. Even if it escaped the fatal attack. But one hand was chopped off from the shoulder. Plop Tilda. With its arms fell to the ground. The humanoid mutants took a look. Immediately choose to escape. Gwen just wanted to go after him. Raw Tilda. Behind her, another normal mutant rushed towards her. Gwen held the black death sword in his right hand. She shot the cobweb left and right at the mutants. P.S.S.D. Tilda. Then wrapped the head of the mutant race. Then Gwen gave a sharp tug. Raw Tilda. The mutant race was violently dragged into the air by her. And it was still flying towards Gwen. But Gwen at least raised the black death sword in his right hand. Wave. P.S.S.D. Tilda. After 450 voices. Plop Tilda. The mutant race twitched and fell to the ground. On one side is its head attached to a section of its neck. The moment his head was cut off, it's not dead yet. The mouth and eyes on the head twitched along with the tentacles, hands and feet on the body not far away. But after losing the neural link, it must have been sent. At this time, the blood of its whole body flew out. Then with the blood flying out of the other arm, automatically dive into Gwen's symbiote battle suit together. Actually, it's not just blood, it is all the essence in the body of the beheaded creature. These essences will be absorbed by the symbiote battle suit, then feed it back to Gwen herself, thus infinitely improving Gwen's ability. And there is no upper limit, that is if Gwen kills the level godfather, she will be able to approach the level godfather for a short time, just kill one or two more, then she is the level godfather. If you kill enough level single universes, then she can become a level single universe. As for diversity, that is hard to say, it's not just about killing. But reaching level single universe is absolutely no problem. But now seems not the time to discuss this issue. After Gwen killed the mutant race, she turned her head to look at the other side that was running away. Plop Tilda. As a result, the arm at that end has grown back. Then a fierce sun plunged into the river and ran away. Recovered so quickly, Wanda looked at the arm on the ground. This is what she just chopped off. It seems like only 10 seconds. It actually grew back. This is much more powerful than the original Dr. Lizard. Definitely. Gwen is no longer the Gwen before, in terms of combat power. Miss Spider. And after seeing Gwen resolve the crisis, the crowd immediately started cheering. And Gwen ignored them. She thrust the Black Death Sword into her body. The Black Death Sword immediately turned into a black liquid and was absorbed. As a result, she just wanted to leave. Circe held out his hand. Excuse me, but she wasn't done yet. Gwen looked at the time as he walked and said, Sorry, I have to go. If you need help, contact the Nipt or the Avengers. Finished. Gwen shot Cobweb, and the person disappeared immediately. Only the last two words remain. Goodbye. Gwen walked very simply. There is no hesitation at all. If you have a problem, go to the Nipt paranormal event. When the Nipt couldn't handle it, they went to Avengers. In short, it has nothing to do with Gwen whose sideline is superhero, and she's going to be late for school too. Wait until it lands on a nearby roof. Shua Tilda. Gwen's symbiote battle suit disappeared instantly. Then Gwen happily took out her mobile phone and sent Suyi the photos she took at regular intervals and the video recorded at the location. Final text. Another city crisis has been resolved. 
does my Sue have anything to say to me? How about rewarding me with a good morning kiss next time? After sending the message, Gwen immediately went to school. This is no joke. I'm really going to be late. And now at the scene of the incident, Circe and the water sprite looked at each other. She doesn't want to help us, said the water elf. She's very strong, perhaps even stronger than Icarus. Circe said slowly, there's also Scarlet Witch who solved the mutant race last time. They are members of the Goddess Alliance, and although Scarlet Witch has not announced her withdrawal from Avengers, the Avengers Alliance has passed. Icarus is the strongest of these Eternals. His ability is a bit like a low-end version of Superman. The binoculars can emit golden laser light, but it hurts. That's it. Very average. In other words, the abilities of the Eternals are very average. Then what should we do now? The Water Elf began hesitation. Should we go back to find other Eternals, or go to Avengers? This problem lets us hesitation for a while. But compared to the now fallen Avengers, she chose her former teammates. We must regroup the Eternals. N. The Water Elf also nodded. So they decided to go find their former Eternal teammates. And in the Northern Building, Su Yi received a message from Gwen. He opened it to have a look. Gwen appeared handsome and handsome in the photo. Su Yi looked at the accompanying text again. Immediately smiled and returned to her. No problem Gwen, I can still reward you as a female knight once. But if you collapse, you won't have a second chance. After he sent it. But three seconds. Gwen responded. Gwen. Cheyenne's surprised expression. Gwen, that's settled. Gwen, when I'm free, I want to be a female equestrian. Okay, Rider Gwen, is delivering. What is delivered? It was herself. So Yi smiled, and chatted with Gwen again. Then Gwen said it was time for class. So Su Yi replied with an okay expression and turned off the phone. It's only 9.30 in the morning. There are also many fish to touch. What to do then? Can you play games? At this time, Su Yi suddenly remembered the scene in the video just now. After Gwen absorbed the two mutants, it should have gotten a lot stronger. Then one of the ways to quickly improve Gwen, it is to kill a stronger target. And the mutant race is just an appetizer. They are not very strong. Think about it. Su Yi thought of at the moment the god seed inside the earth. This unborn celestial seed already has a name. Name, Thamu. And the celestial group that helped Thamu to be born is the judge of the celestial group. Alim. Alim's body is red. There are six pairs of eye-like holes on the head. It is a full-level single universe, even more powerful than the average level single universe. The birth and destruction of the fixed star of the universe is reincarnation in their hands. Strictly speaking, there is really no right or wrong in the Tenjin group. They are just for the normal functioning of the universe. But for Su Yi, they are wrong. The mistake was to plant the Ada, God seed in the earth. The earth is Su Yi's territory. You blew up my house. Then I live on another planet. There's something wrong with me. I can watch you blow up my planet and then I'll change another planet. So this god seed, Tiamu Suai, must be eliminated. It doesn't matter if Arisham, the judge of the god group, comes. The two are originally in an antagonistic relationship. This is not a matter of hatred or hatred. It's a matter of position. And Su Yi wanted to maximize his profits. He won't just think about pinching it off and ending it. He was thinking, what would happen if Gwen came to kill the celestial larvae? It's all about killing anyway. There is no improvement in self-killing. And he is multi-level. It's better to let Gwen kill. It can also drastically improve Gwen's strength. To know the ancestor of the symbiote battle suit on Gwen. That is to say, Na really killed the celestial group. The head in the void seems to have been chopped off by an R. That's why the resources there are so precious. Even the collector lives there directly. So, so ye now. I have a plan in mind. Let go of the normal activities of the Eternals first. This has nothing to do with him. But when he activated Eternal Lava Tiamu, then he will take Gwen to K head K experience. Cough cough cough. Thank you for the experience babies sent by the Eternal race and the celestial group. Thanks. Thanks, Suck Tilda. After thinking for so long, Su Yi decided to start fishing in the conference game. He put his legs down first. Then he turned half his body and started playing with the computer beside him. The game is still fun. Even after reaching the multi-universe level, he still thinks the game is fun. This is two different things. But Su Yi's game has just started. He just started playing the exciting summoner's rift tranking parter. At this time the door was suddenly opened. Su Yi turned his head to look. Here comes Hala. Su Yi thought Hala would go to the carpet to play games. In the end, she went around to Su Yi and said, In the morning, you haven't given it yet. Question mark I'm playing games, I can't cheat my teammates. You also said you can't cheat your teammates, right? Then you play, I will help myself. Question mark Wait, this is the office, my door is locked. Question mark. When is it school? Wanda sleeps on it. The Eternals are looking for teammates. Tony and Pepper are living in seclusion. Others don't know what they are doing. But Su Yi is the king. But operating shapeshifting in Summoner's Rift. Especially when the sound of Gurg, Gurg. Gurg sounds, the operation is also very shape-shifting. The teammates watched the show for a while, and Su Yi, who can operate shape-shifting, was also puzzled. What's the situation? Su Yi wanted to go back, but his operations are all shape-shifting, let alone deduction. Su Yi at the moment just wanted to finish the game quickly, then teach someone a lesson. But when they push up and down, Gu, hiss, accompanied by Su Yi's raised eyebrows, 
He glanced down, so Yi was originally dash has changed from to minus zero, gone, really gone, it's all gone, so Yi was startled, he quickly manipulated the character to hit the high ground, then the script level operation pentacle pushes down the base, then out plus f4 to exit the game, push Hala's head one last time, tan tan tilde, after half a sound, Hala said she was full, and ran to play games, but Su Yi's game has just ended, but he did not have the joy of victory, but only empty happiness, what did he just do, what did Halo do again, where did you do it again, just played a game for 35 minutes, for a full 35 minutes, he didn't rest at both ends, after Su Yi confessed in his heart, he snapped his fingers, then an environment returned to normal, afterwards, Su Yi sighed, asked to Halo who was playing the game, so you're not here in the morning, just for now, yeah, little Halo rubbed her belly, feeling a little too full, I've been learning from the online teaching for a long time, Okay, you rock. So Yi nodded in admiration. Today he confessed. To be squeezed is to be squeezed. Let's see if he will come back with revenge. You wait for me, little Hala. So Yi sighed, sat on the chair and continued to open Summoner's Canyon. But at this moment, an urgent piece of news caught Su Yi's attention. According to the report of the Pioneer Probe, a small planet suddenly appeared in the outer orbit of the solar system. Judging from the fuzzy pictures of the small planet, this small planet is somewhat similar to a human face. But you don't have to worry. After calculations by scientists, this small face-shaped planet finally flew towards Mars, which has nothing to do with the Earth, but this is a very surprising and interesting discovery. Finally, scientists named this planet, face-shaped planet. So Yi took the time to read the news, then turn around and continue playing the game. But when he hit it, he felt something was wrong. This little planet that the United Nations says, why is it so like nothingness? So Yi took another look, still like those eyes, Ken Bureau. Scientists say it is a face-shaped planet which means that it is particularly like a face, but Su Yi took a look, it is the face, and it is one, because he has seen it, and the ultimate destination of this planet is Mars, Mars is his Cybertron star, etc., this is not a planet entering the solar system, but the planet was dragged into the solar system by Cybertron, right, think here, Su Yi was taken aback for a moment, he really thought so, but not sure, forget it, Let's go take a look after get off work later. So Yi turned his head and continued to play the game. But at the moment's Martian outskirts, Collector diverts his attention through treasures in his room. When he saw the land of nothingness getting closer and closer to a steel and ecological planet, Collector's heart felt like chicken blood had been injected in an instant. It's here. It must be here. This must be the Cybertron star. This must be the Cybertron star that gave birth to shapeshifting King Kong. This must be where those giant shapeshifting vagerers say the creator gave them birth. 104. Collector works with shapeshifting King Kong. Kill the plan of the God Group. As the Void approaches the planet Cybertron, the shapeshifting King Kong will definitely not throw the Void directly on Cybertron. Instead, a gravitational control device was erected on the planet Cybertron. It fixes the Void directly on its own satellite orbit. This makes mining easier, and with the gravitational fixation, the shapeshifting King Kong responsible for the traction basically all flew towards the surface of the Cybertron planet. Just a few shapeshifting King Kongs left here watch, and in the collection room where time and space are folded, Collector observes Cybertron through treasures, his jaw has dropped, 1.2.3.66.172.362, Collector waved his fingers and counted for a long time, in the end, I made a mistake and forgot where I counted, but according to the situation he just counted, the veteran shapeshifting King Kong here has at least several hundred units, they cover the sky and live on this planet, the collector observes the surface of Cybertron, it's still beautiful here, iron and steel machinery and natural ecology appear on the surface of the planet in an orderly manner like the squares of a chessboard, it's beautiful here, it is much more beautiful than the steel planet he imagined. He thought it was some kind of terrifying machine empire, and at the moment, after the elders received the capture of a planet with valuable resources, some of them also come out from the center of the earth one after another to have a look. As a result, when it came out, Collector was taken aback. There are so many more. These patriarchs were basically the same at first, because they are all shape-shifting diamonds that Su Yi used the planet engine to enlighten, but it's different now. According to their preferences, some veterans have mechanical production facilities in their stomachs that are unique to the entire country. Some veterans now have cannons all over their bodies or plasma cannons and so on. Some patriarchs even look like scientists. It seems to be the patriarch responsible for researching technology. So now presented in front of Collector, there are hundreds of elders in different forms, instead of the veterans who were all the same before. My god, Collector was dumbfounded and shocked, but in the original gathered together, one of the elders took an instrument and aimed at the nothingness. Immediately after, all kinds of resources in the void appear in its instruments. The elder looked at it, and Tanfen said with satisfaction, this planet was the head of an ancient creature before that, 
and now 9% has been mined. Not counting the waste, we can still mine 71%. The high level resources here are enough to upgrade the Cybertron planet technology to another level, and can create a central brain to control the mechanical army for us. It seems that the elders are very satisfied with this harvest. The planet of nothingness is enough to take the shape-shifting King Kong civilization to another level. No matter what it is, it is the head of a level single universe. There are countless treasures contained in it. Even the current shape-shifting King Kong may not have discovered all the treasures in it. So it's actually more than that. Um? But the next moment, the elder looked at the coordinates on the instrument and was confused about the data analysis. It then sends the location to the shape-shifting Kong in the void. There is a space-time anomaly here. I'll check it out. Senator, after an order, the shape-shifting King Kong stationed in the nothingness jumped lightly. Then it turned into a combat spaceship in the air and walked towards the coordinates given by the Elder. And the same is true for several other shape-shifting King Kong. They leap lightly. It turned into a 15-long battleship in the air. Then the tail sprays energy and flies towards it. Yes, the current shape-shifting King Kong is not a car family like Cybertron in another universe. It's the spaceship family because Cybertron is directly on Mars. They directly skipped the stage of development on the planet to the stage of spaceflight. So the descendants of shapeshifting King Kong are all spaceships. They can travel in space as soon as they are created. And Collector was taken aback when he saw the shapeshifting King Kong suddenly flying towards him. He thought it was a coincidence. But with shapeshifting King Kong flew towards the door. Collector immediately ran out and raised his hands and said, My name is Tanya Tai, and I'm a universe collector. I've lived for hundreds of millions of years. I know most things in the universe. I want to communicate with you. Collector's judgment is very decisive. The moment he knew he had been found, he immediately ran out and clarified his identity, ability and his own value. In this section, he ran away in a panic. All the big white minks that were given to him ran away. But he didn't care to pick it up either. Just keep your eyes on the falling shapeshifting King Kong. They come to Collector's door. Then after some shapeshifting in the air, it landed directly in front of Collector. Wow. Collector couldn't help marveling at the transformation just now. For so long in his life, haven't seen a race as amazing as shapeshifting King Kong. A complete mechanical race. After hearing these words, the shapeshifting King Kong who landed also reported to the elders. Bring it here. After the elders listened, just choose to let shapeshifting King Kong bring Collector over. So shapeshifting King Kong directly stuffed the Collector into his cabin. Then he flew towards the elder, waited until the elders take the Collector out and put it on the ground. Parter. Immediately afterwards, a shapeshifter throws a headset to Collector. Collector was still wondering. Shapeshifting King Kong explains exactly that. You can't have a normal dialogue with the elders. You can only communicate through this. Collector puts on the headset. Then he looked around and asked suspiciously. Senior, where are they all? Collector looked around for a long time. You can only see a lot of steel forests. Where are the elders? Are these Tonkshin Metal World Patriarchs? Look up. The voice of shapeshifting King Kong came. Let Collector can't help but look up. For a moment, dozens of super 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 huge amounts of mechanical eyes are watching Collector. Collector's cardiac arrest. All the hairs stand out. Cold sweat splashing left behind turn out to be. Those steel cities are old men. But only one toe of the patriarch. When Collector looks up at the sky, the heights of the elders of Yana are all beyond the limit of his cognition. There is no reference when the Collector sees the elder for the first time. There is no comparison in the universe, so Collector thinks that the patriarchs at the beginning are about a thousand meters away. But now he knows. The height of the elders has reached ten thousand meters. That's what makes Collector so scared. The fear of giants is directly full. But the elders don't have that much time and don't talk nonsense. They asked directly. You lived hundreds of millions of years. With the heavy mechanical sound came. The collector responded immediately when he realized it. Yes, I have the ability to live forever. But the appearance is the same as that of a normal galactic human. The elders at the moment are scanning collector with instruments. At the same time, he said slowly, biologically, you are the same size as our creator. But in terms of your body data, you still have the ability to travel through time and space which you didn't say. You can travel through time and space with your own space-time room. But you chose to stay, and the calculation is that you really want to communicate with us. Collector was stunned after hearing these words. I haven't said anything yet. You all figured it out? Yes. Collector originally has the ability to travel through time and space. His space-folding collection room can also travel with him, so he can go wherever he wants. But his curiosity kept him. He was so curious about Cybertron and shapeshifting Kong. It's just that it's all seen by the veteran shapeshifting King Kong now. So Collector no longer hides, said directly. I want to get to know you. You are the newest trace in the universe. I can pay a lot for that. Where in the universe is the most valuable, such as the branch of cosmic power, the branch of cosmic empire, the branch of cosmic minerals, etc. These are stored in my collection room and my mind. And I just want to get to know you. Collector's expression is very sincere. He really wants to know. But finish those words. He remembered what he said again. Oh, by the way, it would be even better if you could give me a small robot. I don't want shapeshifting King Kong. 
but I lack a housekeeper for cleaning and tidying up my collection room. After the elders heard the news, a secret vote is taking place behind closed doors, that is, whether to agree to this transaction with collector. The results are obvious, blood earns things. Why not agree? The current shape-shifting king just needs this information very much. Just know the information that collector just said, then Cybertron can develop rapidly. At the same time, Globe, New York upstate buildings. After a day of fishing, finally it was five o'clock in the afternoon. So Yi and Halo appeared outside the office door on time. Cack. Once the door is locked, so Yi will accept it. Then take Halo home first. Enter the door, come to the living room and look to the right. Wanda is busy in the small universe. So Yi walked in and took a look. She was squatting on the ground, digging up the soil with a small shovel, and burying the flower seeds. Finally cover and water again. So Yi looked to the side. Wanda at least got a piece of land with her own hands. That is, she does this all day except for cooking at noon. So Yi quietly walked behind her, then stretch out your hands and go around from both sides, and finally hold them tightly. Matilda. Wanda was taken aback. Then he stood up and rolled his eyes at Su Yi. You are too bad. Su Yi smiled and pinched slightly. Immediately Wanda fell into his arms. Stop. Wanda hastily stopped it. Then he pushed Su Yi's hand away. It's still outside. Outside? Su Yi looked at the surrounding mountains, grasslands, and forests. Zero dot 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 asking for flowers. Where there are mountains. Isn't this our home? After Wanda heard, I really want to hit Suyi on the head with her small shovel. But she raised the seed in her hand and said, After planting this, I use magic water to slowly revive it every day, and it will be full of flowers in a week at most. Suyi looked at the dirt on the ground. Then why don't you use magic to do it here? It's boring to do it. Wanda held up the shovel in her hand. This way I feel like I planted it myself. Well, that's certainly part of the reason. Although the daily tasks done by magic are fast and trouble free. It doesn't feel like I did it by myself. But it doesn't matter to Su Yi, because he didn't want to do it. But, Su Yi looked up at a world as big as the small universe. Then he stretched out his hand and gestured. We have such a big world. Wanda shook her head indifferently. In the future we can raise animals. We can also take our time with the land here. Anyway, our world is still a long, long time away. Wanda's last words. It reminded Su Yi that this is what he said. We still have a long, long time. So the purpose of Wanda getting here is not to finish the planting but at a later time. She will personally make herself more beautiful gradually. Purpose is not the point. The process is. So Yi let out a long breath, and hugged Wanda. This time I was thinking too much. Sorry. No way. Wanda rubbed Su Yi's cheeks and nose. In my eyes, you will never be wrong. So Yi smiled. Then I will reward you. Wanda narrowed her eyes. I'm not afraid of you now. One. Then try. Try. So Su Yi brought her into the bedroom. Thus began a nightly war. The main characters are the black-haired male knight and the red-haired female knight. But the results are obvious. The red-haired female knight was no match at all. Under the attack of the black-haired male knight, the female knight is like a fledgling rookie. It was quickly defeated. But the male knights were not wiped out, because it's only a few hours. Save some stamina to fight World War II. Then Su Yi went outside to rest. But not long after, Parta, a figure came bouncing in. She saw Su Yi sitting on a sofa, directly swooped on Su Yi's body. Su. Today's monster is a bit strange. Su Yi put his arms around Gwen's waist with one hand, and tuned the TV channel with the other. It's strange. There is a humanoid monster, and it recovers very quickly. Gwen showed Su Yi the phone. They insisted on chasing those two women, even if I was in the middle, they would kill those two women. This is where Gwen is weird. Those two women were like magnets. Let the three monsters desperately want to kill them. Su Yi nodded, and spoke to Gwen first. Go get Wanda out, I'll tell you all about it once and for all. Gwen nodded. Then get down from Su Yi's body and call Wanda. It can be seen that Wanda walked out with weak legs. Gwen knew that Wanda was punished by Su Yi just now. Slap Tilda. Gwen slaps Wanda right behind her. Bad woman. Wanda rolled her eyes and ignored Gwen. She has no strength now. After a while, Hala was also called out. Wait until Gwen and Wanda are sitting on Su Yi's left and right. Hala crossed her legs and sat on the carpet. Su Yi waved his hand, in front of the four of them. A diagram of the relationship between the mutant race, the eternal race, and the celestial group appeared. At the same time, Su Yi said, while controlling the evolution, let's talk about the celestial group first. They are one of the earliest life races born in this universe, their form and state are extremely huge, and they are abstract entities. Their task is to be born and destroyed, to control the normal operation of this universe. That is to say, both the mutant race and the eternal race were created by them, but the mutant race was out of control. But generally speaking, the celestial group is neither the enemy of every life, nor the enemy of every life. As long as you are stronger, he will stand against you. It's not right or wrong, it's a position. Let's talk about the mutant race. Let's talk about the eternal race. Let's talk about the relationship between them and the purpose of coming to Earth. This time can be said to be the longest introduction by Su Yi. But there is no way. There are really too many things in this universe for the Damshan group. And the Earth is also being pulled in, 
which is very troublesome. To the end, wait until Su Yi finishes speaking. Only then did the three girls nod their heads, expressing their understanding. But they also understand at the same time. There is a celestial seed in the center of the earth. Gwen couldn't help asking a little worried when he heard this. Su, what about this celestial seed? The earth is gone, so let's go to bottom. Hearing this, Su Yi smiled, waiting for you to kill. Gwen was taken aback. Oh? Again. 105. Wonder special training plan. Eternal race casualties and downsizing. Gwen was thinking. It was Su Yi who took the initiative to save the world, or everyone immigrated to live on the planet Cybertron. As a result, Su Yi's answer was yes. You come to kill. This baffled Gwen. I just do it out of interest, and my side job is superhero Gwen. How could it be up to me to save the world? I didn't do anything either. Wanda was also very curious. She looked at Su Yi a little puzzled. Su Yi smiled. Your symbiote battle suit can absorb the essence of slain creatures to gain an ability boost. So in theory, Beheading the god group can absorb the god group and become stronger. Gwen knew this. But how do I kill the god group in my heart? Rely on the Eternals. Gwen, Wanda, didn't they say that the Eternals are the dogs of the Celestial group? Why are you relying on the Eternal race now? The Eternals are now fighting among themselves. The Circe and the Water Elves you saved didn't want the Celestial group to be born. So in fact, half of the subordinates of the Damshan group are 25 boys. But the gestation of the seeds of the gods is inevitable. But like a chick just out of its shell. During the time when the Tenjin group was born, killing the Tenjin group with your current strength is like killing a chicken. Why? So that's why Su Yi said to wait. Let Gwen be the savior. Then Su Yi looked at Wanda again. Actually, your book of Emperor Wai Shan also has a way to solve the Tenjin group. But Gwen's symbiote battle suit can maximize the benefits. That's why I told Gwen to prepare to kill. Su Yi directly explained his plan to them. Avoid really bloody plots from happening, as expected. After Wanda understands, she nodded earnestly in agreement. Yes, it is the best choice for Gwen to kill. It really doesn't work. I or Su will still have time to make a move. That's it. Su Yi nodded his fingers to indicate that he was correct. Since Gwen 193 can solve it, then he doesn't want to make a move. Unnecessary. Only wait until the judge of the god group, Arishim, arrives. This might be worth Su Yi's shot, because at this time the Earth can make a move. Only Su Yi left. The celestial group of the level single universe. Right now, no life on Earth can beat it, except Su Yi. Finally, after Gwen's deliberation, she understood that it was Su Yi who was really doing it for her own good. So Gwen agreed to come down. Good. After Gwen agreed, so it's settled. But Hala thought for a while and said, I know the Celestials are very strong. The day Odin fought with the Celestials was also the day when I felt the weakest sea lover. But the Eternals are too weak. Hala looked at the screen of Su Yi's simulation, then point to the eye that will emit laser light and say, Only this one looks okay. There's a little bit of it. What else is it? Hala pointed to the others and said, One can only use fists, and there are a few abilities that are useless. Is this the eternal race created by the celestial group? Hala finished. Gwen and Wanda nodded approvingly. And Gwen also said, There are so many shapeshifting King Kong on Su's Cybertron planet. If all of them start to invade mode, it will be easy to destroy the Earth. At this point, it really made them right. So you looked at the eternal race whose eyes could emit laser light. He smiled helplessly. There is also a gap in firing lasers. Finished. The three girls didn't understand at first. But Su Yi's eyes turned red. A terrifying energy coercion appeared in the room. Plop flop tilde. Hala sat in front of Su Yi. She rolled and crawled directly behind Su Yi. I dare not let out the air of fright. Wanda and Gwen were dumbfounded. The small mouth is open to the maximum extent that it can only be opened when it is wrapped at night. Silk tilde. Su Yi smiled and put away ability. There were even red wires in the air. When Su Yi turned his head to look at Wanda and Gwen, both of them trembled. Wanda shrank into Su Yi's arms. Very scary. Gwen also held Su Yi's hand. It was really scary just now. Little Hala just don't tell me. Hiding behind the sofa and shaking now. She was right in front of Su Yi just now. When she was facing Su Yi's fiery eyes, she really felt like she was dead. She didn't even react. I have already started running. What is it called? This is called the survival instinct of life. But Wanda and Gwen are also weirder. They were talking about fear, while drilling into his arms. For a moment, Su Yi didn't know whether they were really scared or fake. But Hala should be really scared. Hala, come out. Gone. Really? Hala poked her head out first from the back of the sofa. She was relieved when she was sure that Su Yi's eyes had changed back. Then wrap around again. But she wasn't at the front this time. Instead, she huddled next to Su Yi's legs and sat. After hesitation for a while, Hala still couldn't help asking. What was your ability? Ordinary thermal vision. Su Yi blinked. But there is no upper limit to the temperature. It shoots rays hotter than the sun if I think about it. Tear Tilda. Little Hala's face twitched when she heard it. The sun is reduced to a unit. How horrible that is. At this time, Hala looked at the eternal race of the low-profile version of Superman. Then this is too rubbish. That's really rubbish. 
The laser beams from both eyes could cut even the mutants' bodies. Forget about Superman. I'm afraid Homelander can make a 50-50 split with him. And it's hard to say who'll win. So you looked at the time. It's 7-8 o'clock in the evening. Let's cook. So you rubbed his stomach. Then he patted the two girls beside him. Are you still afraid? Are you afraid that I will send you to the bedroom? So Yi smiled. Once you're in the bedroom it's a different story, whether you are afraid or not. Really? Heard to enter the bedroom. Wanda was the most afraid. So she came out of Su Yi's arms first, then hurriedly walked towards the kitchen. I'm going to make dinner. Gwen is inspired to learn to be a housewife too. The specific inspirational time is today. So she followed suit. Dot. Night. After everyone has eaten, everyone came to rest in the garden of the small universe. Su Yi sat on the recliner and felt the breeze. He looked towards the field Wanda was planting. Huh? Wanda, your flowers are growing. Where? Wanda is doing the dishes with little Hala. Just finished washing it now. I heard Su Yi say that she has grown flower seedlings. Wanda ran over all the time, then ran barefoot to the vicinity of the flower field, as expected. The seeds planted in the morning. The flower seedlings are already as high as a thumb. At noon, it's a sharp point, and in the afternoon, it's a broken king. Great Tilda. Wanda was very happy. She counted with her fingers. According to this situation, it will bloom in less than five days. What blooms? Then Gwen came over. She also wondered if Wanda had been screwed. As a result, she has since. I found the flower field near Wanda's feet. Wow Tilda. When did you get Wanda? Gwen ran over and squatted there to watch. For things you grow yourself. She also likes it very much. Just today, Wanda said. Gwen was still surprised to hear the time. But think about it. This is also normal. What is this place? Little universe. So Gwen nodded with great interest. Then I will also bring some races to plant these two days. I want to plant trees. What tree? It's all right. Then Gwen and Wanda discussed what to plant for a lot of time. But Gwen looked at the time. She has to go home again. I have to go first. Gwen waved, then suddenly remembered what to say. Sue, let's go see Cybertron tomorrow. It's been a long time since I saw it. Gwen reminded. Sue Yakai remembered that he hadn't watched it for a long time. Okay. You come early after school tomorrow. Okay Tilda. Gwen waved. Then I changed into my shoes and left. After Wanda watched her flower seedlings, she returned to her chair and began to practice the book of Vishandi. So Yi smiled. Then he came behind her and stretched out his hands. N. Wanda couldn't bear it. I am practicing, because I'm your distracting demon. Now you have to practice the training of blocking all interference, and then concentrate on learning spells. So Yi looked serious. Only the movement of the hands is different. I can't do it. Wanda pursed her lips unable to bear it anymore. No, Su Yi said with a serious face, you must practice this ability. Listen to me now, practice your ice ability. All right. Wanda closed the book of Y Shandy, then use her demon essence ability. Cack. For a moment, a scarlet ice flower appeared in front of the two of them. But Su Yi exerted lightly. Crack. The ice flower shattered. Hatilda. Wanda gasped. Su Yi smiled and said, keep practicing. Although the words are very light. There is an undeniable taste. Wanda shuddered. Just keep practicing, that's all. Wanda constantly repeats between crushing ice and freezing ice, and Su Yi was making it more difficult for her. A genius must have a unique training method and difficulty of a genius, so I'm working on Wanda, till the end. Wanda's mana is nearly exhausted. He slumped down on a chair all at once. Su Yi put away his hands and smiled. It's not over yet. He waved one hand. The phoenix force surged. For a moment, Wanda picks up. The mana that was nearly exhausted became abundant again. Su Yi reached out to hug her up, then said softly. Don't forget there is World War II. At the moment Su Yi's soft tone sounded like a devil's whisper in Wanda's ears. She could only softly say in despair. No, no is good. Well, okay, then you agree. Woo woo woo. The next day, plus nine colon oh oh, Su Yi sat in the office refreshed and crossed his legs. He picked up an electric razor at hand. Then he shaved his beard. It's a bit long. This stuff made Wanda suffer a lot last night. But let's be honest, he doesn't have much beard either. And it's not the annoying kind. But Wanda is too impressed. Then there's no way. Zizizi Tilda, wait until the beard is shaved. Su Yi threw the razor into the space, then take out the mirror. He looked at his sharp jaw. Not bad, still so handsome. After putting away the mirror, Su Yi was in a very good mood. Definitely. The main source of happiness was last night. He has experienced the feeling of ice and fire. Sometimes it's hot and sometimes it's cold. Really fierce. He couldn't bear it. It seems that there will be more practice in the future. So Yi turned around. Start watching the news or something. Miss Spider stopped three monsters again. They look the same as Scarlet Witch stopped some time ago. Does this mean that these monsters are already a race? The face-shaped planet has disappeared, according to scientists. It has entered the orbit of Mars and been captured by gravity. The school bus instantly turned into a sea of flowers. Is this the new superhero? Has she registered? Where did Scarlet Witch go? Why did she disappear again? Sure enough, yesterday's news dominated the headlines. The first to bear the brunt is Gwen. Then there is everything else. But when Wanda chooses to be a housewife, there is too little news about her in the society. Many people are also asking, but no one can answer. Because Wanda really doesn't go out. Her daily life is to get up, wash, cook 
take care of the small universe, buy vegetables, cook, work hard, and sleep. Then loop. You might think this is not boring. So ye didn't know. Ye didn't ask. But since the existence of the small universe, Wanda is visibly feeling that time is running out. You say she is boring? So ye put his hands behind his head, and then leaned on the recliner to rest. Fishing. Wait until the weekend. Take Wanda and Gwen down the yacht and go on a round the world tour. At the same time, aboard a state of the United States, Punch Superman, Gilgamesh made a big lunch for everyone. In a dilapidated house in the suburbs, here at the moment sits several members of the Eternals. They are Bootleg Superman, Bootleg The Flash, Bootleg One Punch Superman, Bootleg Wonder Woman, and so on. And their previous jobs were even stranger. For example, those who are making movies in Bollywood, those who hide in the mountains, those who are teaching children, etc. Another one looks like a little girl but she is actually over a thousand years old. And 4.0 she is the water elf rescued by Gwen. At the moment they are feasting. Bollywood Eternals are poking fun. The Avengers are like this now. Who do you think is leading? Captain America, or Tony Stark? This question is clearly intentional, because Captain America has disappeared. He and Winter Soldier hid in Wakanda. And Tony has notified himself of his seclusion. So they are talking high. I think it's ranked by level. Captain America and Stark are gone. Who is the best Avengers now? After someone asked this question, everyone thought about it. Then they said in unison, Scarlet Witch. This is really strong. They knew about Scarlet Witch. So after seeing the battle screen, they also know that Scarlet Witch is strong. And at the moment Cersei also reminded, not only Scarlet Witch, but another spider lady from the League of Goddesses is also very powerful. She was the one who saved me and the water elves last time. Three large mutants are as easy to cut as paper in her hands. But she didn't want to take care of other things, so we left without paying attention. Cersei said so though. But her words made agrees, who can shoot his own laser, very uncomfortable. He is the most powerful person in this team. And he heard his teammates praise others, so he retorted on the spot. That's because I wasn't there. Otherwise, it would be impossible for the three mutants to go back alive. His word. Let the table instantly chill. Sirs shook her head and said. You have no idea how dangerous it is. And that humanoid mutant has the ability of self-healing. And the recovery method of ability is very similar to that of Ajak. Have you seen Ajak? Everyone shook their heads. And at the moment, Punch Superman puts the last dish on the table. He clapped his hands and asked everyone. The dishes are finished. What's your plan when you come here? 106. Wonder blasts Captain America. The void is really back. For what? This question is really not sure. Everyone looked at Cerse, because that's what Cerse invited everyone to. But everyone has the answer in their hearts. Cerse looked at everyone and said slowly. The reappearance of the mutant race means that our mission is about to be completed. We need to come together to figure out exactly why these things are happening to keep everyone safe. For example, we have been unable to contact Ajak now. Sirs had just finished speaking. With one punch, Superman clapped his hands and said with a wave, I won't do it, you can do whatever you like, I want to protect Tina, not just one punch Superman. At the same time, some of the other people expressed their resignation. Their mission is to help humans develop. They still don't know the real reason why the Celestial Group asked them to protect human development. So they don't need to regroup for these and that. Don't want to go. Plus wasting time. So to the end. Not many are willing to call everyone. The opinion of the Eternals was divided long, long ago. Well, Sir sighed. But we need to go to Ajak to determine whether our teammates have been attacked by mutants. Ajak has no fighting power. It's over if she gets caught. Tilda. Sirs had just finished speaking. A beast's roar coupled with the impact directly knocked down the room where everyone was in. Several people rolled over for a while. A punch Superman looked at it. He had fist marks on his hands, and then he went up and hammered straight. After the others reacted, they hurried forward to help. A big battle suddenly started like this. I do not know how long it has been. Wait until the war is over. Everyone sat in the ruins panting. Where are people? Are they all there? Sirs reluctantly stood up and looked for everyone but found it after looking around. Where is the water spirit? Where is she? Cough cough. The Bollywood Eternal coughed, and then said, I really want to see her taken away. No. Sirs groaned in despair. Want to chase the mutant race that left. But someone stopped her and said, It's time to assemble the team. We're sticking together and going to see how the leader Ajak is doing. Afterwards, Sirs calmed down. Oh three. Everyone was silent during the break. Sirs looked at everyone. At the moment she remembered Spider Gwen's words. If it's normal, go to the Nipped. If it's unnatural, go to the Avengers. Gwen left after saying this. But Cerse remembered. At that time, the water elf and her thought it was time to come to everyone. But now, Cerse looked at everyone. She should probably go to the Avengers. But not now. At least until meeting Ajak, the leader of the Eternals. But what she doesn't know is, this man is already dead. At the same time, after happily touching the fish for a long time, Su Yi waited for a person whom he never thought came back. Who is it? Bang bang Tilda. Enter, with the door being opened. A man wearing a jacket with three-dimensional features and a straight back came in. Yes, he is Captain America, commonly known as Captain America. Hello. Captain America was wearing a hat, 
and he took the initiative to say hello to Soda when he came in. Su Yi stretched out his hand to indicate that he could sit down. At the same time, he had to give him a bottle of milk tea and said, I thought you would never appear here. Yes, that time at Deco Airport. It can be said that Su Yi gave him a few punches. Let him make a fool of himself in front of many people. But that's because he doesn't want to listen to the rules. He just wants to do his own free thing. Captain America pulled the stool out and sat down. Then he took the milk tea pushed by Su Yi and said, You didn't help anyone, did you? And you still come back to be an ordinary psychiatrist after that. You're not fighting for power. I didn't go for profit either. You only shot for wonder, so you did nothing wrong. I know that. Listen to Captain America. So you looked at him in surprise. Is this what Captain America is all about? Even if it is yourself who suffers. But as long as the other party starts from the perspective, there is nothing wrong with it. Then Captain America will forgive each other. Even if the other party has done something bad. Oh Tilda, only now did Su Yi react. Isn't that what Bucky is? Captain America forgave him anyway. Think here. Su Yi shook his head helplessly. But he didn't want to talk about it too much. The past is all over. You and I talk about which girl looks good, what you do after get off work drink coffee or go for a drive. Then I'll definitely have a chat with you to pass the time. But what are you going to talk about with me about Avengers? Where is the future of the city? What to do about the safety of the people? Then Su Yi still had to find a way to make him leave early. And just so, Captain America is kind of like that. So Su Yi asked directly. So, why did you come to find me even though you were wanted by the United Nations? Yes, that's the key reason bother you for something. Captain America coming over can't be bragging, and Su Yi asked directly. In fact, it happens to be in line with Captain America's wishes. He put away his slight smile. Then he said to Su Yi seriously, Su, I can see all the information outside in Wakanda. The League of Goddesses can become a new pillar in the hearts of citizens. Just let Wanda announce herself as the new leader of the Avengers. Then Avengers' credibility and rights will be back more than half. At that time, the superheroes will be free to fight criminals and protect the Earth again. Captain America is very sincere. So you could also hear it. Captain America really thinks so. He wanted Wanda to lead the Avengers. This restores the status and rights of the Avengers. Even if not all can be restored, it can also have a greater right to speak. But how would Wanda react if she heard these words? So you thought about it. Still couldn't help laughing. Captain America see here. He didn't understand and spread his hands. Why are you laughing? Am I being ridiculous? So Yi waved his hand. No, what you said is very sincere and I know you are sincere, but I just remembered a funny thing. Captain America looked at Su Yi. What a funny thing. It's not important. Su Yi slowly put away his smile, and then said, but Wanda is Wanda, and I am me. You tell me, even if I agree, I won't tell Wanda, you go lead the Avengers, so you should be talking to Wanda, not me. In fact, in the subtext, Su Yi was telling Captain America not to think about it. If Su Yi had thought so long ago, he had already suggested to Wanda to do so. It's not that Wanda doesn't listen to him. But Moran said, I found out at the Dago airport that day. Wanda trusts you very much, and she listens to you. As long as you start, Wanda will most likely listen to what you say. Yo Tilda, so, Captain America can still see this? So Yi waved his hand helplessly. That's it, I told Wanda to come down. You tell Wanda these things. If Wanda agrees I'll agree. The current Wanda doesn't hear a single thing I have to say. How about it? So Yi decided to let Captain America take a look. Not everyone is what you might call a free mind. And Captain America thought about it. Also nodded and said, can, so good. So Yi turned his head, said to Hala who was playing games next door. Hala. You go ask Wanda to come down. Little Hala ran away without saying a word after hearing it. After a while, Wanda, who didn't know what happened, followed little Hala down. She was still wiping her hands with a towel. There is also a red apron around the body. It looks like he was cooking just now. After she comes down, Wanda immediately looked at Su Yi and asked softly. What's the matter honey? I'm making you small cake treats. Su Yi smiled warmly. Then tilt your head at Captain America to signal that you can speak. That's all. Captain America was surprised at first that Wanda was working as a housewife. Avengers Alliance is currently the strongest fighting forces being a housewife. Then he took another deep breath and began to speak. I said that wanting to be free is a very important thing thing, and countless people are working for it. So Yi's brain didn't know how many words were automatically filtered. Anyway, after a while, wait until Captain America finishes. He looked at Wanda and asked, how about it? Come back and lead the Avengers. Freedom needs you. At this time, so Yi already felt something was wrong. Definitely don't think there's anything wrong with Captain America. It's something wrong with Wanda. Wanda at the moment is silent and doesn't speak. She squeezed her fingers and clenched her fists. Captain America looked at Wanda and thought he was still in hesitation. Forehead. But he hadn't said the first word yet. Bang Tilda. The door of Su Yi's office opened automatically. But still a heavy one. Then Wanda's cold voice came. Go out. Vomit Tilda. Su Yi crossed his hands, 
and immediately watched the play with Hala who was sneaking out ahead beside him. The two looked at each other. It's all those TSK TSK expressions. Can. Captain America just said the first word. Boom Tilda. A scarlet energy burst out from Wanda's whole body. Kaka Tilda. And Red Frost began to emerge from the soles of her feet. So Yi gestured towards Hala Nuna's Yui. It means Wanda is going to be cornered, as expected. Wanda's next words. Like the cold air emitted by ice for thousands of years. Roll. The word Wanda said in a low voice. But absolutely no expression. But Captain America is notoriously stubborn. He stretched out his hand to signal. What more did he want to say? Drip Tilda. Next moment. The elevator outside the door automatically came up and opened. Captain America looks out. Sudden. Boom Tilda. Captain America was instantly pinned down in the elevator by a force. His entire face was patted on it and he couldn't move. Ding Tilda. Then the elevator was automatically pushed to the first floor. Boom. Then the elevator closes. In this way. Captain America voluntarily went down as an elevator. Yes, he is willing, volunteering to leave without wanting to come out. After watching the play, Su Yi put his arms around his arms. Hala does the same thing, then said at the same time. It's terrible. Tut tut, Captain America. He really messed up people who shouldn't be messed with. Wanda just lived the life she longed for. As a result, someone said it. Let's not pass it by. Let's continue to a day when we may not feel tired than before. Then you think Wanda can't explode. And after throwing away Captain America, Wanda raised her head. And when Su Yi saw it. There were tears in the corners of her eyes. Su Yi stretched out his hands. Wanda immediately threw herself into Su Yi's embrace like a pigeon. Su Yi patted her on the back. Don't think too much, just follow your own preferences. As I said before, you are yourself, you are not just anyone. Finished. Su Yi also kicked Hala. Is that right Hala? Hala wiped where he had been kicked. Right. Wanda was silent for a while in Su Yi's embrace. Then she suddenly raised her head and said, find a chance and I will announce myself like Tony Stark. I'm going to tell them I've got a lover and love being a housewife. Superhero is just something to do. So Yi pinched her face. Yes, all can. Don't be kidnapped by morality. You just have to do your own thing. There is no need to say that you have abilities. You must do everything, and you must save the world. That's moral kidnapping. Yeah. Wanda nodded in agreement. You can see it. Wanda has no desire to return to the public eye. You let her go out and kill harm for the people. Can but you let her go to work to eliminate harm for the people, that won't work. After a while, Wanda suddenly reacted, raised her head and said, it's over, cream of my freshly beaten eggs, finished. She quickly spent a portal, then run in to check the situation, after half a sound, she breathed a sigh of relief, it's okay, then she asked Su Yi to wait for a while, closed the portal and started to make pan pan patty fours, and Su Yi returned to his seat, that's all, another half day's fish was touched like this, well Tilda, Su Yi stretched his waist, then he opened his mouth to catch Wanda's hand fed small cake and tasted it, swallow it in one gulp, how, Wanda looked at Su Yi expectantly, mm, Tilda, Su Yi made a nasal sound, then nodded while chewing. Very delicious, not oily or greasy, but very fragrant. Clap clap Tilda. Su Yi applauded Wanda. Wanda suddenly smiled happily. If only she lived like this, as long as you are not at home. Whatever Wanda does outside feels like a homeless one. It doesn't feel like home. Little Hala, come and eat cake. Coming Tilda, that's all. Everyone eats cake. I ate until after get off work in the afternoon. From 5 p.m. After a click, Su Yi and everyone appeared outside. Ding. At the same time the elevator doors opened. Gwen was carrying her little teal backpack. Jumped out and waved. Yahoo Tilda, is my time card accurate? Su Yi raised his eyebrows. Quiet. Don't tell me. Have my style oh. Have you eaten? Wanda lifted the cake box on her phone. I made it myself. I want. Gwen stepped forward immediately. Then one in each hand and one in his mouth. She tasted it and said with satisfaction. Delicious. That's good. Wanda was very happy. Slapped Tilda. After eating, Su Yi clapped his hands. Then follow what you said yesterday. Let's go straight to Cybertron now. Gwen didn't say anything yesterday. I forgot I haven't watched it for a long time. Wanda nodded. Gwen said happily. Let's go. Su Yi looked at Hala beside him. Are you going? Go. Hala nodded. Well, Su Yi raised his hand and snapped his fingers. Snap Tilda. Next moment, the four of them appeared on the former Mars near the current planet Cybertron. As a result, four people just appeared. It was discovered that there was another planet orbiting around the periphery of the planet Cybertron. Su Yi was taken aback when he saw it. What a land of nothingness. 107. Collector assists shapeshift in King Kong. Cybertron evolves. Yes, wait until the four of Su Yi arrive. They saw a huge planet's head floating near the planet Cybertron. Below it, that is, there is a gravitational capture device on the surface of Cybertron. In this way, 
The void will rotate with the planet Cybertron, directly turned into a satellite of Cybertron. And under the watchful eyes of Suyi and the others, countless robots and shapeshifting King Kong are traveling between the planet Cybertron and the void. And between them, there are also gravitational orbits that absorb mineral treasures in super large quantities. It can be said that the land of nothingness is being crazily sucked blood by Cybertron. That minerals transported per second. Suyi took a look. At least millions of tons and tens of millions of tons are being transmitted. So much so that they stand so far in private. I can still see the black gravitational conveyor belt before the two planets. And the reason is black. Just because the ore was caught falling down the conveyor belt. But that's not the point, is it? The key is how the void land was dragged here. The land of nothingness? Halo was surprised when he saw the void. See, Halo knows it. The void has long existed. And Gwen and Wanda don't know. What is the void? Do you still remember the celestial group I mentioned yesterday? Su Yi asked. Remember? Gwen and Wanda nod together. That's why Su Yi raised his chin to indicate the nothingness and said. That's the head of an ancient group of gods. It was cut down by an R, the ancestor of the symbiosis, with the true black death sword. At the same time the body is swallowed by an R. But the head was left out of it, until it was discovered by the civilization of the universe, and it was mined with all its strength. Speaking of which, Wanda and Gwen got it. But Gwen counted the time. But if it is the ancient Tanshan group, why are there so many mined up to now? Where can the heads of the level single universe be mined by ordinary civilizations? Su Yi smiled. What's more, the Tanshan group are all abstract entities. Although the resources in their bodies are extremely rich, the protection measures are also extreme. I don't know how many years the cosmic civilization has been mining, but only 30% can be mined at most. And the 30% that Su Yi said was only peripheral resources, just like the face and ears. However, the real brain resources of the Tamshan group probably have not been touched. That is the most precious resource. Even after such a long time, it should be weakened. But it was still a level single universe during its lifetime. This is the class gap. Here here. Both Wanda and Gwen had to admire the bravery of shapeshifting King Kong. This can be snatched. How many people do you have to deal with? Not only that. Su Yi also discovered that Cybertron's internal changes were enormous. Go. Let's look at it from a different angle. Su Yi waved his hand. Everyone changed sides to observe, as expected. The planet with more minerals. All technologies are being vigorously developed. From spaceship battleships to cannon portals. From cosmic flagships to a ball-like satellite weapon. Looks like the shapeshifters know there might be a threat in the future. All are building warships in large quantities to protect themselves. Well, it should be. Then Su Yi waved his hand again. Come on, let's go see the voting. The four came to the Senate. With a wave of Su Yi's hand. All the data here were presented in front of him. Exploration and capture of cosmic resources, 1000 colon 0. Shapeshifting King Kong and robot space fleet, 1000 colon 0. Trading universe data information with collector, 1000 colon 0. Speeding up shapeshifting King Kong offspring creation, 950 hours 50 minutes. Communications among major civilizations in the universe, 800 to 200. Dot. The four watched a lot of voting together. There are many things above that you don't understand unless you read the votes. But just look at the votes to know what the current shapeshifting King Kong is doing. Gwen was surprised when he saw it. The shapeshifting King Kongs are going out of the planet and into the universe. Wanda reminded after looking at it. It has already gone out. Look at this collector. This should be the title of a creature. And when Su Yi saw the word collector, he also understood why the vision of the shapeshifting King Kong suddenly widened so much. What was voted for in the first place? Greening. Animals, manufacturing. What are you voting for now? Legion, ship, civilization, trade, resource. The former is like playing a survival simulation. The latter is doing stellaries and warhammer. There is a big feeling that I am about to explode, and you give me the feeling that I am waiting to slaughter the universe. That's even more ruthless than a purple sweet potato. Purple sweet potato is considered a good person in front of some cruel universe. Can I keep half of it? Are you here for charity? And Hala thought about Collector's name and said suddenly, He is Gautan Zun's younger brother. Collector. It is said that he knows a lot of the history of the universe and can predict what will happen in the future. But he asked for nothing. Only seek those rare and unique things in the universe. Maintaining him will cost anything. Hala is right. Su Yi also knew the name of Collector. If I'm not mistaken, there is also an infinite gems in the Collector's fold-out. This gem will be taken by Thanos later. But, when asked after hearing about Collector's character, then is he strong? Not strong. Su Yi shook his head. He just has a special race. Can live forever and can see some future pictures in advance. Wanda thought for a while, then does he know we're here? Hear this sentence. Su Yi smiled. You think too much of him. Exactly. The collector's ability to see the future is useless to Su Yi. And as long as the relationship with Su Yi is greater, such as Wanda, Hala, Gwen, then he can't see it either. Because Su Yi's super template blocked the law of cause and effect. Precisely. The current Su Yi is the only Su Yi in Marvel, not in the future, in the past or even in parallel universes. Now even the Time Management Bureau will find out if they look at the sacred timeline. So he is gone. 
but the timeline moves. But that's all off topic. So Yi snapped his fingers and laughed. Come on, let's see what the collector has done with the elders, snapped Tilda. Next moment, the figures of Su Yi and the others appeared in a place similar to a podium. At the moment there are a few elders talking to the collector, and collector is spreading out his treasured materials. Then use Cybertron to provide projection and transmission equipment. Upload all these materials to the knowledge reserve of the veterans of shapeshift in King Kong. You owe Tilda. Su Yi found it very interesting after seeing it. The elders seem to be crazily making up lessons. They infinitely absorb all kinds of knowledge about this universe. It doesn't matter, say it as a database first, and Collector is also very happy. He is directing a female robot beside him to pack those ancient scrolls and the materials. Then take a new one and continue uploading. Papa Patilda. So Yi clapped his hands, feeling very satisfied. The progress of Shapeshift in King Kong can only benefit him and not harm him, and let Collector do his best to help Shapeshift in King Kong. Su Yi was surprised, the creator, and after discovering Su Yi's arrival, all the Shapeshift in King Kong patriarchs drop what they're doing. Everyone saluted Su Yi respectfully. F organizes the information Collector is taken aback. He hadn't reacted yet when he heard the word creator. Now after seeing all the elders respectfully, he just raised his head. He saw Su Yi standing in the sky. Papa Papa, don't say it. Live longer and react faster. Collector quickly walked around the table and stepped aside. Then he bowed down and said the same. The creator, his tone is even more respectful than the shapeshift in King Kong. And Su Yi didn't refute when he heard that he was also called the creator. It's the same name after all. He waved, signal the shapeshift in King Kong's to get up before speaking. I am very happy to see your rapid growth. After hearing this sentence, the shapeshift in King Kong's don't have hippie faces but more respect. They are serious lives, so generally no laughing, and Collector is even more shocking. He thought it was the creator of the shapeshift in King Kong, so it must not be a human form, right? Like a sentient gemstone, or a blob of conscious energy? Perhaps a soul-like consciousness? In short, Collector thought a lot, but the only thing I didn't consider is that the human form created Cybertron and shapeshift in King Kong, because the shapeshift in King Kong is mechanical life, so the first thing Collector thinks about is abnormal life. But now Su Yi's unreasonable answer shocked him even more. What the hell is this ability? Can such a civilization be created? And at the moment, Su Yi continued, add a new creator order now. You can take the initiative to attack other civilizations and creatures in the universe, but only if you see them killing and destroying others, or you have their evidence and records. Su Yi finished speaking. All shapeshifting King Kong originals are in the same voice. Got it. Dark object. Very good. Su Yi nodded in satisfaction. By doing this. He is actually broadening the rights of shapeshift in King Kong. I was talking about the reason for not being allowed to take the initiative to kill before. Yes the shapeshift in Kongs haven't flown out of Cybertron yet. But now to the universe, then that command won't work, because the content of that instruction is to be resisted before doing anything. What if you encounter a fleet like Thanos in the future? Waiting for them to start shapeshift in King Kong will be at a disadvantage. So Su Yi now gave shapeshift in King Kong the right to take the initiative. As long as you are a Bardas, then you don't need to resist and you can do it directly. So what Su Yi meant was, no matter who and who, can't make my shapeshift in King Kong suffer. My shapeshift in King Kong can't suffer either, understand? And receive. After the Collector heard this instruction, his own expression could hardly conceal his excitement. Both are people. Collector understood what Su Yi meant. This is for the better development of your own shapeshift in King Kong. After the order is given, Su Yi looked at the Cybertron planet with satisfaction. Under such development, Cybertron will be up several steps soon. That was really interesting. Su Yi turned his head. He looked at the three women behind him. And you, I have nothing to say. Wonder, Gwen, and Halo all shook their heads at the same time. Shapeshift in King Kong has grown to this point. Their opinions are no longer necessary, and Su Yi is the captain. He points in a direction. The shapeshift in King Kong will go wherever. Okay, let's go back then. Su Yi stretched out his hand, wanting to snap his fingers. But the next moment, the excited voice of Collector came. Dear Creator, can we have a chat? Hear this sentence. Su Yi looked at the excited Collector who was wearing a big white mink suit. He thought for a while and smiled. If you can help the shapeshifters build Cybertron better, maybe we can have a chat. Finished. Su Yi snapped his fingers. The four disappeared in an instant, and Su Yi's trick is called Pua before leaving. It's up to the Collector not to be fooled. But if Collector can really do his best, then there's no harm in talking to him. After returning to the upstate New York building, Gwen finally opened the seal, and said happily and pleasantly, They have walked out of the planet. They have gone to the universe to develop. Will they take over any planet, or form some interstellar alliance or something? Gwen's head was wild with fantasies, but all I can think of is probably the content in the game. And Halo analyzed it seriously and said, The form and life of shapeshift in King Kong are doomed that they will not cooperate with any civilization to form an alliance. They're definitely just going to grow themselves, and then create more shapeshifting lords to manage them. She said this, so Yi gave her a thumbs up. You are right. What is the difference between the shapeshifting Kong created by him and the shapeshifting Kong of other universes? 1. No civil war, work together. 2. 
it will not stick to the Cybertron weak, but will develop towards the universe in an all-round way. 3. There is no upper limit and limit to the development direction. These points are enough to be better than the shape-shifting King Kong of other universes. Wait until the technical level is sufficient later. So Yi didn't even know how strong the shape-shifting King Kong he created would grow. Do you want to come and dominate the universe? Hit Interstellar. Forget it. This is all a long time later. And back to New York. Gwen just remembered to look at her phone. She took out her phone and looked at it. It's over. Time out again. The recent New York is not peaceful plus monsters are infested. So Gwen's curfew is coming again. It's okay. I'll take you back. So Yi raised his hand and was about to snap there. Good Zhao. Finger. Gwen took the things and waved his hand and said. I have my final exam next week. Wait for my good news. No problem. Snap Tilda. Snap your fingers. Gwen disappeared in an instant. So Yi took Wanda and Hala back home. Wanda now goes straight to the small universe when she returns home. Then said in surprise. Sue. The flower seedlings have grown. Let me see. Hala lay down on the blanket and started playing games. So Yi came to the small universe to take a look. The flower seedlings that were originally as high as the thumb jumped directly to the full height from the little finger to the thumb. And it's a lot thicker, and there are signs of long leaves at the top. And Su Yi also found out there are already tender thorns on this flower stem. So Yi looked at it and guessed. You're not growing roses, my god, Artilda. Su Yi said so. Wanda immediately slapped Su Yi regretfully. Why did you say it? I want to plant it as a surprise for you. It turned out to be a rose, but to give a surprise, there is no such thing as above board. Wanda should have wanted to be on the last move. Then directly use magic to spawn. Finally, when Su Yi got up, he suddenly saw these roses Tilda. That would be so romantic. Su Yi smiled beautifully. With such a woman, what more can a husband ask for? Wanda. Su Yi hugged Wanda's waist from behind. Huh? Wanda let out a sound, which was regarded as a response. Su Yi pressed against her ear and said softly, Have you noticed the sky? Wanda looked up at the sky of the small universe. At the moment small universe is also late at night. Surrounded by the Milky Way. It is full of stars. Wanda nodded. It's beautiful. But not as beautiful as you. Plop Tilda. The moment I heard this sentence. Wanda is crazy. Her eyes instantly turned into spring rain. Then he threw Su Yi to the ground. At this moment, she didn't want to say anything. Wanda just wants to show how much she loves him with actions. 108. Eternal race for help. Phoenix to two. Crystal Rose. While sleeping at night, Su Yi suddenly thought of one thing. In Thanos collection of infinite gems quest progress. It seems that there is a process to go to the void to collect. It's the collector's reality stone. Yes, there is such a thing. But now the void has been dragged back by the shapeshift in King Kong. So where to find Thanos? He came with an army. Is this realistic? So is Thanos going to be stuck in reality gem? Interesting. So Yi smiled silently in the darkness. It would be interesting if you get stuck with a gem. How can the sacred timeline be closed so that this gem can be returned to Thanos? Is it possible? It was possible before. But the current Su Yi has a super template of silver. The sacred timeline has no effect on him. You can't even find Su Yi on the sacred timeline. So how does this end? Although Su Yi couldn't think of it. But he is looking forward to the following plot. The next two or three days were normal. Nothing strange happened. Today is Friday. In the past few days, Su Yi has received a few normal customers. And then he has been fishing. Little Hala is still playing games. And then squeezes him twice from time to time probably squeezed too much. So Yi felt that little Hala showed signs of growing up. It turned out that it was too much water. Belly bulging. Cough cough cough. Wanda's life is also simple and relaxing. Every morning after waking up, she would practice spells first, and then go shopping for Su Yi's lunch when it was almost noon. Then half of the afternoon went to Little Universe to play with the flower fields. Continue to practice spells half the time. Then it depends on the situation in the evening whether to make dinner or not. Finally forced to sleep, according to Gwen. The final exam is coming soon in these two days. So she is too busy. The whole thing is not to do this and that at school, or to go home to deal with the parents' study inspection. But the good news is, she has an exam in two days. You will be free now. So Gwen just studied hard these few days. Then wait for a good grade. Completely free from bondage. Don't forget that Gwen is still a top student. It's strange that she didn't get good grades in the exam. That's all. Patter. So Yi comfortably put his legs up on the table. Put his hands on the back of his head and began to fish leisurely. Look at the news. Superhero disappeared. Is this good or bad? Where did Scarlet Witch go? Is she no longer a superhero? 570 According to the worst guess on the internet, Scarlet Witch has fallen in love with a man who has appeared many times before, and has now become a housewife. What do you think? Puff Tilda. See last message. Su Yi almost burst out laughing. Can you guess this? And it's a worst guess. Can. What if this is a fact? This is if wonderfully announces the news. After the citizens know the truth. They are afraid that tears will fall, tighter. At this time, Su Yi's mobile phone received a message. He took it out to have a look. It's Gwen's. The first few photos are of Gwen. For example, in class, when the teacher turned her back, she also turned her back to take a selfie with Pai. For example, 
When she saw Bitchy wearing a miniskirt, she would even take two pictures with some color for Suyi to see if she fights criminals today. She will also send the photos and videos of fighting criminals to Suyi. Suyi looked at the photo, especially the first and second ones, then buckle the word to reply. Suyi, take a good class. Gwen, he he tilde, I know everything. These are too simple. Suyi, then you go to take pictures of other women's skirts and get rid of gods and demons? Gwen, she burns it. I'll take it for you and us to watch together. Suyi, I was thinking, it would be better if you come back and burn it for me. Gwen, expression middle dot shy, I can't learn. Suyi, it's okay, I'll teach you, and when you come back, I'll be a private tutor. Gwen, expression middle dot nodding shyly. All right. Suyi put down the phone, after some operations. He has an extra identity as a tutor. At the same time, he also has the identity of Wanda's special training teacher. Really not bad. Suyi felt that this life was getting more and more. More please. He is not too much tighter. At this moment, Su Yi just put down his phone. There was another message in his hand. He picked it up and took a look. It turned out to be Natasha Romanoff who hadn't talked much since adding it. Natasha Romanoff, Sue, are you free? I need to bring someone to talk to. Bring someone? Su Yi asked directly. Su Yi, who? Natasha Romanoff, she claims to be a member of the Eternal Race, and has something to report about the destruction of the world. Su Yi, then why don't you report it to the United Nations? Why are you looking for me? Natasha Romanoff. Let's talk when we get there, baby. So ye, call me directly next time. Come here. Even though Natasha Romanoff's phone is an agent phone, she also doesn't want to talk too much on their, a uh, phone. And after the chat, the data is completely cleaned up. As for Su Yi's words, he could probably guess who was coming, but he was curious. The Eternals are coming to him. It won't be Gwen saying you go to the Avengers. Then the Avengers heard about it. Just bring someone to find yourself. What did Su Yi think? It's really possible. Half an hour later, bang bang tilde, enter, with the door pushed open. Two women in windbreakers came in together. Su Yi looked up. One is Natasha Romanoff. One was Cerse, whom Gwen had saved that day. As expected, people are the same as he guessed, because of the Eternals who have been in contact with Su Yi. Only Cerse who had contact with Gwen. And the water elf is impossible, so only her. Sit. Su Yi asked them to sit down. Then Hala brought two bottles of milk tea and pushed them over. Then Su Yi crossed his fingers on the table and looked at the two of them. Natasha Romanoff, you can now talk about why you only came to me, but not reported to the United Nations. Hearing this, Natasha Romanoff immediately rolled her eyes. What's the use of them? It's nothing more than trying to make their own rights and interests bigger. I took Cerse to say that the earth was going to be destroyed, and they would just run away early, and lock me up to prevent leaking the news. Hearing this, Su Yi almost couldn't help laughing. What are you talking about? If it doesn't work, turn all people into digital beings, and then build a spaceship to run around, right? Then Natasha Romanoff continued. I listened to what Cerse said and thought it was important, so I can only come to you. I don't trust the others, even if it's Captain America. I'm afraid he will do something too extreme. Yes, although Captain America does things very freely. But he will only do things for freedom. After telling him the news like this, he will only work hard in this direction. Su Yi nodded, indicating that what Natasha Romanoff said was correct. Then he raised his hand, indicating that he could continue talking. At this moment Natasha Romanoff looked at Cerse and said, You can tell him all these things. Don't worry, whether it's Scarlet Witch or the Spider Lady who saved you that day, they are all his people. Hearing this, Cerse was relieved a lot. She turned to look at Su Yi. Then he said slowly, I am Cerse, the new leader of the Eternals. We were sent by the Tension Group to help life and incubate the new ecology of the Tension Group. And once the hatching is complete, the entire Earth will be destroyed, and the life on it will also be absorbed. But I have lived here for thousands of years. I don't want to see the Earth destroyed. I want this plan to fail. So, so Cerse talked a lot with Su Yi next. She told Su Yi all the news she knew from the Tamshin group, including what the Celestial Seed is. What is the plan? How to destroy the Earth? How was the God born? It can be said that he has said all he knows. Let me add one last sentence. I like the Earth very much. I love it here, so I don't want to see it destroyed. Good guy. It can be seen that she really loves the Earth. Although I am an Eternal and a member of the Celestial group, I love the Earth, so I have to find a way to kill the Tengen group. Okay, then this is busy for me. I've already made up my mind, but for added convenience. After Su Yi nodded, he said to Cerse, If you want the Celestial Seed not to destroy the Earth, you can only prevent it from being born or destroy it at the moment of birth. It's unrealistic not to be born, unless you have Thanos come and slaughter half the population right now. So the chance is to kill him at the moment of its birth. As soon as Cerse heard it, she knew that Su Yi had a solution, so she immediately asked eagerly, Then what should I do? How to do it? Just don't mess around. He has planned everything, you can just do it normally. So Su Yi smiled and said directly in a guiding way, I remember you have the ability to change the structure of matter, don't you? Yes, Sirs nodded immediately. She picked up her milk tea. Then one uses the ability. Wow, in the next moment, 
The milk tea turned into a milk tea made out of Lego bricks. Then use ability after her. Lego milk tea has become ice milk tea again. Very good. So Yi nodded in satisfaction. Then you only need to petrify and live in the celestial group for a while at the moment of its birth. Then someone will fix it. Sirs does the same in the plot. She gathered the strength of the crowd. Then clap your hands on the Tendian group to use ability. Then the celestial group, which had not yet been fully born was petrified by her. Finally Alan came to them to convict them. Just took them away, and Suyi can also ask them to help petrify. In this way, Gwen will be relatively easy to clean up. But Sirs knew it after thinking about it. But my ability is not enough. I can't petrify even if the Tengen group is not fully born. Fix it. In the previous plot, Sirs is the strength that brings everyone together. But now this situation, she was afraid that she would not go to the gathering. Can't gather e there. So Su Yi thought about it and snapped his fingers. Crack. Next moment, Artilda. Sirs felt a tingling pain in his forearms. She quickly rolled up her sleeves and took a look. A phoenix tattoo appears on her forearm. She quickly looked at her other hand. Also the same, Su Yi said at this time. Now you don't have to worry, as long as you tap on it. Use ability constantly. These two phoenix tattoos can constantly bless you with strength and energy until they are exhausted and disappear. Sirs looked at the tattoo and wondered if it would help at all. And Natasha Romanoff has already leaned into her ear and said, No hesitation. Thanks. Natasha Romanoff said so. Sirs knew it would work. So she quickly nodded in thanks. Thank you so much. So Yi waved his hand, expressing that it doesn't matter. This operation is the same as he buffed the limp and twitching Wanda. Just wanders with immediate effect. And she has two batteries in her hands. When used, the Phoenix to two will become a lighter and weaker, and then it will disappear after use. At last, So Yi waved his hand. Go back. Everything is going on normally. When you use this ability, the person who should go will appear. Listening to Su Yi's words like charades, Sirs felt it was the right thing to do instead. This is called mystery and greatness. So she and Natasha Romanoff left together again. After getting off the floor of the northern building, Sirs thanked Natasha Romanoff again. Thank you for your willingness to help me, otherwise I can only watch the earth be destroyed. It's not that I helped you, Natasha Romanoff corrected. There is something in this world that can solve this problem. It's not me or anyone else. It can only be Sue. Hear this sentence. Sirs thought about it, but still couldn't help asking. How strong is he? Natasha Romanoff shook her head and spread her hands. No one knows how strong Sue is. But both Scarlet Witch and Sorcerer Supreme do what he says. Even the spider lady who saved you that day is his partner. So no one knows where Sue's bottom is. You just need to know that the attitude is as good as possible, and then go to him to see if there is hope. After listening to what Natasha Romanoff said, Sirs's expression suddenly understood. That's right. God should be mysterious. This kind of bottomless unknown, and mysterious existence makes Sirs even more convinced. I see. Sirs nodded, thanked Natasha Romanoff before speaking. Then I have to go back, proceed as normal first, I just need to do the last step. Natasha Romanoff nodded, exactly. Finally the two separated. They each returned to their posts. In the northern building, Su Yi stretched his waist and looked at the time. TF4 colon 13. The last few minutes of this week. Get over it. So Su Yi thought about it. Hala, switched to a two-player game. He ran to play games with Hala. Just when the two were playing happily, Su Yi suddenly sniffed his nose. Scent of flowers? Su Yi turned his head to look. A scarlet portal slowly opened beside him. Then a hand came out first. He also holds a red rose in his hand, and this fire rose is different. Wanda used the devil's essence ice ability to freeze all the roses with a nice film. Then Wanda came out and explained, this is the first mature rose in the garden. I'm going to keep it forever with ice. Now give it to you, Tilda. So Yi threw down the game console and took a deep breath. The vast majority of men in this world cannot receive a flower from others, not to mention roses from a woman. And even if it was delivered, it might be the white wreath behind the death. But now he has it. Then he has surpassed 99.9% .9 of men in this world in terms of women. I'm honored. Wonder. So Yi took the ice roses, but he didn't hold all of them. Instead, he took Wonder's hand. The two held the ice rose together and said, but it should belong to the two of us, not just me. Wonder smiled, smiling very happily. But one person is not happy. That's Hala playing games on the side. She checked the time. Then he got up and insisted on walking between the two of them. When he finally opened the door and went out, he rolled his eyes at the door and said, It's time to get off work. If you want to show your affection, please go home and show it. Thank you. So Yi and Wanda looked at each other and smiled. Let's go. Get off work first. 109. The cyber yacht appears. It's the first time to use Dutch out template. After get off work. That's two and a half days of freedom. So Yi didn't want to eat at home at this time. So Yi clapped his hands and said, Call Gwen, how about we go have a beach barbecue? Okay. Wanda nodded happily, then I'll put the flowers back first. Hala also ran back, then I'll put the gamepad back. Now Hala pursues the feel. Any handle will do. It's okay to be different. Not anymore. She just used one handle all the time. I don't want to change randomly. This shows that Hala technology has improved. And Su Yi dialed Gwen's phone. Mansions, quick rides, beaches, 
barbecues, I go, beep beep tilde, the phone hangs up, Gwen found a place to transform directly on the way from school, then he pulled the cobweb and rushed over here, after a while, wait until Wanda and Hala change clothes and shoes and come down, Gwen also fell from the roof of the building and waved, woo tilde, I'm not late, am I, just right, so you watched as Gwen put away the symbiote battle suit, then he raised his hand and said, are you all ready, I won't drive this time, just teleport it there. Okay, snap Tilda. Snap your fingers. The four disappeared instantly. Next moment, they show up right next to the beach party. In the United States, there are so many people who love the beach. Many people sunbathe, swim and play games on the beach during the day. In the evening, there will be parties on the beach, drinking beer, and eating barbecue. So basically the better beaches are crowded at night. But there are also many thieves. Please pay attention to the safety of personal belongings. After coming here, Wanda asked after seeing a lot of people. Should we bake it ourselves? or buy someone else's. Gwen looked over. I want to bake it myself, but too many people, a bit unsafe, mainly out of trouble. So Su Yi looked around and said, buy it, it's too troublesome to bake it yourself. So the three of them went to buy something to eat on the beach. After a while, Hala held the burrito in her hand and took a big bite expectantly. Um, then his face changed. Poo. Hala spat it out in one gulp, looked at the various sauces in the burrito angrily and asked, why are they adding all this weird stuff? Isn't it just plain meat sauce? Wanda and Gwen also tasted it. So Yi took a bite and said, it doesn't taste good. Without these sauces, unless you go to a local butcher shop in Mexico to buy it, the mobile stalls outside are like this. Hala looked at the burrito in her hand, feeling very disgusted in her heart. She hands Wanda the burrito. Are you eating? I have. She handed the burrito to Gwen again. You, I have it too. She looked at Su Yi again. Don't eat and throw away. Butilda, Hala threw it into the trash can without any hesitation. Don't tell me. Throwing is quite accurate. The four of them walked on the beach, Wanda and Gwen occupying Su Yi's arm alone. Hala just looked around, smelled it, and felt it was delicious. If it tastes good, buy it and try it. If it doesn't taste good, Take a bite in front of others and throw it into the trash can. You, definitely this operation also makes some bosses rage. But Wanda turned her head and took a look at him. The scarlet magic entered his brain in the blink of an eye. Then the boss calmed down instantly. Gwen turned her head and looked surprised. Wanda, you can use the hypnotic ability even without getting close? Definitely. Wanda turned around. She put her arms around Su Yi's arm and said, Su gave me special training every night. It's hard work. Isn't it Tilda? Su Yi turned his head in a daze. Wanda blinked. Su Yi turned around. I found that Gwen looked at himself with questioning eyes. Yes dot 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 it was hard work. Su Yi thought about it. The previous Wanda was an ordinary battery, and it had to be charged for a long time before it could continue to be used. But the current Wanda is at least an infinite super 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 fast rush. After a special training run out of electricity, the second rush can still be used. Use it back and forth several times. Wanda is at home, practicing magic very hard. In the end, so you could only tell the truth. Gwen nodded, raising her small fist for encouragement. Then I have to work hard. Exercise more, move more. Gwen suddenly reacted after pumping herself up. But the normal equipment is meaningless for me to train, what should I do? I also feel that the barbell of several hundred kilograms is quite light. A few hundred kilograms is also light. Gwen's physical fitness has already exceeded the limit of ordinary Spider-Man. Fine. But he waved his hand and said, I got Tony to build a gravity chamber later on. I will modify the increase at will. Arbitrarily adjust dozens of times and hundreds of times the Earth's gravity. Gwen's eyes lit up. This is acceptable. Now that it's decided, Su Yi took out his mobile phone and contacted Tony Stark. And Tony Stark? who lives in seclusion, is still working on his armor. Suddenly the phone rang. Tony took a look. It actually belongs to Su Yi, he immediately said to Friday, on. After getting through, Su Yi's voice came from there. Help me build a gravity chamber that can adjust the gravity, just build it according to your ability, it doesn't matter how much it is. You want this? Tony was taken aback for a moment, and then said, no problem, but it may waste energy. Without my arc reactor, it is difficult to maintain operation. The last thing I lack is energy. I don't need your reactor. Just install it hard. This is for Gwen to exercise. What? Tony was completely taken aback. He hugged his arms with one hand, and rubbed his chin with the other hand to think about it. Miss Spider needs so much gravity to exercise. Tony knew that Gwen was Miss Spider. After all, you have to go home after hiding in the city. Those who have some means can find out. Whether it's S-H-I-E-L-D or Tangianju, everyone knows. It's just that ordinary people don't know it. Don't ask so much, Tony. I'm afraid of hitting you. So he is now walking on the beach with the two girls. His hands were still held. How did the phone make the call? Definitely Gwen holding the phone to her ear. Even if your nano armor is researched, it can't beat the little girl Gwen. All right. Tony on the other end rubbed his nose. That was really shocking. Sure enough, mutation is the way out. The human body is so fragile. Then I'll build it for you. But where? You can find any place in your house. So Yi said casually. Anything? Tony was stunned. The main body of this gravity chamber is also very heavy. 
It may weigh a hundred tons. How will it be transported away then? It means that you can only choose a place to build. It cannot be built elsewhere and replaced. It's fine. But Su Yi didn't care. The weight was nothing to him. You just need to build it. I have the calendar. This. Well. 17. Reclusive Tony stroked his beard. Now that it's done, then talk about other things. Tony also said directly. Bring your partner to my party another day. How about we cook something together? I only found out after I came out of the city. Technology is not just about machines. It has to be combined with nature. Face the invitation. So Yi thought for a while, and agreed. Yes, but the timing may be uncertain. It depends on luck. No problem. Then it's settled. Goodbye. Goodbye. I wish you an early baby. Um, beep beep tilde. After hanging up the phone. So you could clearly hear the masked voice on the other side before hanging up. See you here. Dakako was born early. Tony was stunned when he heard that. But he looked at only Peppa's natural villa. It seems that it would be nice to have a baby early. There are many children. Let's have fun. Here in New York. The four of Su Yi walked and chatted to the beach. The four took off their shoes. The seawater splashed on his feet. After hanging up the phone. Gwen stuffed the phone into Su Yi's pants. His tilde Su Yi hissed intentionally. Then looked at Gwen and said with a smile. Just put it in. Don't pinch it. Gwen. Huh? Gwen hadn't had time to explain. Wanda and Hala looked over together. That look seemed to say, So you are such a Gwen? You, hissed Tilda. Gwen immediately squeezed angrily. Su Yi also hissed. But he is not in pain. What is his physical fitness? He will hurt. He almost missed the gun. Su Yi hissed. Then he looked at Wanda and said, It was fake just now. But now it's real. Gwen was annoyed and patted Su Yi again. How bad are you Tilda? Wanda glared at Su Yi. Then I reached into my pocket and squeezed it, hissed Tilda. It's broken. I really can't hold it down now, Su Yi gasped. Then I looked down, as expected. The pant legs are already contoured. I buy karma tilde. The young woman in the distance couldn't close her mouth in surprise when she saw it. There seemed to be light in her eyes. Everyone stepped forward and wanted someone's contact information. And Wanda and Gwen looked at each other. Let's go. She fights around too. Su Yi was taken away directly. The speed of taking it away is extremely fast. After a while, I arrived at a deserted corner of the sea. Those who didn't know thought they were going to shoot here. Cool. Su Yi took a deep breath. Then looked at Wanda and Gwen said, I really want to deal with you right away. Slightly slightly. Gwen nodded slightly. And said a little provocatively. We're outside. Ha ha Tilda. If only Hala. So Yi probably really wants to bring. Hala went to try it. But Gwen and Wanda forget it. Also Wanda knows they are outside now. So Yi had nothing to do with her. So Wanda blinked and said deliberately. Zero dot 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 task for flowers. No magic and abilities allowed. Unless you can make your family grow wings and fly over. Otherwise we'll go home and talk about it. Gwen Tilda. Gwen nodded. Yes, Su Yi's teeth itched in anger. Go home without ability, unless he called Tan Huo over. But even on Tan Huo, Tan Huo is still a sports car, and it can't use its fists. What to do then? Now Su Yi is very angry, etc. Su Yi suddenly thought of it. His cyberpunk yacht isn't out yet. Originally, he expected to take it out to play together tomorrow. But looking at it now, how about taking it out tonight? Take it out, take out, take, taste. Su Yi waved his hand. Go straight to the sea. Huh? X2. Gwen and Wanda were stunned. What are you doing in the ocean? But they obediently followed Su Yi. But his face became more and more red. Wanda thought unnaturally. It won't be in the water dot 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 but it will be very cold. Gwen pretty much thought so too. She is not afraid of cold. But Gwen felt that she couldn't hold on. The two looked at each other. There is tension in the eyes. But how could Su Yi make such a mistake? After coming to the beach, Su Yi stopped, turned round, and raised his hands to the two women. Looking good, huh? The two women looked at Su Yi's fingers. Snap tilde. A sound pointed to the back. Next moment, a 200 meter long space crack opened above the sea behind Su Yi. Then one is 188 meters long. Dot 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 zero. And the yacht with the ultimate sci-fi and cyberpunk appearance falls from it. Hit the water again. Boom tilde. Waves splashed tens of meters high on the sea surface. And the yacht was wrapped in energy by Su Yi when it fell. So no shit. Turn on the stealth function. Su Yi gave another order. The appearance of the yacht changes color automatically, just like SHIELD Zero Space Aircraft Carrier, it becomes invisible. After the yacht is summoned, Su Yi put away his hands, looked at the two women in a daze and smiled, it's still too late to run, or I'll hit too, Su Yi said so. Gwen reacted first, she gave Wanda a slap in the face, run, Wanda, take advantage of the fact that he can't use his ability now, or he will be forced to suffer if he is caught tilde, Gwen blinked and ran, the speed is really fast, R? But Wanda is a magician. How do you let her run? Unless she uses magic. But is there no forward swing with magic? Shua Tilda. Next moment. It doesn't take Wanda to react. Su Yi disappeared. Because Su Yi has a super silver template. He doesn't need any abilities. And his running or flight speed can be close to the speed of light just by his physique. As for a little Gwen. Raise your hand to pinch. In an instant. Wanda seemed to have just seen Su Yi leave. But in an instant Su Yi came back. 
but the difference is, he carried a Gwen on his shoulder. How are you so fast? Gwen turned her head on Su Yi's shoulder in surprise. You let me down. Wang told you to run. If you don't run, it's too late. Still want to run? Su Yi smiled and walked to Wanda's side, then put it on the waist. In the end, he just hit one, pinned the other, and then jumped onto the yacht. Isn't it a yacht tens of meters away and a few meters high? This is not a drop in the bucket for Su Yi's real physical fitness. It can only be counted as a fixed star in the Milky Way. And how many fixed stars are there in the Milky Way? 4000 slash Ed. Su Yi carried it on his shoulders. Gwen softly gave up resistance. It's over. Wanda just had nothing to say. She has closed her eyes and is ready to accept the punishment of oral sex. So tonight the sea is very uneven. The 188 meter yacht sailed into the sea in stealth. Su Yi also put anti-peeping magic, soundproof magic, invisibility magic and so on on it. But even so, the yacht was also shaking in the middle of the night. Although a bit exaggerated. But in reality it's not much different. Anyway. Su Yi was very happy. The next day, Su Yi woke up on the top floor suite of the yacht. He stood up and went outside. Admire the shimmer of the sun as it hits the sea level. Gwen didn't leave last night, because it's the weekend. And Gwen has a test tomorrow. Rest well today, then wait for a good grade on the test tomorrow. Wanda's words were a bit miserable yesterday. She is the one who suffers every time. And Gwen wanted to make herself look less disadvantaged. So she would help Su Yi deal with Wanda every time. But Wanda would have been blown up if he hit one. What's more? The bottom lane single lane hits the double lane. How to fight this? It was miserable to be directly suppressed by the opponent. Binge eating experience. But Su Yi found out after wandering around on the plywood. Are they missing someone? Where's Hala? B. 110. Lesson Hala. Shapeshifting Kong vs. Thanos Legion. Yes. Only now did Su Yi remember. When Wanda and Gwen took him running last night. Forget about Hala. Then he just thought about Jenga. Forget about Hala too. Are this? I'm so sorry Hala cough cough cough. Crack. Su Yi quickly snapped his fingers to see where Hala was. It turned out she was playing games at home. Cool. Su Yi breathed a sigh of relief. It's fine if you don't cry. He waved again. Hala's game paused and the person was teleported to Yuting in an instant. At the moment Hala is still holding the handle. After seeing Su Yi's person, she froze for a moment, then jumped over abruptly. I'll bite you to death. You just forgot about me. I hate you Bardas. She really jumped over and clamped on Su Yi's waist. Then he bit Su Yi's shoulder hard, even tearing hard, like a dog. But her teeth are to Su Yi. It may indeed be painful when you first get the Phoenix Force. After all, the body was just an ordinary person at that time. But now he has the template of a silver superstar, immune to most physical damage. That's it? How do you make me hurt? But Su Yi knew what she wanted. So Su Yi smiled and said, So, before they get up, how about I play with you as you said last time? Little Hala was taken aback for a moment, then asked excitedly, Really Tilda? I won't go back on my word Tilda. What was proposed earlier was brilliant. There are toilets, corners, corridors and so on. Just try it and you'll know. Su Yi smiled, and walked straight up. Let's go. I'll take you to see what functions are available in the various hardware facilities of the yacht. At the same time, a certain star in the universe, the 677 system, dozens of warships with a length of 10,000 meters are slowly flying nearby, and in three of them, there are ten giant mechanical beings sitting on the battleship to have a bird's eye view of this universe. These Big Macs are huge in size. They sit on a 10,000 meter long battleship and they are as big as a battleship. And in the remaining battleships behind, some warships are loaded with tens of millions of tons of precious ore. Some battleships are still empty and unloaded. But the picture returns to the giant machine on the shoulders of a gigantic mechanical life. If you zoom in and zoom in with a magnifying glass, you will find it. A figure stood there talking with a special instrument. And they are the Cybertron space fleet. Big Macs are the shape-shifting King Kong patriarchs. Little Quack is collector. Yes. And it's only a few days. The previously prepared fleet has already been built and set off. The veterans of shapeshifting King Kong decided to search for resources according to the universe. Resource map drawn by Collector. And Collector definitely will bring it. And Collector himself originally is very willing to follow. He pointed to the galaxy around him and said. This is the Xandar galaxy. And there is an empire in it called the Nova Empire. They are one of the strongest empires in the galaxy. It is also the most inclusive empire in the galaxy. No matter what kind of life you are here, you can enter the empire, but you must not violate the law or use force, or you'll be locked up in the hardest prison in the galaxy. After this person finished speaking, Big Mac didn't say anything. Just simply ask him, a good empire or a bad empire? What resources are there in the galaxy? Hear the words of the shapeshifting King Kong Patriarch, Forehead. Collector was puzzled. I have said so much. You only care about whether it is hostile or neutral, and whether there are resources available, right? Well, mechanical life really should be like this. They don't have that much emotion. It's not a bad empire. Collector nodded and said. The Nova Empire also had a war with the Kree Empire the year before, but now there's basically a truce on both sides. However, due to the high tolerance of the Nova Empire, 
11. They sometimes shelter some weak civilizations. Collector just finished speaking. The elder continued to ask. Resource. All right. Collector knows. As soon as I heard that the Nova Empire had no chance to mine resources, the veterans of shapeshift in King Kong will leave even if they understand it. Then the next galaxy to find resources. So Collector can only answer. Basically, they are normal cosmic resources, but they have a kind of Nova energy which is generated by a super life computer, and those who can absorb these energies after performing meritorious deeds are called new stars, that's what their Nova Core means. Collector finished, the veterans of shapeshift in King Kong collectively thought for a while, they are judging what this new star energy is, whether it is good or not, after half a sound, asked one of the elders, would the Nova Empire be willing to exchange Nova energy, we just need a little bit for research, impossible, Collector flatly refused. He shook his head and said to the instrument in his hand, Nova energy is the most precious resource of the Nova Empire. Its status is at the same level as the Queen status of the Nova Empire. So unless it's the moment of the Empire's demise, otherwise the Nova Empire will never hand over the Nova energy. That's all for the Collector. The Elders really didn't talk about this matter. It's like someone asking a shapeshifter for Genishi. You see shapeshift in King Kong can't kill you. Put it directly in the planet furnace and bake it for you. After a while of silence, the Elders could only give orders. All shapeshift in King Kong. Prepare for the time-space transition, and go to the next galaxy to scan for resources. Following the Elder's order, all 10,000 meter warships started their engines to prepare for the time-space transition. But at this moment, the detection system of the Elders detected a large number of legions migrating into Xandar's galaxy at the same time. Stop jumping. The Elder felt something was wrong immediately, and stopped the fleet transition. Then the rest of the Elders began to scan the galaxy with all their strength. After a while, there is a report from Elder Shui. In the Xandar galaxy, a legion at the negative value of our coordinates has jumped here. They have a 10,000 meter class flagship, and many circle shaped warships. Finished. The Elder sent the scanned images to the terminals of all shapeshift in King Kong. At the same time, a copy was sent to Collector. Collector looks at the screen. Immediately jumped up in fright. It's the Legion of Thanos. This is Thanos flagship holy place number two. Let's go. Collector almost jumped up in fright. If you want to ask who is the most powerful and who is the most famous in this universe, not counting gods, that really belongs to Thanos. He starts by destroying 50% of his homeland. Already dominated many galaxies. So far, Thanos has slaughtered tons and tons of people. If you ask who is the main force interfering with the birth of the new Tengen group, and none of them, that must be Thanos. In the original book, the Earth can live for several years. That's thanks to Thanos snapping his fingers. Otherwise, wait for less than five years to flash back. The Earth is broken out of its shell. Yes, the Earth is that shell. And in the face of Collector's fright, the veterans are quickly analyzing the comparison of combat power. They have 10 veterans, 200 plus shapeshift in King Kong, and 50,000 plus robot troops. There are 20 warships of the same 10,000 meter class as Thanos. Although eight of these 20 ships are fully loaded with resources, they are not suitable for battles. And the firepower is not a pure battleship. But therein lies the advantage of shapeshift in King Kong. I have so much firepower. You are a legion. My legion here counts at least five. And that's just counting. The main force of the shapeshift in King Kong fleet is definitely the 215 20 meter high shapeshift in King Kong. None of them are worse than the generals under Thanos. So if you really want to count the combat power and compare it, you will find it. We can win, but lose about 30 shapeshift in King Kong descendants. Combined with robot losses, there is no profit. Yes, no profit. So not ready to fight. The shapeshift in King Kong is also very realistic. Those who can make Cybertron develop, fight. But if you fight, you will lose money. So forget it. Shapeshift in King Kong don't need face or anything. As long as it can make Cybertron flourish, they are willing to fight for it. Vice versa. So Yi gave them the ability to take the initiative to attack. As long as it can be determined in any way that the opponent will harm the life safety of the shapeshift in King Kong. But it's not that shapeshift in King Kong has to be a good guy. You must save so and so, so and so. So Yi just wanted to shapeshift King Kong's self-development. Only hinder development. Then fight. But at the moment, one of the shapeshifting Donkey Kong veterans has a different opinion. Kirku. It speaks. The 100 meter big eyes of the other nine veterans all looked at it at the same time. And then the elder said after calculating and analyzing. Collector says Thanos Legion likes to slaughter 50% of all life. And they have now come to Xandar. If the Thanos Legion is here to slaughter. We can wait until both sides have suffered a certain amount of battle damage before going out. For the new star energy, when I heard that it was for the new star energy, all the elders reacted, and Collector was even more taken aback. Yes, that's right, Thanos has his sights set on the Nova Empire. Wait, Thanos wants to collect infinite gems. And there is an infinite gems kept in the Nova Empire. A word from Collector. Let the elders look at Collector again. What are infinite gems and why does Thanos want infinite gems? For a moment, Collector was stunned. 
he suddenly reacted. The elders haven't been told about infinite gems yet. So he quickly added, infinite gems is where the universe began. And Thanos needs infinite gems to eliminate. So, wait until Collector says, over. Elders also understand the importance of infinite gems. Then I won't talk about it. Voting begins. Rescue Nova Empire in times of crisis. Ask for Nova Energy and infinite gems. 10 colon 0. There were only 10 votes in this vote, because only 10 elders voted. But it passed unanimously. Make a plan. The elders began to command shapeshifting King Kong into combat readiness. And slowly approach Xandar. And when they arrive, Thanos' holy place 2 flagship has arrived at the doorstep of Nova Empire. And Thanos stood on the flagship and announced directly. Hand over the infinite gems, split into two teams at random, and await death's choice. The queen of the Nova Empire took a deep breath upon hearing this. She wants to negotiate with Thanos. But the star captain beside her said directly, Thanos doesn't negotiate. Once he's in a galaxy. He's either going to flee, or he's killing 50% of life. Yes, that's exactly what Thanos said. If you say kill half of your family, kill half. Basically no more kills, but it will not kill less. The Nova Queen clenched her fists angrily. After hearing this, she asked over her shoulder. Can we beat each other back? Captain Nova gritted his teeth. We'll do our best. But let's be honest, basically bottomless. The Thanos Legion is already the strongest Legion known in the universe, and it hasn't been defeated yet. Killed all the way to the present, so the Nova Corps is not fully sure. The Queen was also silent for a long time. In the end, he could only order, organize the Legion and prepare to fight back. Yes, the Queen gave the order. One of the most powerful Legions in the galaxy is preparing for battle. And Thanos, who is on the second flagship of the Holy Place, sees this. He stretched out his hand. The black dwarf next to him handed over his double blades. Then he waved his hand. Attack. So Thanos took his legion and began to attack the Nova Empire. At the same time, Holy Place 2 also started to bombard the cannons. Nova Empire immediately began to fight back. One of the two strongest legions in the universe fought together like this. Collector was amazed watching it on the broadcast. He quickly took out his equipment and started recording. This video is still very precious. Mainly the Collector wants to record it. At the same time. The veterans are rapidly analyzing the combat effectiveness of both sides. After a while, with the main gun of Holy Place number 2, it blasted away to all the barriers, and connected to the high tower where the queen was. One elder said, it's over, keep all the shapeshifting kingpins on standby. While Thanos' legions begin to slaughter, shapeshifting King Kong is not stupid either. They know that at this time, they can only be turned around and hit, and the only time to achieve the lowest battle damage. That's when Thanos' legion begins to clear the Nova Corps. Come on this time. Definitely 3.0 is caught off guard plus 2 against 1. So it's not that shapeshifting King Kong can't beat. Just want to minimize the battle damage. So the 2010,000 meter warships of shapeshifting King Kong began to approach. All the shapeshifting King Kongs are also on standby. Then in Collector's Dumbfounded, there are three patriarchs who started shapeshifting. They are huge. So even a fast shapeshifting speed can look slow on the body, but after shapeshifting is done, Collector was completely stunned, because these three veterans turned into an energy cannon with a caliber of several kilometers, this is called caliber and justice, the energy main gun of Thanos holy place number 2 flagship is only tens of hundreds of meters away, but the caliber of the main gun that the veteran turned into reached several thousand meters, is this shot still worth it, are you trying to bomb Xandar together, Collector asked in shock, definitely no, explained one of the elders without shapeshifting, they lock onto Thanos' holy place too. In order to achieve concentrated fire to solve the biggest threat target, impressed, Collector is really convinced. Three energy giant cannons with a caliber of several thousand meters bombarded holy place number two. So can holy place number two be able to stop it? And there are still seven veterans who have not changed. Then if these seven veterans change together, can Xandar still exist? That's all. The twenty warships of the shapeshifting King Kong Legion are parked on the outskirts of the galaxy waiting for their chance. Their engines are already running, always ready to leap into the battlefield, and on the battlefield of Xandar, with the momentum of Thanos's army. Xandar's Nova Corps was quickly blasted through the line of defense. Thanos yelled, attack. Immediately all the warriors of Thanos' legion began to fall to the ground and rushed out of the capital of the Nova Empire. And after seeing here, the elders on the outskirts of the galaxy also ordered at the same time, all shapeshifting King Kong army, attack. 111. Kill Black Dwarf, defeat Thanos' army, ready to negotiate, with the order of the elders to attack, those three veterans who have already prepared have already charged up and attacked in advance, and the main guns of the rest of the battleships are all blasting towards the ground troops of Thanos' legion, yes, this is the time the elders have been waiting for, wait until you get everyone together, I will bombard you again, while shapeshifting King Kong into a combat spaceship and flying down, the main guns of the three veterans are already charging, first, the terrifying energy is accumulated in the middle of the muzzle, do buzz tilde, and the light started appearing in the muscle too, first a beam of light, after that is some light, another light, with these lights the painting gets bigger and bigger, 
The terrifying energy fluctuations also make the space around the universe still oscillate. Collector had a shocked expression on his face. Is this a cannon? This is a world-class weapon, right? If such a shot hits the surface of the planet, that's even if the planet didn't collapse immediately. But the subsequent impact can also make living things extinct. Although at the moment Collector is still a certain distance away from the three elders. But the coercion of the main cannons charging has already made him breathless beside him. If this gun is aimed at oneself, Collector estimated directly from the shark. Don't even plan to run. And in Collector's shock, the main guns of the three veterans are ready. Next moment, don't listen to people's orders. The main guns of the three elders fired at Thanos' holy place too at the same time. This is three beams of laser energy with a diameter of one kilometer wide. And the universe doesn't transmit sound at all. Three lasers shot to only look brilliant. But actually there is no sound at all. It's like the foreshadowing before the dead silence. All the shapeshifters are watching this firework show too. The energy cannon is extremely fast. Almost the next moment, Dubuz tilde boom tilde, Thanos, who was cutting people was stunned for a moment when he heard the loud noise. PSST. He pulled the knife out of the Nova Empire soldier, then looked back. Question mark. Where is my flagship? What about my big holy place number two? Who of you saw it? It is 10,000 meters long and 2,000 meters wide. It looks so domineering. Did any of you see it? What? You said there is only a little scum left in the sky? Impossible. My flagship isn't that broken. It is complete. But the fact is, the 3,000 meter ability cannons of the veterans, O5 just blasted down from the left middle and right positions, then add explosions and aftermath spread. Even if there were remaining fragments, they were directly blasted away by the aftermath for several kilometers, and the rest of the energy cannons passed by Xandar. These three beams of light just passed over the ball's head, especially the light beam in the middle. I also shaved a middle score for Xandar. Really are. Uh, what are you doing? But you thought it was over, number. This is just the beginning, with the holy place number two being bombarded. Shapeshift in King Kong that 20 warships are also bombarding Thanos' legion constantly. Boom tilde, boom tilde, boom tilde. A shot hit the ground, immediately raised earth and rocks tens of meters high. This is not a gun with M as the unit. This is a run with M as the caliber. Boom tilde, one shot down. The effective killing diameter directly reaches hundreds of meters. One shot is a small battlefield destroyed. One shot can completely silence an area. One shot can scare nearby enemies to the ground. And such shelling, shapeshift in King Kong is 20 times for a round. But I don't know how many rounds to shoot. First fill up the surface army of Thanos Legion. Anyway, for shapeshift in King Kong, the cannon is the least valuable thing on the horse. Hitting is clearing inventory. Boom tilde, boom tilde, boom tilde. The shelling continued. R tilde, T tilde, Master Thanos save me. For a while, Thanos Legion screams everywhere. But basically, those who can scream are all affected in the periphery. And the soldiers who were actually bombarded by the main artillery. That's true can't say a word. What a backbone. Keep silent. Just be tough. It is quite crystallized. And because Thanos was the one who rushed to the front, he was not affected by the artillery for the time being. He turned around and looked up at the sky. He looked at the 20 warships in space that were as big as his flagship and fell into deep thought. Especially with 10 giants sitting on 10 warships. They look like human figures, but the whole body is mechanical. That one mechanical eye can see clearly even if they are so far apart. So how big is the eye? It was the first time Thanos was silent. It was also the first time he had been beaten so far that he didn't know how to organize a counterattack. Master Thanos, Black Dwarf ran up to Thanos and asked, What should we do? The Legion has suffered heavy losses and already dead close to the general king of war. And he wasn't done yet. Few tilde. A shell has exploded not far from Thanos and Black Dwarf, tilde. All of a sudden, rocks and earth flew up. The terrifying aftermath sent Thanos and Black Dwarf flying together, then smash into the ground troops of the Nova Corps together. And the people of the Nova Corps are also dumbfounded. What is this and what? Why is Thanos' flagship just gone? Why did 20 warships suddenly come to help them? What is the reason? But in fact, Thanos also wanted to ask this question. Who are you? What do you want to do? What are you doing? I ask what are you doing? At this moment, the bombardment has been slowly diminishing. And it didn't bombard the Nova Corps. Also can't hit Thanos at the same time. But, bombardment is only the second step in shapeshifting the King Kong Legion. And the third step, also the last step. Army attack. Next moment, in Thanos' sight, the sky in the distance began to rain down soldiers. Real. When it rains, how many drops of rain are there? How many soldiers landed in the distance now? They fly down in piles, and it looks like a mechanical waterfall from a distance. 50,000 robots, shapeshift in King Kong veteran direct one-time deployment. Stud. The elders saw that Thanos was not ready to support, so hit your head with full strength. At the same time, there is also the sound of fighter jets in the sky. Thanos looked up to the sky. Hundreds of fighter planes tens of meters long are flying towards the battlefield. They are not many BB. First find the units whose main guns have not been cleared. Then a rocket goes down 
down, few tilde, boom tilde, several fighters from Thanos Legion disappeared in an instant, and it's just a fighter jet. The shape-shifting King Kong offspring form formations, then go straight to a pavement looking for a hit, wait for two or three rounds. After killing several hundred fighters of Thanos, the robot army of shape-shifting King Kong has also arrived. So two or three hundred shape-shifting King Kong changed from fighter plane form to robot form and landed on the ground. Then he raised the weapon in his hand and said, destroy the remaining enemies. At the moment Thanos reacted. He looked around, broken. My legion is only the number that has been wiped out. Go down these few rounds. The battlefield is full of corpses from Thanos legion. And the shape-shifting King Kong also rushed towards the remaining fighters. But can these 2 meters 3 meters tall fighters be 15 meters 20 meters tall shape-shifting Congo counterparts? Shape-shifting King Kong with a football kick. R tilde. A soldier flew hundreds of meters away on the spot. Paji tilde. Then smashed in front of the Nova Corps. Several fighters from Thanos legion want to see a shape-shifting King Kong offspring. Then the shape-shifting King Kong just F King looks big. A real nimble horse. A set of cold weapons. Direct three cuts and two cuts. Artilda, just cut down all the warriors of Thanos Legion. In the end, shape-shifting King Kong directly inserted the bloody cold weapon back. That's all. The situation cannot be said to be one-sided. That's basically powerless. Under the planning of the elders, Thanos' army was helpless. Nearly wiped out in an instant. Master Thanos. Black Dwarf saw the situation. He immediately pulled Thanos to go. Let's go and find other generals to reorganize the Legion. Thanos has five obsidian generals under his command. Black Dwarf is just one of them. That is to say, even if Thanos does not have this Legion, but he still has four Legions, as long as the Green Hills remain, there will be no worries about no firewood. But Thanos has never failed so far. He just quietly picked up the double-edged ring knife in his hand. Then he chopped down a few soldiers of the Nova Corps. Get out of the range of the Nova Corps. Finally, Go straight to the nearest shapeshifting King Kong. Master Thanos. Black Dwarf takes a look. Thanos is all on. Then he can't help it. So Black Dwarf picked up huge amounts of iron pickaxes and rushed up. Thanos is more than 2 meters tall and has a strong build, weighing 4 to 500 kilograms. And Black Dwarf is even bigger. It is a full 3 meters high. It weighs almost 2 tons. It will make the ground tremble when it runs on the ground. About the size of a hulk. But what they're going to meet here is shapeshifting King Kong. He heard the sound of running not far away. The shapeshifting King Kong turned his head, just saw Thanos and Black Dwarf rushing towards two shapeshifting King Kong respectively. But you thought shapeshifting King Kong was vegetarian. One of the shapeshifting King Kong directly picked up a 100mm sniper rifle and fired at Thanos. Bang tilde, clang. Thanos blocked it directly with the double blades in his hand. But the shapeshifting King Kong was unimpressed. Instead, he held down the trigger of the 100mm sniper rifle in his hand, so burst out, bang tilde, bang tilde, bang tilde, bang tilde. Yes, this 100mm sniper rifle is fired in bursts, not a single shot, commonly known as, even sniper cough cough cough, clang, clang, clang. But Thanos' combat experience is extremely high, he basically blocked it all, and by this time he was close to shapeshifting King Kong. But shapeshifting King Kong is not just about hot weapons. Base tilde. This shapeshifting King Kong directly pulled out the alloy axe on his back. Then put on the face armor. Then rushed towards Thanos as well. Thanos wields double blades. Shapeshifting King Kong wielding a giant axe. 15 meters and 2 meters of collision. Clang. A dazzling spark sputtered out. But it turned out that the weapons of both sides bounced off together. Neither shapeshifting King Kong is dominant. It's not that Thanos has the upper hand, either. The shapeshifting King Kong looked at the axe in his hand. Only one sentence was said. Go back and make it bigger. Then keep slashing towards Thanos. And the other side. Black Dwarf charged directly at the two shapeshifting Kongos. It's not that he insists on rushing to these two. But these two go together. So he rushed all at once. Bang 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 tilde. After hearing the sound of running. The two shapeshifting King Kong looked back. After discovering that it was Black Dwarf rushing over. They also looked at each other. What kind of insanity is this? Base tilde. Cat tilde. Two shapeshifting King Kong close their helmets at the same time. Then they drew out the cold weapons on their bodies together. Let's go together at last. Yes. Shapeshifting King Kong has no martial arts. They don't say you're alone. So we fight one. You are so beautiful. If you can do it together, you must do it together. Now you found both of them alone. Then two shapeshifting King Kong will kill you together. Raw tilde. Black Dwarf raised his weapon. He hits the nearest shapeshifting Kong first. And shapeshifting King Kong will not pick up such a heavy pickaxe. So it ducked sideways. Slash straight at Black Dwarf's hand. Can you believe it? The 15 meters tall shapeshifting King Kong is much more flexible than the 3 meters tall Black Dwarf. Almost in the blink of an eye. PSSD tilde. The shapeshifting King Kong on the left slashes towards the hand. The hand that Black Dwarf used to hold the hammer. 
armor is gone, and it's still missing the shoulders. Black Dwarf stared. I don't know if he wants to say something, but under 310 for a moment. Another shapeshift in King Kong has rushed to the other side, and the two-handed longsword in its hand also cut at Black Dwarf's waist. PSSD tilde, after the last sound appeared, Black Dwarf's mouth fell open. Then he fell to the ground with a plop. When he fell to the ground, his upper body still slid a certain distance. Then the viscera and organs in the middle all slid out. But the shapeshift in King Kong looked like he didn't see it. At this time, the first shapeshift in King Kong turned around at the sound of weapons clashing. Then I saw the shapeshift in King Kong with Thanos Ulf 1. So it was said to the shapeshift in King Kong beside him. Backup is needed there. Yes, as long as you don't win, that needs support. It doesn't matter if it's one on one or one on more. Just ask if you are done or not. The current shapeshift in King Kong community doesn't look at dignity or mercy. I just want to be consistent with the outside world and get everything done, for Cybertron, for the creator. If it were other beings, it would definitely be impossible, but it can be done on mechanical life, or Zerg would do. So the other shapeshifting king also nodded and said after seeing it, let's go. So two more shapeshifting King Kong joined Thanos' team. At the moment Thanos and this shapeshifting King Kong still have a bit of a fight. But adding two more words, exclamation mark. Thanos had just slapped a two-handed sword flying. The next moment the axe came, Kytilda, even if Thanos dodges, a wound a few centimeters deep was cut on his arm. It's not over yet. Another two-handed sword also cut over. Then Thanos could only throw himself to the side in embarrassment. Then roll over smoothly for a week. But he hadn't gotten up yet. The first one to swing the sword has already turned the CD and rushed over to give him a kick. That foot is as big as a car door. Thanos is kicked crookedly in the face. Just take the pair and fly tens of meters away. And waited until he stood up to find out. His black dwarf has become two and a half black dwarfs, and he hasn't played long with this shapeshift in King Kong. That is black dwarf facing those two shapeshift in King Kong. The meeting was delayed? Then what are you talking about? It's not good to eat a big foot full of shapeshift in King Kong. Thanos, who has no infinite gems, is at best a sub-parent. Now he can't beat Odin when he was still alive. Can't beat Ancient One when he was still alive. So Thanos stood up with his hands on the blades. His arms were bleeding and his nose was bleeding from the kick. At this last moment, Thanos looked at the three shapeshifting King Kong and asked, What are your names? We are, shapeshifting King Kong. Sooner or later the universe will know about shapeshifting King Kong. There is nothing to hide. So it's a very direct answer. Thanos nodded. Then he took out a gem from his bosom and crushed it directly. Cacatilda. Next moment, Thanos turned into blue light and disappeared. Black Dwarfs 0.5 by 2.112. Get the Cosmic Spirit Ball. The battle situation spreads throughout the universe. Thanos finally pinched the prop and ran away. Props should be very precious, but certainly not as expensive as life. The three shapeshifting King Kong scanned the surroundings after seeing the person disappear. In the end it was definitely gone. They put away their weapons. Few tilde, boom. At this time, the shapeshifting King Kong who finished solving the remaining Thanos army also came to support. They are still in fighter form in the air. Then transform, while falling, after landing, he knelt on one leg and punched the ground to relieve the force. Finally stood up and walked to the three shapeshifting King Kong and said, he should be the leader of this legion. Of course he was talking about Thanos. The three shapeshifting King Kong nodded. What kind of treasure should the teleported thing be? Or magic and ability? We haven't cracked it yet. 17. Other shapeshifting king pat them on the shoulder. The elders are analyzing whether magic and abilities can be used on our shapeshifting Kong. Yes, as long as we can use it, we can also use these abilities. I just don't know who is more cost effective in the consumption and energy of magic missiles or magic transitions. The shapeshifting king Kongs discussed various things on the spot. The main reason is that the elders are also analyzing these. As long as it works, shapeshifting King Kong will be able to use mechanical magic. This can also avoid the loss of shapeshifting King Kong when the time comes. Boom 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 boom. At this time, shapeshifting King Kong's 50,000 robot soldiers have arrived. They automatically target those participating fighters in Thanos Legion. Then start hitting. Boom tilde. Boom tilde. Boom tilde. After a while, basically all of Thanos army was wiped out. Plus Black Dwarf is dead too. Then the Black Dwarf army among the five legions under Thanos was completely wiped out. It can be said that one will not stay. Wait until after the shapeshift in King Kong Legion has completely cleared the battlefield of Thanos Legion. Now it's equivalent to the Thanos army becoming the shapeshift in King Kong army. But what is the difference? 1. I played back and forth shapeshift in King Kong with Thanos just now, and now there are 200 plus in the first row. 2. There are 50,000 robotic warriors on the battlefield, similar to those of Thanos Legion. 3. The flagship as big as Thanos Legion. Now there are 20 ships floating in space. 4. The energy main gun that blasted off Holy Place 2 just now is even unknown to the Nova Corps. So the comprehensive data comes out. At the moment the captain of the Nova Corps is more nervous than when the Thanos Corps came. The Thanos Legion beat them to the ground. What's more, 
the shapeshift in King Kong army that is almost zero battle losses and wiped out the Thanos army now. And they don't know what to do yet. What is the purpose of this shapeshift in King Kong Legion? Captain, the Queen is already, and the Nova Corps has only half of its strength left. We must communicate first. At the moment, the new star next to the new star captain reminded the captain to communicate in advance. Captain Nova nodded. He thought so too. Communication is the first opportunity to communicate. If the opponent waits until the opponent directly strikes, the Nova Empire will definitely be over. So Captain Nova thinks about it later. He drove the spaceship to the middle of the battlefield between the two sides. Then I got off the spaceship directly. Finally, I went out and asked. Thank you very much for your help. Without your help, the Nova Empire would be in jeopardy. Bang 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 tilde. Hear the words of Captain Nova. A shapeshift in King Kong walks up. Every foot of it makes the ground tremble. I also think of Captain Nova and my heart trembles. He raised his head gradually. Looking at the big guy not far away, he fell silent. Then the shapeshift in King Kong spoke. Now it's the Elder who answers. You're welcome, and you don't have to worry, soldiers of the Nova Legion. We helped you eliminate the Thanos Legion and prevented half of the Empire from being slaughtered. So we'll leave after we're paid what we deserve. Only the first sentence of these words is shapeshift in King Kong. The latter words are passed down from generation to generation. But when the new star captain heard that he would leave when he got paid, he also heaved a sigh of relief. Otherwise, if shapeshift in King Kong comes to hit them, might as well let Thanos come. Why? Thanos kills half. But these shapeshift in King Kongs look like they're going to give you the ball. Yes, planetary balls. At that time, don't say that there will be no grass. Planets are physically eliminated. It would be better if Thanos did them. At least half can be left. But here comes the problem. What is the pay for shapeshift in King Kong? Definitely no matter what. Captain Nova spoke first. I will prepare generous rewards for you apostrophe apostrophe. No. But what Captain Nova didn't expect was that. Shapeshift in King Kong replied immediately. We only need two items. Huh? Captain Nova didn't think about it for a while. Want to? We need the cosmic spirit orb, and a little Nova energy zone. Exclamation mark. Hear those two things. Captain Nova's face became serious. No wonder there are only two. It turned out to be the two most precious things. Captain Nova fell silent. This thing is hard to say, and the collector in the distance saw this. He knew it would be like this, because the demand for shapeshift in King Kong is tantamount to asking others to give some of their wealth to themselves. But well, with the current situation, can really want, so Collector is ready to help. I'm going to talk to him. At the moment the elders all stare at the planet. Agree, sure Tilda. Collector uses traversal ability. After a while, he came to Captain Nova, and Captain Nova saw Collector. Suddenly said in surprise, Collector? Yes. Collector nodded, clasped his hands together and said, Maybe I can help the shapeshift in King Kong's have a chat with you? Captain Nova looked at the shapeshift in King Kong behind Collector. Are you chatting with shapeshift in King Kong, or chat with Collector? The results are obvious. It's easier to chat with people. So Collector and Captain Nova came to chat inside the Nova Corps. There are other Nova Corps commanders here as well. Once here, Captain Nova asked first. What kind of civilization are they? This will soon be known to the universe. So there is no need for the Collector to say it directly. Shapeshift in King Kong's civilization. And listened to Collector's words. Captain Nova and the others looked at each other. Obviously don't understand what shapeshift in King Kong civilization is. Collector explained after seeing it. You just need to know that they are mechanical life. Each shapeshift in King Kong has its own soul. They are also powerful. So powerful that you can't imagine. The Legion dispatched this time is only buttons. Collector counted with his fingers. This time there are only 10 patriarchs. And the total number of elders reached 1000. That is, a drop. Collector made a gesture of grief for losing the cold country market. That is to say, an okay gesture. But there is a little gap between the thumb and index finger and said, The legion sent out by shapeshift in King Kong this time is only a fraction of Botan's total strength. What? The commanders of the Nova army were dumbfounded when they heard this. This kind of military strength is just a little bit. Then if you come, there is still something to play. The Nova army looked not far away. The more than 200 shapeshift in King Kongs with a height of more than 15 meters stood there like a city wall. Some are carrying cannons, some are holding 10 meter long swords, and some have miniature instruments, and they are still looking at themselves. If you look up to the sky again, 2010,000 meter warships hover in space. Those main guns were still aimed at Xandar, especially there are 10 giant mechas sitting on 10 warships. Those warships are 10,000 meters long, but those giant meshs are as big as battleships. This is too scary, and it's just a drop. The Nova Corps was taken aback. Now if you ask them Thanos or Shapeshift in King Kong, they might say Thanos is good, because Thanos keeps half. Shapeshift in King Kong might throw the ball into the ashes, and after seeing that the Nova Corps was all dumbfounded, Collector's heart is already sure. This effect is what we want. What is needed is deterrence. So he went on. Shapeshift in King Kong helped you wipe out Thanos' army, but not you innocents. They just want two things. One, the universe spirit ball. You can't grasp it now. What if the shapeshift in King Kong army is gone, and Thanos comes with another army? If he makes a comeback, 
the shapeshift in King Kong Core may mine resources in other galaxies, and there will be no such good luck to save you this time. 2. Nova Energy They only need a little. It only needs a little energy, and it doesn't need enough energy to upgrade to a new star. They're just curious to see and analyze. Not all the Nova Energy Collect analyze the Nova Core You can't grasp the cosmic spiritual ball. Nova Energy they only need a little. That shapeshift in King Kong Legion has helped you so much, prevented you from being slaughtered in half by Thanos. This is finally handed over, right? You can't protect the cosmic spirit orb. It's better to call out and change someone to save. Nova Core listened. It also makes sense. But, Captain Nova still hesitated. If the cosmic spiritual ball falls into the wrong hands, the entire universe may be in crisis. Although there are not many people who can use the cosmic spiritual ball, but as long as there is a useful person, then he is the existence of little invincible. After all, even if infinite gems is not used well, it can be above level Godfather. If it can be fully used, that one infinite gems can reach level single universe. You don't need to worry about that. Collector said directly after hearing Captain Nova's worry. If the shapeshift in King Kong Core were an evil force, they would not have the opportunity to negotiate and discuss with you now. And the shapeshift in King Kong is bound by the creator, and they will not mess around, but love to develop their own civilization. So you don't have to worry about that. Captain Nova was a little puzzled when he heard it. The creator? Obviously he was attracted by this. The collector immediately waved his hand and shook his head. Don't inquire about the creator, I've only seen it once. He is a legendary existence. That man is mysterious and unpredictable and only occasionally appears to guide the development direction of shapeshift in King Kong. It is also he who restrains the shapeshift in King Kong from plundering resources casually, otherwise it is reasonable for these mechanical life forms to not take our carbon-based life seriously. We may be just a sweaty bug to them. The Nova Corps looked at each other when they heard these words. Also nodded in agreement. Different life forms think differently. They are now glad that they are talking with Collector. Otherwise, if you talk to shapeshift in King Kong, if you annoy the other party, that's the real end. So Captain Nova thought for a long time. He waved in a moment. Take out the cosmic spirit ball from the treasure curry. Finished. Captain Nova directly buckled the golden Nova off his shoulders. Then put it in Collector's hand and said. There's enough Nova energy in here, Captain. The other people were shocked when they saw that they directly dunked Nova. The energy in the new star is much more than the opponent wants. These Novas are equivalent to backup hidden energy. But Captain Nova waved his hand. It's all as it should be. Otherwise, half of our Nova Empire will die today. And now it's only half of the Legion dead, then half of the total population. Half of the Nova core is obviously missing too much. After hearing this, others also defaulted. After a while, the rising stars passed the box containing the orb to Collector. Collector opened it after receiving it. The cosmic spirit ball is inside. But he took out a pair of glasses and checked it. After confirming that Infinite Gems is in the Universe Spirit Ball, Collector put away his glasses and laughed. I'll pass it on to the veterans of Shapeshifting Kong. Captain Nova smiled. I hope we will be good friends in the future. Collector smiled, but he didn't return, because he is not qualified to replace the Shapeshifting King Kong veteran to agree to this sentence. Collector has lived for so many years. Still very smart, after Collector held the new star in his left hand, and walked towards the battlefield with the Cosmic Spirit Ball in his right hand. He passed through the Nova Core. Then come to the descendants of Shapeshift in King Kong. Wang Dizhao, are all here. Eyes twinkle. It was directly replaced by the words of the Elder. It looked at the things in Collector's hand, nodded and said, Very well, come back. We should leave and return to Cybertron. Following the orders of the Elders, all the Shapeshift in King Kong turn around and walk back at the same time. Then he jumped lightly. It directly becomes a fighter plane in the air and triggers explosive power. Then all bang. All headed towards the 20 warships in space. Bang 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 tilde. The same goes for an army of 50,000 robots. They went below the fleet of 20 ships. Then wait for the gravity device on the battleship to recover them. Collector also traveled back into the battleship. After a while, wait until all robots have been recycled. The elders ordered in the terminal channel, all shapeshift in King Kong, return to Cybertron. Then all the battleship engines started. Finally jump away at the same time. That's all. Shapeshift in King Kong legions come faster and go faster. They come empty handed, with zero battle losses. He got the Nova energy and the cosmic spirit orb and left. You must know that the Nova Empire is a very tolerant empire. So there are not only people from Nova Empire here. There are also people from the Skrull Empire, the Sovereign Empire, the people from the planet Comrade, and even the people from the Saker Ball, etc, etc. And they all witnessed the war, from the invasion of the Thanos Legion to the brutal beating of the Thanos Legion. From shapeshift in King Kong down to the end of negotiations to leave. It only took a few hours before and after here. The speed took them by surprise. You must know that the Xandar Star once fought against the Kree Empire for a thousand years. But now it's nearly driven to destruction. But now after safety, everyone's excited hearts and trembling hands quickly picked up the terminal and began to send these messages to people of other civilizations. 
and there are both photos and videos. Just for a split second, the news that the Thanos Legion was crushed by the shape-shifting King Kong Legion spread throughout the universe in a short time. 113. Yacht Party. Bring the three girls to meet Godzilla. Globe. New York, on a cyber yacht, after walking the little Hala to the point where the love eye was paralyzed, Su Yi threw her into a bedroom to sleep, as a result, he turned around and came out, there are strings of drops of water all over the splint, it seems to be connected to the A track, definitely, this cannot be left by Su Yi, it can only be the person who was taken A, so Su Yi raised his hand, he snapped his fingers, next moment, all these traces of going A have disappeared, after that, Su Yi came to the plywood to bask in the sun. He made a trip to the couch, under the sun's rays. Su Yi could feel the constant energy drilling into his body. It can't be used up. Wu Tilda. Su Yi rested his hands happily behind his head. It's so cool. In front of him is the sea. The sun is above his head. Then wave again. There was an extra bottle of iced milk tea beside him. Suck Tilda. After taking a sip of milk tea, Su Yi continued happily. This day is so happy. Jenga last night. Practice walking at this morning. Although I didn't experience duplication. But as long as it accumulates over time, there is always a chance. Take your time. It's still a long time. Drip Tilda. At this time, Yi Mengrui's ears heard the ringtone of the mobile phone. It was a phone call, and not his phone. Listen again. It came from Gwen's bag. That's Gwen's phone. Shua Tilda. So Yi disappeared instantly. Then he came to Gwen's backpack, took out his phone and looked at it. George Stacy. Bad. It's Gwen's dad. And Su Yi looked up at Gwen, who was still hugging Wanda and couldn't help scratching his head. There is no way. Su Yi stepped forward and patted Gwen, then wrapped her in a towel. Then take it directly to the deck and let her blow the sea breeze to wake up before showing her the phone. Gwen, George is on the phone. Ah, uh, Gwen's eyes widened. Then he took the phone in Su Yi's arms and connected it. Hello, Gwen, where have you been during the day? I came back for lunch and found you weren't home. Ah, uh, I'm in the band. Even though I've quit, I still want to come back and take a look. After Gwen said this, obviously nothing has changed. But the body is obviously quite tense. For example, the hand that is not holding the mobile phone has never stopped. Keep wandering around in Su Yi's clothes. It should mean being nervous. The band? You're taking the academic ability assessment test 547 tomorrow, and you're still running around? Academic ability assessment exam. This refers to the United States College entrance examination. Not only it, there is another university test that is divided into two types, and it is also together. You don't have to worry, Mr. George. Gwen looked at Su Yi and said with a smile. I promise you can get into a good university. And in fact, during this period of time, I sometimes come back late because Sue is tutoring me in my studies. According to what he is saying now, I can choose most of the universities in the United States, really. After Gwen finished speaking, he also winked at Sue Yi. When she said this, she not only wiped out all the previous things, he could also secretly raise the importance of Sue Yi and George's heart. Smart. Sue Yi gave her a thumbs up, then pinched her upturned. Then George said, Really? That would be great. I was still thinking about whether to write two letters of recommendation and send it to several universities to dry. That doesn't seem necessary now. You must thank Dr. Sue well. Gwen just pushed away Sue Yi's mischievous hand, after hearing George's words again. He was immediately angry. George, in the United States, it is actually very easy for locals to go to university, but it is very difficult to go to a good university. Local people can go to community colleges to go to college, and they don't even need to take exams. They only need to study for two years, and local people can go directly. There is also a liberal arts university that needs to be admitted, and this is a normal university. Anyway, for the United States people, going to university is very easy as long as you are local, but it is very difficult to get into a good university. Gwen's father was the commissioner of the New York Police Department. He writes a letter of recommendation to send to the university. Then most universities will let Gwen go directly. Take an exam? Just fill it in. When you come, you will be guaranteed graduation. And it's a great university. So it was quite an insult to Gwen. You look down on me. Still using letters of recommendation? Ha 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 Tilda. And now George is obviously very happy. He laughed and said to Gwen happily. You first thank Mr. Sue for me. After you finish the exam, if you can get into a good university, remember to invite him to our house for a dinner. Your mother and I have to thank him well, you know. Hearing this, Gwen looked at Su Yi. Su Yi nodded, expressing that it doesn't matter, sooner or later. I have to see my parents. And even if he meets his mother-in-law under the conditions of his normal worldview, then he is qualified enough to ask the mother-in-law to tie up her hair. Put your hair up. Cough cough cough. And after seeing Su Yi nodding in agreement, Gwen also said to the phone, Yes, he will agree. When he comes to have dinner at home, you must do better. Even so. But Gwen still raised her small fist and hit Su Yi lightly twice. Your daughters belong to other people. Still thinking about what to entertain. Almost done. That's for sure. George agreed. Then suddenly said, Okay. It's my break time and I'm going to the police station. You remember to come back early today and have a good rest. Prepare for tomorrow's exam in a good state. Gwen nodded. Got it. I'll go back in the afternoon. Dot. After hanging up the phone, Gwen turned half her body, 
straddled Su Yi and said, how to say, when the time comes. Do you want to tell George about our relationship when you go home? In fact, Su Yi also understood, it is impossible for George not to know the relationship between his daughter and Su Yi. The previous few times when looking for reasons, they all used Su Yi. And her father agreed, especially now that we are talking about tutoring. Then wait until he goes to Gwen's house. This is an opportunity for a relationship to be made public. But Su Yi didn't care. The better one's own conditions are, the less worried one will be when encountering this kind of situation. It's the same no matter where you are. So Su Yi continued to squeeze and said, it's up to you. Gwen, if you want your parents to know, you know it, and if you don't know it, you don't know it. It's up to you to decide, because it's your parents. 21. Gwen nodded. This time he didn't reject Su Yi's pinch. Okay, I've been trying to find out what George and his mother have said these days. I'll tell them if I can. Su Yi changed it into a stall. It's like making steamed buns or dumpling dough. Then he continued. Then what if the mouth is not allowed? Then I'll really run away from home. Gwen bared her teeth immediately. Then he snorted and said, Anyway, I'm in college and I can live outside. It doesn't matter if they agree or not at that time. Yes very harmonious and friendly. It fits perfectly with the family relationship fantasies foreigners have of youth in the United States. So Yi teased Gwen. Gwen's body trembled, then continued with a smile. What do you want to do in college? Go to school normally, or form a team, or enter a laboratory, or start a company. The United States college students are quite free to say it. As long as your superiors agree with the approval of tutors or professors, you can enter the laboratory in advance or form a team to work on projects. And there are a lot of people doing this. Many people on the Forbes rich list in the history of the United States started their fortunes in this way. This leads to more people doing the same. Definitely. Now it's not that simple. But after reviewing and finding that you have the ability, it is still possible to do so. So Gwen bit her lip and endured, thinking for a while and saying, I want to learn first, then slowly build a team, and finally start a company and build my own laboratory and team. Wu Tilda, good idea. So Yi held Gwen's waist with both hands to prevent her from running around. Then continue to ask, where's the name of the company? Have you thought about it? You have to think about it in advance. Gwen gritted her teeth. She was so happy that she couldn't turn her mind. But it was still hard to think about it. Anyway. It's related to life, whether mechanical life or biological life, so it's called the Life Fund. Life Fund? So Yi didn't stop moving, but he was taken aback for a moment. Isn't this the villain company in the Venom movie? Uffs, it's okay to cough. He is indifferent. Okay, let's call it this. If there is one with the same name, we will buy it and change it into our company. At the moment, Gwen's eyes have become love hearts. She probably couldn't hear what Su Yi was saying. I can only nod repeatedly to express goodness. You are right. You can do whatever you want. Gwen? Gwen? Su Yi called Gwen. And Gwen from at the moment is leaning back. All the best lines are for Su Yi to admire. Stop talking. It's fine, Grasum. Until noon. Gwen catches up on returning to the cage again. Exactly the same time as Wanda woke up. The two change their clothes. Come together to bask in the sun on the deck of the cyber yacht. Wow Tilda. Wanda greets the sun with open arms. She looks around, looking at the extremely luxurious and sci-fi yacht. He was surprised. This is not a yacht that can be built in modern times, is it? Gwen looked around too. The curved surface and straight surface of the yacht are well matched. There are everything from swimming pools, bars, splints, rest areas, and entertainment circles. It's like moving a comprehensive super apartment to the sea, and the reality is, here as long as food is plentiful, basically nothing will be missing. It's like a yacht with alien technology, and it can be invisible, it's all high tech. Yes, this super yacht cannot be seen from the outside, but from the inside, nothing has changed. What's more, Su Yi added buffs to the cruise ship last night, let alone now. It's okay for you to become alien technology, but in fact, the level of technology is not very good. Su Yi walked to the bar, take a bottle of wine out of the chili cooler. Then he gave everyone a cup and said, This is just an entertainment facility, there is no attackability. Su Yi took the two girls to the cab, then looked at the panel together. Then it was found that something was wrong, and there was an attackability. The top of the yacht is made of special super alloy metal, coupled with the superpower of the yacht engine. Under accelerated impact, no offshore structure, not even an aircraft carrier can withstand a single impact. There is even an ability to actively kill the engine. Good guy. It's all a suicide attack, right? This is my last resort. So you had no choice but to turn off the panel. Gwen and Wanda smiled happily after watching it. Then tell this yacht not to mess with me, or I will die for you. Su so Yi gave a thumbs up. Walk slowly. Take well. So Su so Yi said directly. Rename the yacht don't mess with me. Um, Gwen and Wanda didn't understand after hearing it. Who is it talking to? Next moment. The intelligent system in the yacht responded with a female voice. Yes. Don't mess with me. The name change was successful. You can call me in the future. Don't mess with me. Su Yi couldn't help laughing when he heard this. Gwen and Wanda were also laughing when they realized it. It is obviously a feminine intelligent system. It was also a female voice. What a hanging name. Su Yi shook his head helplessly. Then he continued. Don't mess with me. Raise Wanda, Gwen, 
and hail on the yacht to level 1 authority. Yes, data is being collected. Don't mess with me after responding. Then the whole yacht flashed the light blue light. In this way, the fingerprints left last night and this morning and all records of contact with the yacht will be collected. Then don't mess with me and continue to prompt. Fingerprint collection successful. Eye, face, and voice data were successfully collected. Do you want to add hidden instructions? So he shook his hand. Unnecessary. Don't mess with me. Received. Level 1 authority has been successfully elevated. At this point the process is over. Wow Tilda. She's so smart. Gwen watched the whole process with starry eyes. Wanda also asked curiously. Don't mess with me. What authority is Sue? Don't mess with me. The highest authority is zero. Above all authority. All authority orders require concessions before supreme authority orders. Vomit. So you looked at the two women and shrugged. It seems that the intelligence system can still tell who is the king of file size. Ahem. Definitely has nothing to do with this. After assigning permissions, the three of them came to the deck to bask in the sun and enjoy the sea breeze. Gwen looked at the sea. We still have half a day. What should we do? Wanda thought about it. Sea fishing? Swimming? BBQ? Going whale watching? Gwen's eyes lit up when he heard the last one. She quickly looked at Suyi and said, Then I'll go find a whale. Can I find a whale? Whale? Hear the whales. Suyi suddenly realized. Does he still keep a large whale near a certain island? I'll go. Haven't seen it for a long time. Then have to go and see. By the way, introduced to the three girls. Otherwise, don't be slaughtered by the three women in the future. Forget about whale watching. I'll take you to one of my pets in the Pacific Ocean. Don't mess with me. Locate the Pacific Ocean. Set sail. So ye waved a time-space acceleration ability to the yacht. In this way, even normal driving can run 10 kilometers to 100,000 kilometers an hour. But Gwen and Wanda were puzzled after hearing this. A pet? One? Live in the Pacific Ocean? Gwen was a little dazed at the word. Are you sure it's a pet? It's a pet. So ye nodded and took a sip of wine. Then stick out and compare. It's just a bit big. Wanda tried to ask, how big is it? A. Eh? So ye thought for a while. There is no shapeshift in King Kong. Hear this. The two women nodded. That's pretty normal. The shapeshift in King Kong is not as big as a whale, only. The shapeshift in King Kong that Suyi mentioned is compared with the veteran shapeshift in King Kong, not compared to the offspring of shapeshift in King Kong. Let's go Tilda. And Gwen waved happily towards the sea. Go to the Pacific Ocean to see big fish. And Wanda opens a scarlet portal. Then I went in and got something and came out. Handed a small bottle to Suyi and said, help me apply sunscreen. I won't be able to apply it afterwards. Guaranteed to complete the mission. 114. Sunscreen. Meet Godzilla. Deep Sea Oasis. Received sunscreen from Wanda. So Yi was as cautious as if he had taken over the heart of the universe. This thing is for him now. Don't say it's worthless. That's nothing. Don't worry. So Yi held the sunscreen in his hand, and said in a serious tone, If this soil doesn't cover you up, I'll jump into the sea and feed the sharks. Wanda rolled her eyes instantly. Whoever wants you to paint all over. Just paint the back back. That won't work. So Yi said seriously, usually you are so tired. Let me do it. You. Let's go. So Yi said nothing. Pull Wanda's hand directly to the place where the plywood races the sun. There are plush lounge chairs. There is also a self-adjusting parasol above. If you set it to only cover your face, then it can automatically move its position according to the sunlight 24 hours a day and only cover your face. Definitely the same everywhere else. Then Su Yi carried Wanda to the recliner and put it away. Then he stepped over her and said, Bring it on. Wanda immediately shyly put her hands in front of her body. Then he turned to Gwen for help. Gwen Tilda, come and save me. Gwen spread her hands, expressing her helplessness. Wanda, you don't know. I, Gwen, woke up in the morning and was beaten up by him. I took another nap later. Go save you now. Wouldn't it be even worse after a while? So ye laughed. If Gwen comes here, it will be even worse when I get rid of her later, as expected. So ye said so. Gwen pretended not to see it and went to the fence to see the scenery, so Wanda could only lower her head and whisper. But even if you can't see it from the outside, I'm embarrassed. Oh yes, it was only then that Su Yi came to his senses. Wanda was born in a small country like Sokalia. She is shy and afraid of many knowledge and postures. What to do then? Su Yi thought about it. Yes, what? Su Yi waved his hand and took it out. Take a blindfold straight out of the void. In this way, you can wear it and you can't see it, and it can also block the sound, so you can't hear it. Stealing one's ears, right? But then again, although deceiving one's ears and stealing one's bell is practically useless, it is useless at all. But it is really useful psychologically. So after Suyi put it on Wanda, Wanda really relaxed, not so nervous anymore. But she didn't know until Suyi applied sunscreen on her. It's all a lie. The perception of the outside world is gone with this blindfold. But my perception has improved a lot. If she felt one when she was touched by Su Yi, then there is at least 1.5 now. So Wanda immediately regretted it. She reached out to take off the blindfold. This won't work. This won't work. Gwen, come here and hold your hand. Okay, you. After the cyber yacht sails to the Pacific Ocean, Gwen and Wanda's sunscreen, Su Yi, 
are all finished. Um, all painted by hand. She doesn't even have to move. I'm such a caring and nice man. One recliner for three people. Su Yi lay in the middle and sipped milk tea with a smile. Gwen is fine. For the sake of her help, Su Yi just helped her paint it normally. It wasn't very funny. But Wanda is miserable again. Su Yi also intentionally tickled her. Make Wanda writhe like a caterpillar. Then the back is also very funny. Let Wanda arch her instep. Su Yi turned his head to look. Wanda was lying dead with her blindfold on. Papa. Su Yi patted Wanda and said, Coming. Know it. Wanda feebly removed the blindfold. Then he threw it on Su Yi and said, Why are you so bad? There are new tricks every day. I'm about to die at your hands. Su Yi is deaf. Pretend you didn't hear it. Just silently put away the blindfold. Save it for next time. Don't tell me. This thing really works. Very useful. Give Gwen another try. So you looked at Gwen. After Gwen noticed Su Yi's gaze, her body trembled uncontrollably. Then look elsewhere. It's best not to say a word at this time. Otherwise, there will be a bad omen. Don't mess with me. The target location is coming soon. Please prepare in advance. At this moment, yacht system don't mess with me to remind Su Yi that the coordinate center are coming soon. So you looked around, basically. It is already near the place where I went to see with Godzilla last time. So Su Yi waved his hand and said, You can stop. Next moment, the cyber yacht began to slow down. Then it gradually stopped on the endless sea. Um, Gwen and Alim played Wanda stood up. Then he walked over to the side of the yacht and took a look. Su, will your pet be here? It's really here. Su Yi took a sip of the milk tea. Then released a little phoenix force breath. All right. Su Yi continued to drink a milk tea. Um, both Gwen and Wanda looked at Su Yi. Very puzzled. That's all right. What about pets? You yell twice. Don't worry. Su Yi leaned against the fence and smiled. It's coming. Let the bullet fly for a while. Hear this sentence. Wanda and Gwen looked back at the sea again. One second. Ten seconds. Twenty seconds. Wanda and Gwen wait patiently. But reality didn't keep them waiting for long. Thirty seconds. One two. Su Yi raised his head. Looked at the other side of the yacht and said relaxedly, coming. Wanda and Gwen looked at Su Yi's position at the same time. Originally, they didn't see anything and wanted to be taken aback. As a result, Gwen found out immediately, there is a big black shadow in the sea. Gwen said so. Wanda saw it too. A black shadow longer than the 188 meter yacht swims from a distance. Wait until it gets to the side of the boat. Boom tilde. A huge black head emerged from the water. Its skin is like armor as dark as metal. It is more than 30 meters high with just one head exposed, and its eyes are as big as a car. The sea crashed down. It will take a while to flow back to the surface. Tilda. Gwen opened his mouth in surprise. Wanda didn't speak. It's just that the fists are clenched. But the problem is, after Godzilla surfaced, it can't see where Su Yi is, because the cyber yacht is invisible and Su Yi is on buff. No one can see the inside from the outside. Sniff sniff Tilda. So Godzilla took a sharp sniff, drained the air almost, and then the same doubts as people appeared in its eyes. Where is my main silver? The breath just now is here. Taste is here too. But what about people? Godzilla was at a loss. It looked left and right and then looked back. It's just that there is no sign of Su Yi. Hold head high. Ha 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 Tilda. At this time, Gwen was amused by Godzilla's little expression. Wanda relaxed and laughed too. Um, hear voices. Godzilla immediately became alert. Its expression froze. Then looked straight ahead, which is where the sound came from. Seeing this, Su Yi smiled happily. He raised his hand and snapped his fingers. Let Godzilla see the yacht. Phoenix Force came out. Directly covered Godzilla's eyes. It blinked first, then looked forward again. Finally, he stared in surprise. HMPH Tilda. Godzilla jumped forward excitedly. Bang Tilda. The cyber yacht was pushed away by it. Stop. Su Yi stretched out his hand to stop. Godzilla stopped immediately, and looked at Su Yi happily. He looked at Gwen and Wanda humanely. Part R. At this time, little Hala got up sleepily. She came out and asked while rubbing her eyes. What's the matter? Why did the boat shake suddenly? After she finished speaking, she opened her eyes and looked outside. Then, wow, plop plop plop. She ran back in a hurry. Everyone was silent for a while. Godzilla also looks in the direction of little Hala. After half a sound, little Hala popped ahead. Then he looked at Godzilla, and suddenly shrank his neck. Look at Su Yi again. As a result, she ended up coming out from the other side. Then he shrank behind Su Yi and asked cautiously, What kind of monster is this? Why do I feel scarier than Surti? For it, strictly speaking, Surti is bigger than the current Godzilla but not necessarily bigger than a later Godzilla, because there is no upper limit to the growth of singularity Godzilla, as long as it has enough energy, it can grow up forever, so the future of starting Godzilla will be much stronger than Surti, etc. Su Yi suddenly thought of an emoji, when Godzilla dons the infinity gauntlet, a set of finger snapping came directly, no shit, definitely, this is all off topic, it's okay, this is my pet, Su Yi patted little Hala's head, then he looked at Godzilla and said, it just so happens that you are both here, so the two sides will get to know each other. You've all seen shape-shifting King Kong. This one is called Godzilla, you can call it whatever you want, but I like to call it the little guy. When Su Yi called the name of the little guy, Godzilla nodded sharply at C. It means that he likes this name very much. And Wanda, Gwen, 
and Little Hale were all dumbfounded when they heard the name. Brat, is it small? This thing is bigger than an aircraft carrier. Did you call me a little guy? It can really twist the head of the Statue of Liberty. Come down and kick the ball. You told me it was a little guy, but so ye can't help it either. Isn't the Night Fury in the hands of the master of how to train your dragon also called Toothless? What do you know? Zero dot 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 asking for flowers. So ye walked to the side of the yacht, touched Godzilla's nose and said, What you want is the contrast. Calling it a big guy doesn't sound good, does it? Being touched on the nose, Godzilla does not move. But its big tail is whistling in the sea. That means yes yes. Look how nice you are. So Yi let go of his hand, and walked back to Sanon. Then he continued, the big one is called Wanda, the middle one is called Gwen, and the small one is called Hela. They will also be one of your guardians in the future. You have to protect them, do you know? Guardians are guardians, but guardians are not necessarily parents. I can understand this relationship. So Su Yi is the parent of Godzilla. MMMMMM. Godzilla nodded fiercely when he heard it. Just a little unfamiliar. But it's okay. The more you see, the more familiar you will be. Originally, Wanda and Gwen were a little scared. But now I hear it's a pet. And after looking so well behaved, they immediately fell in love with Godzilla. What a handsome face that was once hideous now. That's what's called brutal. When Godzilla's face is serious, that expression is like asking you, Am I cruel? Ah, am I ruthless? And Hela likes it the most. Obviously she was the most afraid just now. But now it's the most exciting. She took Su Yi's hand and asked excitedly, Then can I touch it? Will it eat me in one bite? If it eats me, will I not be able to get out? Su Yi, what a question. Go and touch it. It's alright, go. So Yi waved his hand. Zero. He walked up to Godzilla with the three daughters. Then the three girls touched Godzilla together. And Godzilla also obediently reached out to touch it. Wanda said in surprise as soon as her hand touched Godzilla's nose. Its skin is so hard, like iron. Gwen felt a piece of horniness. Then he squeezed hard and nodded. Harder than iron. Probably harder than Iron Man's armor. And little Hala touched Godzilla excitedly. Howled in his mouth. You're so handsome. Big guy. Much more handsome than the wolf that my previous family raised. Can I ride you? Wolf Fenra? So he laughed when he heard this. The wolf that Hala used to be. It seems to be called the magic wolf Fenra. But as Hala is sealed, it has also been imprisoned underground in Asgard. As a result, Sati followed with a sword and Odin died with it. Anyway, it's not a loss. But Fenra might cry now when he hears it. Am I dead in vain? Don't you feel sad for me? Did you find something you like more? Hala? Yes. Face the passion of little Hala. So you looked at Godzilla and said, If you want to go up for her, just don't move, I'll go up to play later. Hearing that Suyi and others will also go up, Godzilla doesn't move. So little Hala happily climbed up. Suyi was speechless for a while after seeing it. He appeared directly next to Hala and lifted her up. As for Gwen and Wanda, one of them can fly and the other can jump. And Wanda has already changed the clothes for the two of them and came up. Wait until everyone comes up. Suyi used magic to create a barrier and said after covering the four of them. Little guy, you can go, because you can see where you play during this time. Tilda. Godzilla suddenly became excited. It turns around and takes a leap. A hundred tons plopped directly into the sea. Wow Tilda. Gwen marveled at the sea water pouring in from outside the barrier. What a beauty. Wanda secretly took Su Yi's hand, and the two of them clasped their fingers tightly. At the same time, she also exclaimed with twinkling stars. It's really beautiful Tilda. Not to mention Hela. So handsome, so handsome. She put her face directly against the barrier and looked out. It is estimated that I can't wait to pour it into the sea. Immediately afterwards, Godzilla started to swing its big 100 meter long tail. This will make it swim extremely fast. And the sea water is also flowing quickly outside the spherical barrier. Countless fish are passing nearby. Jellyfish, school of fish, big fish, small fish, tiger shark tilde. In short, Godzilla didn't swim for a while. Everyone saw dozens of creatures. Not only that, Godzilla is always going downstream. Even Godzilla is 200-300 meters tall now. But not for a while. It swam to a depth of two or three thousand meters. You can go deeper if you want. But the first place Godzilla wanted to show to you was here. Glowing seabird. There is actually a large beach of glowing grass growing on the bottom of the sea here. Not only that, there are also many large bones that are several meters long or even tens of meters long on these grasslands. After seeing it, Wanda couldn't help asking, why are there so many bones here? Is it a battlefield for marine life? It's not a battlefield, it's an oasis in the deep sea. So he shook his head and looked up into the sky. It's the mountain where the whale fell. 115. Deep Sea Vibranium Kingdom. Godzilla's future plans. There are not many places where whales fall. Not even rare. Looking at the doubts of the three women. So Yi explained smoothly. Whale fall is the phenomenon of whales sinking to the bottom of the ocean after they die. A whale carcass can support a circulatory system dominated by decomposers for centuries. That's why the place where the whale landed is called an oasis of the ocean. So when a whale falls, all things are born. After hearing the explanation, the three women suddenly realized. When Wanda at the moment looked at the bones on the glowing ocean floor, already brought some apologies. Sorry, I misunderstood you. Gwen also nodded. This is too amazing. In fact, it is not too surprising. 
because something happened around Su Yi, just like the head of the god group. Its head has been mined by countless civilizations in the universe for an unknown number of years. As a result, only about 10-20% was mined. Isn't this the day when the gods send out, and everything in the universe is born? All the same, it's just that this end was missed by shapeshifting King Kong in the end. Blood is being drawn on Cybertron right now. Give me a hard blast of gold coins. And just then, a black shadow slowly appeared at the place Su Yi was looking at just now. What is that? Gwen found out right away. Wanda followed and looked over, as it slowly falls. Everyone gradually saw its full picture. A whale. But not dead whales, but a living whale. The three women also saw its appearance clearly. Gwen couldn't help asking. Isn't it alive? Why did it slowly fall here? So you looked at its appearance. Then he sighed and said, It's the feeling that it's dying, so come here early and prepare for peace. Like animals like elephants. They have a premonition of their own mortality and prepare for it in advance. Gwen pursed her lips, showing dismay. 403. This is so pathetic. Wanda couldn't help but hold Su Yi's hand tightly. Naturally so, Su Yi said slowly. Ecology has a cycle, and nature has a trajectory. The more powerful a life is, the more it violates the laws of nature. Gwen and Wanda nodded in agreement. The stronger you are, the harder it is to die, and the more you die, the more it will take up more resources. The more unreasonable it is, and Hala at the moment didn't respond at all. Gwen looked at her. Hala said definitely after noticing Gwen's eyes. Isn't that the case? I already knew, Asgard is where someone dies and someone is born. If no one dies, Asgard's lands and resources are long gone. If that's the case, can old Mandan pretend to be righteous? He has already gone to attack other realms. Apparently little Hala got angry when she said that. But she was right. And Hala is Asgard's goddess of death. She understands the cycle of death or life better than anyone else. You're right, Hala. Gwen agrees with Hala. So is Wanda. After watching Whale fall, Su Yi waved his hand and said to Godzilla, Change your place, little guy. Raw tilde, Godzilla growled, then quickly swam away. After the four left the place where the whale fell, also started talking. And Godzilla is on his way. The four of them chatted for a while, maybe half an hour. But Godzilla hasn't made it to the next location yet. Su Yi couldn't help asking it. Where are you going next? Raw tilde, Antarctica? Grandmas, don't say it earlier. So you looked at the location, they were in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, approaching India. But there is still a long way to go to Antarctica. Forget it, I'll give you a buff. After speaking, so Yi snapped his fingers. Snap tilde. Next moment, Godzilla is covered with a layer of red light. Then Godzilla's speed suddenly increased. Come swim through time and space. Roar tilde. Godzilla roared excitedly. So Yi gave it enough buffs to last for a few days, enough for it to run back and forth a few times. After a while, Godzilla brought Su Yi and the others to Antarctica. Everyone also saw penguins and great pirans. But that's not the point. After Godzilla arrived at the Antarctic, dive directly to the bottom of the iceberg. That is, the bottom of the Antarctic continent. Where is this going? Gwen asked as he looked at the rapidly descending Godzilla. Have no idea. So Yi spread his hands. But we'll know soon. After a while, Godzilla stopped in one place. Then Su Yi and the others looked there. Gan, isn't this the undersea kingdom Talokan? That is, countries that use vibranium like Wakanda. And they are the underwater kingdom. Everyone has small flapping wings on both sides of their feet. The same level of technology is also the high level of cold weapons. Does it sound like you think it's mermaid kingdom? Pooh, the black mermaid is pretty much the same. A kingdom under the sea, all left King Black. That's weird. But Gwen and Wanda were indeed surprised when they saw this. Is there a country in the sea of the earth? Yes. If you want to be a human being on earth, you will definitely be shocked. That's how Atlantis really existed. You have lived on earth for so long. Is there really a country in the sea now? Wanda looked at the buildings of Talok and Kingdom very curiously. Why is the architecture of this country so similar to that of India? Good question. So Yi speculated. Maybe it's because it's the closest to the Indian Ocean? Gwen couldn't help laughing. BT, someone came out of Talokan's building. Then swim elsewhere. This shocked Wanda and Gwen again. The kingdom in the sea, why are people so dark? Forehead, so Yi guessed. Maybe it's also because it's close to the Indian Ocean? This is a bit of a wild guess. The ocean can transmit culture. How can even the skin color be transmitted? But this does not affect the curiosity of Gwen, Wanda and Hala. Then what do they eat? What do they drink? Do they just open their mouths to drink sea water? What about going to the toilet? Direct discharge. Isn't it just mixed together? It can't be solved by going ashore? Su Yi. Okay, stop asking. It's impolite to ask again. If you ask this question. Su Yi feels that this race is becoming more and more disgusting. I can't accept it. Our, someone in the Talokan kingdom finally discovered a huge black shadow hundreds of meters away. He was so scared that he pissed out. Then he hesitated and pointed at Godzilla. Finally turn around and run. Godzilla's expression froze. I can see it. It kind of hates the kingdom. After a while, the one who got away came with a bunch of people. Among them is the king of Talokan. Neymar, that person who looks very similar to a third son of the eternal race. They're coming. Gwen was surprised. Should I drive them away? Seeing this, Su Yi was too lazy to bully the younger. But he was even more lazy to do it. Su Yi looked at the time, 
It was almost time for Gwen to go home, so he waved. No, let Godzilla come and slap them away, let's go back, Gwen is going home. Gwen heard and looked at the time. Then there was a cry, really? But Godzilla was very happy after hearing this. It turned around violently. The big tail as long as a cyber yacht pumped the sea in the air. Talokan soldiers just rushed over. As a result, the undercurrent from Godzilla's big tail hit them directly. Boom tilde, hula loot tilde, ghoulie loot tilde, brulee tilde. A moment of effort. All of them, including King Neymar, were blown away by the undercurrent fan. Then it spins wildly in the sea and can't stop. Wait until the fan is several hundred meters away. One by one. All of them were floating in the sea. All passed out. It's so fun. Little Hala looked at and clapped his hands. Big guy, do it again. I don't think they are dead yet. Under the excitement of Hala, Godzilla simply ignored her. Instead, after listening to what Suyi said just now, he turned around and started to go home. Hala could only sigh regretfully after seeing it. It's also interesting to eat. This woman is really bad. After a while, with Suyi's acceleration buff, after a while Godzilla swam back to where they left off. Wow Tilda. After coming out of the water, Suyi took the four of them back to the yacht. Then he waved to Godzilla and said, We're going back, see you next time. Gwen and Wanda also shook hands, goodbye, and Hala shakes the fastest, but also the most lost. Goodbye Tilda. Roar. But Godzilla was a little downcast. How long have we been seeing each other? I'm leaving again. But before leaving, Tsuyi Yi suddenly remembered something and said, By the way, open your mouth. How much energy do you have to import sugar? Godzilla opened his mouth when he heard it. Tsuyi Yi took a look. A flint has run out of energy. One estimate is only half. Why don't you spit out the energyless one? Why are you still holding it? Huh Tilda. Godzilla shook his head violently when he heard it. Everything else can be lost. But this doesn't work. Even if it has no energy. It should be kept as a souvenir. All right. So Yi checked Godzilla's status with Phoenix Force, then nodded and said, You are about 300 meters high now, which is the limit height of a normal Godzilla. W. But little one, you're the singularity Godzilla. Your potential is limitless. So after your body size reaches 500 meters, your ability should undergo a qualitative change. At that time, the Earth will no longer be necessary for you. Here, here. Godzilla thought So Yi didn't want it anymore, so immediately yelled anxiously, No. I don't mean I don't want you. So Yi sighed and stopped Godzilla from screaming. Then explain. Listen to me. I mean you continue to live on Earth, in your comfort zone, which is my baby. At that time, not only will you grow slower and slower, but you will not become stronger, so it will be a waste. So I plan to send you to Cybertron after you reach 500 meters, to contact another civilization of mine. When the time comes, you will go all over the world with them and fight the country, and the benefits will definitely be yours. Energy and other things are fine. At that time. I will be able to visit them with you. I see you more frequently, and I basically see you once when I have nothing to do. Godzilla finished listening to the series of words. As a result, remember a few key words at the end. Grow up, help fight, and show off fiercely. And most of all, so ye can have more opportunities to see himself. Then hear this last sentence. Godzilla was immediately full of energy. Nod your head in agreement. Ho ho tilde. And seeing Godzilla so motivated, so ye also nodded in satisfaction and said, Then open your mouth and I will give you all the imported sugar in the future. Godzilla immediately opened his mouth obediently. Then Su Yi snapped his fingers. Snap Tilda, immediately. The remaining 18 flints all fell into Godzilla's mouth. Godzilla's eyes widened immediately. After Su Yi put away his hands, it closed its mouth, and a huge amount of energy gushed out of its body instantly. But it can absorb them all. And don't worry about Godzilla being propped up. Its head is tens of meters big. A flint is less than two meters. Twenty is like stuffing a handful of mints into your mouth. In addition to being particularly cool, it's not that I can't eat it. So Yi clapped his hands, satisfied nodded and said, Then I'm leaving, little guy, you have to work hard. Godzilla nodded solemnly. So Yi snapped his fingers. Don't mess with me, go home. Don't mess with me, route positioning successful. Engine started, as the cyber yacht slowly left. Gwen, Wanda, and Hala waved goodbye again at the fence. Goodbye Tilda. Godzilla floats on the surface of the sea with a pile of flint in his mouth, then stretched out the little fat claw and waved. Raw Tilda. After a while, waiting for the cyber yacht to return to New York. It was already afternoon. Gwen looked at the time and said quickly, I have to go home. Bye. So you looked at Gwen who was hurriedly preparing to go home and said, You didn't take your master bedroom bag. Oh 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 I forgot. Gwen braked in place then shut the cobweb to pull herself back. After she came out with her bag on her back, Su Yi asked again, What time will you finish the exam tomorrow? Wang Tan and I will pick you up. Six o'clock in the afternoon Tilda. After speaking, Gwen quickly left with a small cyan bag on her back. Wanda looked at Gwen in a hurry and laughed. Gwen is so full of energy. Su Yi looked at Wanda. It turned out that you were not very energetic, but now you are actually quite energetic. Wanda didn't understand what it meant at first. 0, 0.0 after the reaction came to him. Su Yi had already left. Barman. Wanda blushed and pooed. Then it went up. Su Yi came to the cab, before going home. He gave the order to the yacht. Turn on the auto-hide mode, 
so you don't get bumped into. Don't mess with me, understood. After adjusting the mode, so you brought Wanda and Hala to the deck. Let's bring everything together, and we'll go home when we bring it all together. It's all here. Wanda nodded, then so Yi snapped his fingers. Snap tilde. Next moment, the three of them returned to their home in the North Mansion. And when Hala finally got home, she hurried to play games. It's dangerous, I almost didn't play the game all day and came up. So Yi, and Wanda headed towards the kitchen. I'll make dinner. It'll be ready in a minute. So Yi thought for a while, walked into the small universe, and prepared to surprise Gwen tomorrow afternoon. At the same time, Tanjian Bureau Headquarters, or the full name, Intellectual World Observation and Response Bureau. As mentioned before, the main purpose of this bureau is to solve problems such as interstellar disputes, and its nature is similar to that of SHIELD. And the female director of at the moment's Heavenly Sword Bureau, Abigail Brand. She looked at the information from the aliens and fell into deep thought. Mysterious shapeshift in King Kong Civilization Legion crushing Thanos Legion. Thanos himself crashes and flees. Black Dwarf Legion all destroyed. Black Dwarf in Black Dwarf was cut in two quarters and died tragically. Look at the intelligence. Abigail, the female bureau chief with green clothes and green hair, was slightly taken aback. She was already short-tempered, but now that she saw the information, her temper became even slower. But she knew that the information on it must be true. But how is this possible? Water fake? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 116. Heavenly Sword Bureau Reaction. Late practice is not as good as early money. Marvel, Goober Comics, and the universe are really messed up. I am looking for information and integrating in the game of Tangian. Everyone can enjoy it. Anyway, this is not the main plot. I will try my best to write about the movie universe and the main core characters. Look at this information. Abigail couldn't believe it. She has a hot temper and the huge breasts in front of her will also fluctuate with each other. It's not angry, it's just that I'm more excited. Mainly because the intelligence information is too shocking. Thanos' army is wiped out. Black Dwarf is gone. New civilization shapeshift in King Kong. These three messages spread throughout the universe like a virus invasion. It's like whoever doesn't know who is behind. But the content of this news is too shocking. Right? Want to know what was everyone's impression of Thanos before? Thanos' army has never been defeated so far. Black Yawu has been killing wherever he goes so far. Thanos himself is undefeated so far. But now, Thanos flees. The army is wiped out. The general died tragically. This news is too exciting. But no matter what, since the news is true, Heavenly Sword Bureau must be ready to deal with it. Agent, Abigail called to contact the agent and then ordered, let the intelligence department contact the agent in the universe to confirm the news and inquire about all the detailed information on the Xandar Star Battlefield. Yes, director, after the agent received the news, immediately went to do as ordered. At the same time according to the seriousness of the matter, Abigail thought about it, and then contacted Carol, who was Captain Marvel. Yes, only she herself can be contacted. Captain Marvel, please determine the nature and main purpose of the shapeshift in King Kong civilization, and whether it will pose a threat to the Earth in the future. After sending this message, Abigail took back the communicator. Captain Marvel can fly faster than light. Her movement speed in the universe is unmatched by all agents. But perhaps even more surprising, Nick Fury only has a summons machine. But the director at the Tangian Bureau has a contact device. All right, strictly speaking, Captain Marvel is considered half of the Tangian game. This is inside information. As for the man in the suit and tie named Hayward, he is the acting head of the Heavenly Sword Bureau outside, and the real director of Tangian Bureau is Abigail. They are all talents with super abilities. But the main thing, it's because Abigail 07's ability is outstanding. Although she is not of pure Earth blood, she also grew up on the Earth, and her tongue is shaped differently allowing her to speak alien languages that humans cannot. This makes her the only Earthling who can communicate normally with aliens. This is also one of the reasons why she came to be the director of Tangian Bureau. When the Kree and the Skrulls, including Carol, came to Earth together, there is also her reason for being able to communicate effectively. The screen returns to the North Building. Finished the dinner made by Wanda, so Yi came to the rocking chair in the small universe to enjoy the evening breeze. Part up part ah. At this time, Wanda tidied up the kitchen with magic and came back. She wanted to go to the rocking chair next to Suyi and lie down, but Suyi beckoned to her. Then he opened his hands again. Mean to take my arms. Wanda saw a smile on his face. She came to Suyi's side, but be warned first. You can't touch your hands. Don't move your hands or feet. Suyi nodded his promise. That's good. Next moment, Wanda climbed onto Suyi and lay down in her arms. The recliner is just that big. Definitely stack up a bit when the two are squeezed together. So Suyi put his arms around her. She put half of her body on top of her Herself. When Wanda lay down, her soft and plump body was completely attached to her. Su Yi hugged her, blow the evening breeze with her and watch the stars in the sky. And Wanda rested on Su Yi's chest, just down to earth. Su Yi didn't say anything, and the two of them just enjoyed the tranquility. But after half a sound, Su Yi still lowered his head and said softly, Kiss me. Wanda looked up, Mua. Yes, 
Mua, Mua Tilda, Su Yi just finished speaking. Wanda presented Mua, Su Yi smiled and whipped her up. Wanda suddenly trembled and hugged Su Yi's head. Didn't you promise not to move your hands and feet, you liar? Su Yi smiled. His voice came from Wanda's heart. Yeah, I didn't move my hands or feet, what I moved was the eating place. You are so bad every day. The next day, Su Yi woke up from the luxurious large window room in the bedroom. He should have been the same as usual. It's right to take off your hands and feet and wash up. But today is Sunday. Gwen should go to the test. And he doesn't have to go to work today. That's a hairy look. Put it under the quilt for a while before talking. He has one arm around sleeping Wanda. He picked up the phone with one hand and started playing. The first is a message from Gwen to herself. Gwen, Su, I'm going to take the exam. Don't worry about me. But remember to pick me up after the exam, I'm going to jump on you in front of my classmates. Sophia's, are you still waiting for your classmates to come? Shouldn't it be a good fit? Cough cough cough. But there is nothing to pretend in front of a group of middle school students. Just be what you are every day. It's just that he has to pay attention to it. So he replied, So ye, see you at the door. Gwen's graduation gift was all planned out. Just pick it up when you are about to leave. Returned Gwen's message. So ye went to Twitter to check news and fun. Monsters keep appearing all over the world causing many deaths, and there are very few records of elimination except for Scarlet Witch and Miss Spider. Iron Man has lived in seclusion for a long time, and most citizens expressed their desire to return. Scarlet Witch also disappeared. Where did she go? We need you. Raw. When it's okay, I feel that people destroy a lot of places and manage too much, too free and unrestricted. When I have something to do, I think about the return of others, thinking about who is not here anymore. So Yi checked the news. Evaluation of these people. So Yi only wanted to say one word. Cheap. Why did you go early? When Sokali voted, he wished that superhero would kill your parents. But most people follow suit. Which side the wind blows? Which side it falls flat? Everyone yelled to kill superhero, and he yelled after he had nothing to do. As everyone knows, superhero is a double-edged sword. How could there be perfect protection? But unprotected is worse. This is what Suyi said. Strong beings always defy nature. And humans are one of nature. So Suyi didn't care about the affairs of the world and would only stand up at the last moment. The abbreviation does not matter. The fun is over. So Yi threw away the phone, turned over and buried his face in the washcloth. It's still good. What if Gooba superhero saves the world or something? What's the use of that? Happy? Are you happy? Happy? If it is not done well, it will either be scolded or die. It's better to bury your face in Dasasha and experience the feeling of suffocation. This is called happiness. After a while, Su Yi's exhalation made Wanda feel itchy. She reached out and pushed Su Yi's face. He said in a daze with inarticulate words, itch, that Su Yi left here. Then turn Wanda over on her stomach, finally put a pillow under her belly. Feel the movement. Wanda suddenly reacted in a daze. Don't. But the next moment, Wanda's eyes went up at the same time. The time came to 8 o'clock in the morning. So Yi went to wash up after morning exercise. After washing up, I went to the beach for a morning jog. As the saying goes, it's a combination of work and rest. Late practice is not as good as early blanching. So you have to practice more in the morning. Practice at home once. Come out and practice once. Isn't this just right? That's all. So Yi ran along the seashore, and ran Manhattan almost a full circle in one breath. He was running slowly on purpose, so I ran until noon and then prepared to go back. During this period, Gwen finished the morning exam, then she returned to Su Yi. Gwen, the state is very good in the morning, there should be no problems at all, continue in the afternoon. Su Yi, come on, don't forget how we talked at the bow of the boat that day. Gwen, blush middle dot expression, I don't remember clearly, at that time you insisted on being so deep, and still pressed me, how can I hear clearly? Su Yi, then I will tell you again another day, anyway. You have time every day after the exam. Gwen, bah, you want me to die? No, no, even if I am Spider Gwen, I can't handle it. So ye, Wanda can do it every day, but you can't? Forget it, I'll find Wanda. Gwen, no, she can? Then I can too. Let's try after the exam. HMPH. So ye, then you take the exam, come on. Finished replying to the message. A smile of Jiutong appeared on Su Yi's face. Then back to the North Mansion. This man. There are always loopholes. Wanda is most afraid of Su Yi's tenderness and affection. As long as Su Yi incarnates in front of her as New York's number one affectionate queen. A few more gentle words. Then Wanda will listen to him everything. Gwen's range fluctuates relatively widely. This depends on the feeling. Insoluble. But as long as she takes her to play. She can accept anything from Su Yi. After returning home, Wanda has woken up. Su Yi could hear the sound of running water in the bathroom. Su Yi passed by nearby. Wanda said in shock from inside, Farewell, I won't be able to pick up Gwen in the afternoon. I can see it. Wanda was already scared. But Su Yi was really just passing by. I'm going to the wine room. Wanda, really, don't lie to me. I'll come out and cook right away. Wanda's tone was scary. It was obvious that Su Yi had tossed him too hard in the morning. But it is indeed a bit truthless. Su Yi came to the wine room. I picked a bottle with a very strong. Hello, 
liqueur usually drunk after a meal. Then he recalled it when he came back, the moves he uses in the morning. It is indeed the deepest movement. Wanda was clutching the sheets tightly with both hands. People are smoking all the time. Next, didn't wait for Wanda to cook. So Yi saw that she was too tired, so I cook ahead of time by myself. Let Wanda come out to rest and start the meal. After a while, Su Yi put the dishes on the table. Then he opened the liqueur and poured a glass for each of them. The little hailer who was playing games suddenly straightened his nose, sniffed Hilda. Then her eyes lit up. Today is Sue's cooking. Without saying a word, she paused the game and ran to the dinner table. Su Yi was stunned when he saw it. You can smell it? Are you a dog? HMPH Tilda. Hala poked her waist. My nose is much stronger than a dog's. Okay, then you are stronger than beasts. Su Yi nodded pulled out the chair and sat down. Little Hala thought Su Yi was praising her at first. She proudly pulled out the chair and jumped up to sit on it. Then I reacted. No, you are the beast. Ah yes, you are right. Now Hala opened her mouth. I don't know how to reply. Then, Wanda changed clothes and came out of the bedroom. Then I was surprised to see it after lunch. Are you all done? Definitely. Su Yi picked up the wine glass. You are so tired. I will reward you today. Hearing this, Wanda rolled her eyes. Then reward me less in the future or let Gwen come over to help quickly. Hear this sentence. So Yi was overjoyed. The progress bar is up again. Good, good, congratulations. Then we finished our meal. Hala went to the kitchen to wash the dishes, and then continued to play games. So Yi looked at Hala and asked, I'll pick up Gwen from school later. Are you going Hala? Go. Hala agreed without hesitation. But Hale asked after thinking about it. Then shall we go to 413 to see the big guy tonight? The big guy is Godzilla. Hale is especially fond of Godzilla right now. I just finished watching it yesterday, so there's no need to go. Let the little guy develop well. Ah. All right. Hearing that they were not going, Hale immediately lay down on the floor in regret and remained motionless. But she thought of something again and continued to propose. Shall we go see Cybertron then? The last time I saw it was still the last time. So ye. The last time you talked nonsense was also the last time. But it's true that Cybertron hasn't seen it for many days. When I took the three girls there, it was the shapeshifting King Kong who took back the nothingness. Also brought back a collector along the way. Then Collector was shapeshifting King Kong civilization with the help of Su Yi Pua who didn't want to return it. It is to record the development of the planet Cybertron. There is also the advancement of shapeshifting King Kong civilization. Really long time no see. So Su Yi looked at Wanda who was tidying up the flower fields in the small universe and asked, What about you, Wanda? Are you going to see Cybertron after picking up Gwen in the afternoon? Okay, Wanda nodded and agreed. It's Gwen's job. After all, she's finished the exam. Then she would certainly like to. Don't even think about it. Gwen is learning subjects like shapeshifting King Kong. She is the first person in this universe who loves shapeshifting King Kong most. Then it's settled. From 5.45 p.m., after seeing that the time was almost up, so Yi called Hala and Wanda to get ready. Change your shoes and go to pick up Gwen. Good Tilda, follow the two women to change shoes. So Yi walked into the small universe and picked three fresh roses. Then he uses ability slightly. There was a red light on one of the roses. Then it was written on the stem under the rose. So Yi presents Gwen Stacy to graduate from high school. These fonts are all gold. You can also see these words when you look at the rose. So Yi held it in his hand very satisfied. Then come to the door. Wanda opened her mouth in surprise after seeing the flowers in Su Yi's hand. Then there was some envy in the eyes. This is not jealousy. It's just that every girl who likes you hopes to receive such flowers. So Yi came to Wanda and smiled, then flipped the other hand. Another rose appeared. The same is written on the flower stem. The eternal crystal rose gifted by Su Yi to Wanda Maximov. Oh Tilda, the moment I saw a rose. Wanda covered her mouth in excitement. Her eyes are full of stars. Looking at Su Yi is full of love. Hala jumped and said immediately after seeing it. Then I, you also have. After Su Yi gave Wanda's rose to her. With another flip. Hala's rose is also there. Tilda. Hala jumped up happily after taking it. Su Yi looked at the excited faces of the two women. He also couldn't help smiling. HMPH make sure Tilda. 117. Meet Mama Gwen. The power gem is in the hands of shapeshifting King Kong. After Su Yi sent out the flowers, the two women admired it for a long time. Su Yi looked at the time. T plus 5 colon 53. Don't look, I have to go, or I will be so mad that I didn't see us when Gwen came out. Oh yes Tilda. Wanda only reacted when she heard Su Yi's words. But she didn't want to take this rose out. What if I accidentally break it? Su Yi could see her worry. So he said. Don't worry. I added a buff to this rose, it will never wither, and it will always look like this. That's not okay. Wanda obviously cherishes this rose very much. Wait for me, I'll put it away and come out again. So she quickly took off her shoes and ran back, and then took out the vase she had prepared before. Then put the roses into the vase. Finally, it was put into the small universe before it came out with peace of mind. Hala put it back after seeing it. So the two women were not brought out. All right. Looking at the two women cautiously, Suyi shook his head helplessly. 
stretched out his hand and snapped his fingers. Crack. Next moment, three people disappeared. Then it appeared near Gwen's examination place. At the moment is 5.58. So you looked at the time and made a guess. 6.01. Gwen should be out on time. Huh? Hala turned her head in doubt and asked, why? So Yi smiled. I taught. Wanda couldn't hold back for a while and laughed silently on Su Yi's shoulder. That's the truth. Isn't Gwen coming to the exam to pass a procedure? When I was in middle school, I researched the spider battle suit. You're telling me now that she's having difficulty in her middle school exams? So the exam is over at 6 o'clock. Coming out at 6.01 is normal. Minutes passed quickly. The time comes to 6 p.m. Gwen didn't show up. 6 hours and 40 seconds p.m. Wanda looked into the distance, and saw a person wearing a white coat and a blue bag on his back. Gwen is out. They knew it was Gwen at a glance. Then the time came to 6.01 p.m. Sue told her. After Gwen came out, sure enough, she jumped into Su Yi's embrace. Everyone around looked at Gwen in surprise. At the same time, I was also surprised that there were three handsome men and beautiful women beside me, but Su Yi thought that Gwen was here. Unexpectedly, she cupped Su Yi's face. Then it's heavy. Mua Tilda. Bold. How bold. But the people next to him were not surprised. After all, it has long been familiar. The fact that middle school kids fall in love has long been known to these parents. If in the middle school years, my children have no one they like. On the contrary, these parents are even more anxious. Will my child come out of the closet? He can't be gay, can he? She can't be Lala, can she? So falling in love doesn't make parents worry. What parents are worried about is that your partner is a bad child. What should you do? Will he take you to suck something? Will he take you to be a gangster and learn to be bad? Will he take you to do dangerous things? Definitely. This is not absolute either. Parents of children from good families will still be stricter. Just like Gwen. If her object is not Su Yi, then her father would definitely not agree. Oh, Ooh, 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 ooh. Gwen? At this time, after hearing a familiar sentence, Gwen was taken aback suddenly. Then when I turned my head, I found my mother was standing nearby. And herself. It was hanging on Su Yi's waist. Forehead. Gwen hurried down. Then he looked at his mother, pursed his lips and felt that his CPU was burning, and didn't know how to answer. Um. Watching Gwen short circuit a little. Su Yi looked at the charming young woman in front of him. He smiled and nodded. Hello, Mrs. Stacy. I'm Su Yi, and Gwen has already mentioned me. Oh Tilda. You are Sue? Gwen's mother was surprised when she heard that it was Su Yi. She quickly sized up Su Yi. A perfect figure, a dusty temperament, a handsome face, and a smile that will melt your heart when you look at it. This is scored from the position of mother-in-law. Still scoring from the position of her first love fantasy. 100 points out of 100. J 1000%. Gwen talks about you a lot, and George once said he'd met you and was happy with you. Now I see that their father and daughter are right and I agree. This was the first time Su Yi and Gwen's mother met, but when Su Yi saw the glowing eyes of his mother-in-law, he knew that the mother-in-law didn't need to beep. You let her wear her hair up. She might be right. Keek just kidding. Mom, didn't you say you didn't have time to come? Su Yi chatted with Gwen's mother. Gwen also reacted and started to fight back. I want to give you a surprise. Surprise Tilda. After Gwen's mother finished speaking, she looked at Su Yi and smiled. But now it's you who give mom a surprise. Gwen blushed when she heard that but she still grabbed Su Yi's hand and said, then you are right, when the results come out, I will take Su home for dinner, definitely can, mother Gwen nodded curtly, what time, what do you want to eat, mom will prepare it for you in advance, Gwen, looking at my mother who was looking forward to more than myself, the problems that Gwen expected from other people also appeared here, instead, it's the other way around, Gwen was a little dizzy, she thought about it. Then let's wait until the results are out. I also want to give George a surprise. No problem. Gwen's mother readily agreed. Then she looked at Gwen holding Su Yi's hand. Finally he smiled and waved his hand. Then mum won't bother you. I'll go back first. Mama Gwen turned and drove. But after taking two steps, he turned around and said, Gwen, you are already an adult. You don't have to come back tonight. I will make it clear to George. Mum. Mama Gwen blinked one last time. And then really leave. Die laughing. So Yi couldn't help laughing twice. He was very familiar with the blink of his mother-in-law just now. Think about it now. Isn't that how Gwen blinked before? Really like it. Wait until Mama Gwen leaves completely. Wanda murmured looking at the direction Gwen's mother left. It's really interesting. Because Wanda and Hala have the effect of shielding perception. So Mama Gwen didn't notice Wanda and Hala the whole time. She only felt that there were two passers by standing beside her. And a word from Wanda. So Yi knew that she lamented that life with a good mother would be more interesting. And Wanda's parents died under the influence of the war. So Su Yi reached out and rubbed her head and said, It's okay, I can be your husband and your father at the same time. Wanda. Wanda was taken aback when she heard this. Then he laughed and came out to pat Su Yi. The atmosphere just now has been completely wiped out. What do you need it for such a bad atmosphere? After blowing away the bad mood, Su Yi looked at Gwen again, and smiled mysteriously. Do you want one of my surprises? Gwen's eyes lit up, immediately nodded vigorously. Yes, yes. Then Su Yi stretched out his hand, with the palm facing down and the people facing up. Gwen guessed immediately after seeing it. Calm down, aren't you? Su Yi flipped his hand and opened it. 
but there was nothing. Um, Gwen looked down, still didn't see anything. But the next moment, Su Yi snapped his fingers. Snap tilde. Between his index finger and thumb. In an instant, a rose with bronzing letters appeared. Gwen stared wide-eyed. Then she covered her mouth in surprise. Wow tilde. Su Yi shook the rose in his hand. Do not want? Want. Gwen came back quickly. But he took the rose carefully in his hand. Then read the words above carefully. Smell the roses again. It's really fragrant. It's Su's favorite fragrance. There's still this kind of fragrance. Su Yi smiled. Then he told Gwen about his plan to visit Cybertron later. Yeah, Gwen really agreed. But, but she hesitated after looking at the flower in her hand. I want to send it home first. I'm afraid it's broken. Like Gwen and Wanda and Hala, they all took the roses out and ruined them. Wanda stepped forward and said with a smile, I'm ready, you put it in. She waved. A small scarlet portal opened in the air. Opposite the door is a transparent vase. The background is obviously in small world. Very good. Gwen's eyes lit up. Immediately put your own flowers in it. Wanda then closes the portal. After seeing nothing, Su Yi raised his finger. Then let's go and see how Cybertron is doing. Let's go Tilda. Snap Tilda. Snap your fingers. The four disappeared directly in the public world, but the people around didn't see seem to see it. Only those who know Su Yi will find out. Definitely Su Yi is not like this every time. Do it this time. It's just that there are too many people coming to pick up Gwen. Wanda is Scarlet Witch, but still showed his face. So it's not good to be exposed here. Next moment, the four of them reappeared in the solar system Mars, or the current Cybertron star. Su Yi found out as soon as he arrived here. The void has been mined for a corner. It's like taking a bite out of an apple. But with such a large amount of shape-shifting King Kong mind every day, only one corner has been mined. That shows that there are quite a lot of things in the head of this god. At the same time, the entire Cybertron star has changed a lot. In the past, Cybertron was a land of steel cubes plus green ecology. Now it is steel forest plus green. Color forest. A city of steel is either very high, or very large. The green ecology is either as tall as the world tree or it is extremely lush. The transformation is so big. Gwen sighed after seeing it. She pointed to some moving black spots on the surface. There are also fighter planes flying in the sky. There are so many more robots and shapeshifting King Kong descendants. When we came the second time, there were not many shapeshifting King Kong descendants. So you looked at it and agreed. They are at the planet's subspace orbit altitude. But just a rough scan down. In the end, you can see hundreds of shapeshifting King Kong descendants. There are also countless robots. But the elders were gone. Su Yi opened the location and took a look. It turns out that most of the elders went underground. The core lifeblood of Cybertron is underground. Both construction and resource transportation are done underground. Let's go. Let's go look underground. Su Yi snapped his fingers. The four of them went underground again. Then watch a super big, glowing thing. The core of the earth? Hala was surprised when she saw it and said it was famous. Gwen looked at little Hala curiously. Do you know him? I definitely know it. Little Hala pointed to the core furnace and said. Dwarf has a core furnace but their furnace is heated by multiple planets, so dwarfs can forge can craft artifacts. A lot of weapons and equipment in as could use to be built by dwarf, Hala said so. Wanda and Gwen get it. Then Cybertron's cow furnace is certainly not bad. It's just that there is no way to create artifacts. But Gwen noticed it when he looked elsewhere. The ground is more like a city, and the underground is a complete planetary production machine. There are countless battleships and spaceships being built on the automatic assembly line. And among the 1000 elders, at least 700 of them are working underground in Searching technology. It's spectacular Tilda. Wanda marveled at the grandeur here. On the ground, you can also see the combination of ecology and machinery. But the underground is completely a steel planet. The elders have completely gutted the interior of Mars. Then sort and stack all the ores first. But someone will ask, won't the planet collapse if it's hollowed out? Really not. The shapeshifting King Kong used a device to control gravity and gravitational force to push all the outer shells of Mars up. It's no different than normal. Just don't dig too deep into it. Wanda held Su Yi's hand. She looked around and sighed. There's a lot going on here, and they're not going to help you get the cosmic bust. Why do you care so much? Su Yi smiled indifferently. Bringing Gwen to create this place was to play. I was talking to Gwen at the time. Do you want to experience the feeling of being a creator? That's the kind of thing where you create civilization. But don't interfere in internal affairs, just lead yourself in. In this way, the better this civilization develops, the more you will have a sense of accomplishment and the happier you will be. Is it Gwen? Gwen nodded sharply when she heard, no good. Yes, I find it very interesting to watch them develop. When we first came to create them, these elders can only dig stones. They are still trading ore for ore just like ancient people. Definitely the same now. But it's really fun to see them getting better. Gwen said it very happily. And this is the joy of the creator. You are only responsible for attunement and guidance. Then development is all on their own. You can still accept the offering when you are done. This is the joy of God. I am the God of shapeshifting King Kong. At this time, little Hala glanced sharply in one direction. Then she turned her head, 
stared at a place beside the furnace in the core of the earth and said, What's going on there? Why are hundreds of senators crowded together? So you looked in the direction Hala said. It really is. Gwen also asked curiously, What are they doing? So Yi stepped forward. Just go and see. P.S.S.T. exclamation mark. At this time, the sudden purple light illuminates the entire underground of Cybertron. Boom tilde. Then after a loud bang, the world of Cybertron was shaken. The purple light disappeared. Little Hala put down her covering hand and looked. The elders opened a layer of light shields. Nothing happened, but Su Yi was stunned. When does shapeshift in King Kong have light shield technology? And what is that purple light? Why is it so powerful? Su Yi immediately snapped his fingers. Snap tilde. Next moment, the four of them appeared above the head of the purple light. After seeing Su Yi coming, the elders immediately saluted respectfully. The creator and collector is also here. As soon as he saw Su Yi approaching, he immediately put down the instrument in his hand, then bowed his head and saluted. Mr. Creator. But Su Yi looked at the place emitting purple light. Nima, power gem, how is it here? Where did you grab it? No, you guys are going to follow things again? 118. Collector's mentality collapsed. Teach wonder the tiger charm. The power gem is here. Su Yi really didn't expect it just by thinking about it. Because according to the sacred timeline, this gem should be in the hands of Thanos. Thanos attacked Xandar with his legion, then slaughtered half of Xandar's population. Finally those cosmic spirit balls left. So the power gem is also Thanos' first infinite gems. But now it's here. Right. Cybertron. Shapeshifting Vajra hands. So you looked silent. But so excited. Do not know why. He always finds it interesting. Has the sacred timeline exploded? But that's all for later. Let's see what Infinite Gems is all about. So you looked at an elder. Then asked lightly. Show me Cybertron's latest journal. The log presumably refers to all the relational shapeshifting King Kong has done. No matter what you do, records will be left on the log. This is also a way to record. So you got the log and took a look. Start to develop your universe resources according to the Collector Universe resource map. Arrive at Alstar and collect 7,000 tons of refined iron ore. Passing through the Xandar galaxy and discovering the Nova Empire. Collector released Nova energy data and infinite gems data. Meet Thanos Legion assault on the Nova Empire. Waiting for the opportunity. Destroying holy place number two. Washing the ground with the main artillery, fighting, zero battle damage, victory, collector agency negotiation, harvesting the cosmic spirit ball and nova energy, returning to Cybertron, study on the coexistence of infinite gems energy and shapeshift in King Kong, investigating the coexistence of nova energy and shapeshift in King Kong, good guy, after reading the log, so ye knew what the development was like during this period of time, infinite gems is really a steal, but it's not entirely stolen, after all, it was the shapeshifting King Kong core that saved the Nova Empire. Then the reward given by the Nova Empire is nothing more than that. And after that, the shapeshifting King Kong begins by researching where the energies and Nova energies within infinite gems match their own. And look at it like this. It seems that there is still a breakthrough. That Su Yi can only say awesome. Wanda, Hala, and Gwen were also amazed when they saw it. I haven't seen them for a while. They are growing so fast again. It also saved a civilization. Win the Thanos Legion? Is the Thanos Legion powerful? None of them have been to the universe. So the strength of Thanos' army in the universe is not known. So Su Yi looked at Collector. Signal for him to explain. Collector immediately explained after seeing it. The Thanos Legion was previously called 220 the most powerful legion in the universe, and they have no record of failure. And wherever they go, they will kill half of the local people. And Thanos' ideal is to slaughter every life in the entire universe. But after shapeshifting with the King Kong Legion, they have now become one of the most powerful legions. There is a big difference between one and only, because there are Kree Empire, Shia Empire, Nova Empire, Skrull Empire, Sovereign Empire and so on. They are all powerful empires. But Nova Empire was beaten by Thanos. Thanos is now being beaten by shapeshifting King Kong again with a legion. How much water is one of these? So only one is the strongest. So smart. Heard that shapeshifting King Kong legion is so awesome. Gwen was also very happy. So you looked at the elders underground. Then he waved his hand. The fragments that just exploded went back the same way and assembled back as if they were going back in time. Then it changed back to its pre-explosion appearance in the blink of an eye. Collector stared blankly. He rubbed his eyes. He didn't react until he was sure that the thing that had just exploded on the table had passed. The creator also has the ability to go back in time. However, this is for Su Yi. It's something you can do without even the time gem. And Su Yi went back in time. Everyone also discovered what the shapeshifting King Kongs were doing. Something much like a Tony's arc reactor. Su Yi stretched out his hand to empty the table. This thing, which was about the size of the door, was floating in the air. Su Yi looked at it and said, Which step has the research reached? Here, Su Yi's words. The elders looked at the fastest advancing elder. And the elder also came out and said, After 165,812 experiments with robots and 3,417 experiments with elders, in the end, this piece of metal that was most likely to integrate with infinite energy failed. Theoretical speculation result, infinite energy cannot be integrated with metal. The main reason is conjecture. 
Even the smallest infinite energy cannot be stably controlled by unconscious metal. Future plans. Use nano smart materials to create infinite gems energy controllers, energy harvesters, energy storage, weapons, and more. Here, such an experiment report. Gwen couldn't help opening her beautiful eyes wide. More than 160,000 robot experiments. This is used to screen for metal fits. More than 3,000 hands on experiments. This is used to verify the process and results. In the end, the technological idea failed completely. But get ready. Ark. To experiment with the next level of control right now. Is this mechanical life? Rigorous. Rational. No need to rest at all. Not afraid of trouble for the result. Just want the result. Need technology. After reading this report, so ye admired the shapeshift in King Kong's. Wasn't SHIELD also working on Space Gem back then? But what's the deal with that research? Now if the research report on shapeshift in King Kong is thrown in their faces, it is estimated that the eyes of those people will be stared out. Good. So ye read the report and nodded in satisfaction. Continue to research and I will see what technology you can finally develop. It would be fun if it could become a return to zero civilization by then. With a mechanical body. The post-god, right? At that time, shapeshifting King Kong can restart the universe for you to see. But when Su Yi said this sentence, the elders thought for a moment. Then an elder stood up and said, Does the creator need this power gem? According to the test and collector data, this gem can enhance the user's infinite power. All shapeshifting King Kong want to dedicate to the creator. Hear what shapeshifting King Kong has to say. Collector also responded at this time and said, I also have a reality gem in my collapsible collection. He can tell. It means that he can also submit. But maybe want something for a change. After all, it must be Sabi's behavior that infinite gems can be given away for free. But what they don't know is, take Su Yi's multi-level ability. To him, a single gem is like a stepping stone in the time administration. This thing looks awesome to normal creatures. But in the eyes of living beings beyond the universe, it's real rubbish. Loki regards the space gem as such a precious thing. As a result, he opened the drawer of the space time administration and took a look. Good guy! Exclamation mark. This directly shattered his worldview and values. So Su Yi didn't intend to smash them. He stretched out his hand and held it in the air. For a moment, a handful of infinite gems phantom appeared in his hand. They can be real the next moment I want to, to put it bluntly. The multi-universe is infinite. After an order from the Life Tribunal went down, there are more infinite gems than there are stars in the sky. There is a set for every universe, even multiple sets. So Su Yi just waved his hand and said, after a while, I will let my pets come here to exercise. Its status is the same as yours. So in the future, we can call it to escort the fleet. Similarly, you can also try to see if this gemstone can be used for it. After speaking, so you looked at the elders and said, The last thing I want to say is, just do it, as long as you don't violate the creator's rules. I'm looking forward to how far you can develop. So, in the final analysis, it is a fun person. Instead of using infinite gems as a stepping stone, why don't you take a look at the picture of Godzilla snapping his fingers? If he wanted infinite gems, he has already pinched visions for it. One click, one buckle, and it's done. Isn't it simple? Plop tilde. But what Su Yi didn't expect was that, following Collector's plop, he fell to his knees. Su Yi and the three women looked at him inexplicably, and after Collector clutched his heart, he stood up in pain and said, I'm very sorry, Mr. Creator, I was agitated just now. Su Yi raised his chin slightly. Feel his introversion and thoughts directly with Phoenix Force. The result is indeed, heart hurts. Infinite gems is just a boring stepping stone in the eyes of the Creator. Then what was my treasure before? Trash. I've lived for so long just to collect this rubbish. What the hell am I doing? Under Su Yi's perception, Collector's heart is beating hard now, and he is very excited. He doesn't blame anyone. It was Su Yi's hand and words just now. It completely collapsed Collector's mentality. He almost collapsed then Loki, or almost, after living for so many years, chasing so many treasures for so many things. In the end, I found out that even other people's stepping stones were not good enough. It's like licking a dog's beloved goddess. As a result, the goddess is not even qualified to lick other male gods. This lets the licking dog know what to do. Not from a shark, and because his mood fluctuated too much, Wanda felt it too. She and Su Yi looked at each other. Su Yi's eyes were helpless, and Wanda's eyes were that this person was probably a little seriously ill. Gwen and Hala looked over. I don't quite understand. So Wanda raised her hand and shared the collector's emotions just now for the two of them to have a look. So Gwen also had helpless thoughts. She explained to Hala, because the treasure of collector's life is nothing to Sue, so his mentality is a bit broken. Oh Tilda, Hala said she understood, and Su Yi saw that collector couldn't calm down. He finished watching the shapeshift in King Kong development. Also going home. I, we are gone, Su Yi said to the elders. Remember what I said? All the elders nodded unanimously. Yes, creator. Su Yi raised his hand and snapped his fingers. Snap Tilda. Next moment. The four returned to Earth, and after Su Yi left, Collector's eyes became a little hollow. He looked at the reality gem in his collection. I just wanted to use reality gem to exchange some information about the Creator. Think about it now. I am ridiculous. Mr. Creator thought it was too big to take it back to pad the table legs. The Elder said after seeing his state. Collector, 
Your gaze will never be at the same level as the Creator, who is our omnipotent God and the beginning of our belief that the universe has no end. You are now in a cooperative relationship with us, and it is a great honor to meet the Creator. But if you want to join this glorious path, you have to abandon your identity as a collector. As soon as the old man finished speaking, Collector suddenly woke up. Then the more I think about it, the more I feel like I am enlightened. Who is he? Why does he compare with the Creator? The shapeshift in King Kong's civilization is stronger than the Thanos civilization, and the potential is limitless. What's more, the other party is the creator of the shapeshift in King Kong's civilization, so put it nicely, it is he who should cling to it, if he wants to see more and rarer existences, then he should cooperate more deeply with the shapeshift in King Kong, make the shapeshift in King Kong civilization famous throughout the universe at the same time, and carry his Tanya town name, at that time, his reputation will even surpass that of his big brother, that is Gao Tanzan, that's why the elder reminded him kindly, if you want to cooperate with shapeshift in King Kong, you have to skin his collector first. The old man was right. Wow Tilda. Collector was furious. He threw his precious white fur coat directly on the ground, then spread it at the door of his collection room. Let yourself step on it every day in and out. Then he went back and took out the reality gem. Then came to the elders, directly handed over to an elder and said, It was my ignorance and short-sightedness that caused me to hide it all the time, and now, we will study it together. The patriarch's massive size doesn't require much movement, but its majestic voice reached Collector's brain the right choice. The other side. After returning to Earth, Si Yi directly teleported the four of them into the small universe, as expected. The three girls returned home. The first time I went to see the direct roses. At the moment vases of three roses are on the side. There's no place to show it here either. So Su Yi waved his hand. Base tilde. Next to the entrance of the small universe, there are three flower stands, which are also display areas. The three girls put the vase on it happily. Then I went back and looked at it with satisfaction. It's so beautiful tilde, without exception. Even flowers in a vase. The three women all turned the hot gold fonts to the outside. This way you can see it at a glance. After placing the flowers, Taylor ran back to play games. Really not bad. When clapped her hands happily. Then I looked at the time and it was 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening again. Wonder wondered after seeing it. Don't you have to go back tonight? It's just talking these days. Gwen spread her hands helplessly. I have to give George some face for a few days. Then he didn't say anything after the results came out. Perfect Tilda. Gwen gave herself a thumbs up. Wanda also gave her a thumbs up after hearing the decision to fight wits with her parents. Too strong. Psychology is used. Equals plus equals underscore hash. Goodbye. Goodbye. Finally Gwen leaves. Wanda turned her head and could only look at Su Yi with a little fear. It's over, it's hard, and I'm going to stick my tongue out again. Su Yi smiled and took off the blindfold. Do you want to try this again? Wanda shook her head violently. If you wear this, it's not just as simple as hard work. I'm afraid people are going to die. See Wanda rejection. Su Yi sighed, pretending to be sad. I'm going to be unhappy again. Then just bear with it. Wanda also said with a bit of distress. Gwen won't be going home soon. But these days are still not happy. Su Yi lowered his eyes. Wanda's heart is about to melt. Then what should I do Tilda? I dot 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 I still have hands, if not, I can learn. Hearing this, Yin Yi's eyes lit up. Then I will teach you a new ability. What? You use the twelve charms. Yes, use the tiger charm. Try now. Elbow, try in the house. 119. Yin Yang duplication. New target for Thanos. Here comes Steven. After coming to the master bedroom, Wanda also wondered what the use of this ability is. And so Yi started to explain directly with what he said to Gwen. The tiger talisman spell can separate the yin and yang in the body. And this yin and yang can become two opposite people. For example, if you are a good person, you can deliberately separate out a bad person. Or if you're the calm person, that can also separate out a grumpy person. Or if you are a shy person, then you can distinguish an unrestrained person. But they're essentially the same. That is to say, the tiger talisman can deliberately divide a certain attribute of oneself into two extremes. When explaining to Gwen before, Su Yi forgot to use this part. But after fully controlling the tiger talisman, he wished to rise up and be able to divide it. I can be good or bad, extroverted and introverted, cold and warm. It will be all right. So Su Yi nodded and said, So I suggest you share the cough 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 I mentioned last. This will take the pressure off of you. Heard the words. Wanda first rolled her eyes at Su Yi, but she said yes anyway. Then I'll try. Cough cough cough. Su Yi quickly stood aside and waited. Such an important moment. Don't bother people, that's all. Under Su Yi's gaze, Wanda's figure flickered suddenly. Su Yi's eyes lit up. That's it. Immediately afterwards, Wanda's phantom swayed more and more violently. This is dividing yin and yang. Then in a sway, a phantom exits Wanda's body, then appear by Wanda's side. They wear the same clothes and look exactly the same. Both have the same burgundy hair. Both have the same build and, wait, the smell is different. That is, Wanda really did what he said, as expected. Wait until the two Wanda's open their eyes together. The eyes on the left are extremely cold, like the Nine Heavens Saint Tess, and the A's on the right are full of heat, like a succubus witch. His Tilda, Su Yi gasped. This. 
This is a bit powerful, much better than the one Gwen played last time. That one is just outgoing and inward. This one is a saint. The other is a witch, like ascetics and degenerates alike. But the problem is, such a point. It was Wanda who completely separated her personality. It is divided into two extremes. So what used to be Wanda now has a point for everyone. And Suyi couldn't tell the difference, all alone. But two extreme personalities. Husband Tilda, the first one to take the initiative is Gwen, the witch character on the right. She let out a tired cry. Then he quickly came to Suyi took Su Yi's hand and put it on his conscience and said, Listen to my heartbeat, I miss you so much Tilda. Su Yi didn't say anything yet, there was a soft hum from the side. The saint Wanda walked to Su Yi's side, then she took half of Su Yi's hand in a very ladylike manner, and looked at the witch with disdain. What a bitch, hiss. Su Yi gasped when he heard this word. It's not fun to scold, the word is so dirty. But he hadn't had time to say anything. The witch shook her head indifferently and said, Bitchy only treats my husband alone, other men should die Tilda. Hiss Tilda. Yes. This one is more ruthless. Not only the tone is burning, but also firmly defending her husband is the only position. It's hard for Su Yi not to love it. Filthy. But the next moment, the saint pulled Su Yi to the side and said, Honey gets polluted with you. Just this moment, Su Yi's hand left the witch's contience. T tilde, but Su Yi was just pulled away a little. The witch grabbed Su Yi's other hand and put it in the grapefruit and said, Oh. Then don't want a man. Let me and my husband be together forever, and you will be holy on the side. Well done. Which, Su Yi's whole body was dragged back a little. So now it has become a two pronged struggle. Bitch, hypocritical, bitch, hypocritical. The two of them hugged Su Yi's arm without separating. Then they lined up in the air. Su Yi's two heads grew together. You said that it would be fine if you decide the winner. For example, who has a good mouth can convince another. Then Su Yi could pretend that there was no way to comfort the other, and finally got both. But what's the matter with you being evenly matched? Then if Su Yi intervenes now, isn't it three legs? This will not work. Su Yi saw that the two were inextricably entangled. He squeezed his hands hard. Then push forward, Paji Tilda. Both women are in his arms. You go, you just go. Seeing that the two were still arguing non-stop, Su Yi gave birth to his fingers and hissed. Immediately, the voices of both of them disappeared. But it's not that the two stopped arguing. But when the two want to quarrel, the sound disappears. Husband Tilda, she, as expected, when it comes to each other, the witch was silent. This by, and the saint also tried, the result is the same. The two girls were a little anxious at first. I don't know how to express it, but the witch's eyes made a profit. As soon as she uses magic, her clothes become cooler. Su Yi nodded violently. Ah yes yes yes. When the saint saw it, she quickly covered Su Yi's eyes. But the witch's main trick is to be defiant. She directly touched Su Yi's pants. When the saint saw it, she seemed to guard against her, but the witch immediately changed her position to attack. The saint is on guard again. The witch attacked again. The two seemed to be facing each other. It completely overwhelmed Su Yi's head. The witch's eyes lit up when she saw it. There is only love in the pupils. She directly pressed Su Yi down. The saint was about to pull her away in a hurry. But it's useless. You can stop the witch from touching others. But can you stop the witch from moving on her own? So the saint looked at Su Yi anxiously, and Su Yi spread his hands and said, The palms and backs of the hands are full of flesh. You can't favor anyone, or Wanda will be sad when she comes back. The saint has no choice. But the witch couldn't pull it down. In the end there was no way. The saint pushed the witch away and cursed. Get out of bitchy. Let me do it. Su Yi, wonderful. At the same time, somewhere in the universe, in a messy star ring of rubble, a burly figure sits on a floating throne. The wound on his shoulder has healed a lot. It is even said to have healed. It's just that there is still a bit of embarrassment on the face. But no one dared to mention it. No one knows what the consequences of angering the current adults will be. Because he has never been defeated. This is the first time. And he was Thanos in flight. At the moment his double-edged sword lay beside the throne. Can be seen. There is no gap in that double-edged sword. But there was a drop of purple blood on the blade. And it goes without saying whose blood it is. At the moment Thanos sat down. Ebony Moore, Corvus Clay Ive, and Proxima Midnight were all silently waiting for Thanos' first words. And the supergent has scouted the universe. It won't be long before there will be news. Yes, Thanos' men are actually the five generals of Obsidian. In addition to the recognized Ebony Moore. Corvus Clay Ive, Proxima Midnight, and Black Dwarf. There is also a second female character, Supergent. She has abilities such as mind control, telepathy, spiritual transmission, memory stealing, and teleportation. Technically her ability is similar to Ebony Moore, but Ebony Moore is more like a magician, and she is a super mental ability. Her main task is to help Thanos collect various cosmic news such as the news of infinite gems. There is also the use of mental ability to destroy within the opponent's forces. So after adding her, the legion under Thanos is the obsidian five generals. But now there is no black dwarf. Time passed slowly, Thanos doesn't speak. The three generals below did not say a word either. The four of them remained silent. It seems that time has frozen down. Few tilde. At this time, a blue-skinned figure in a white robe appeared from the flickering state onto the rocky platform. She is supergent. After the supergent appeared, she looked at the number of generals. Where is black dwarf? 
I have important information to announce. The three generals trembled when they heard this sentence, but they didn't answer the call, just continued to stand aside. And Thanos at the moment didn't move, and then started talking. Where is the news of Gamera? Infinite gems for you to follow. Master Thanos, I have received news from Infinite Gems. Explain. Void. Supergent raised his head and affirmed, I saw with my own eyes that the Collector of Void preserved the reality gem. Heard the news. Thanos nodded and stood up from the throne. Then he picked up the double-edged sword beside him and walked down and said, Then let the Legion get ready and let's go. Here the Legions move. Corvus Clay Ivan Proxima Midnight spoke together immediately. Who are we with? Lord Thanos. Thanos waved his hand. Supergent continues to gather information. Ebony Moore come with me. Here Thanos make himself follow. Ebony Moore said the gentleman. Yes, Lord Thanos. After a while, Thanos fleet departs. Target, the void. Definitely, this coordinate is the original land of nothingness, not the current one. The next day, Su Yi woke up with one arm and one thigh. Yes, one, not two pairs, because after reaching the limit last night, both the saint and the witch automatically integrate back to Wanda. And Wanda changed back. At the same time, he accepted the memory and body sensation of the saint and the witch. So in a split second, Wanda too, he rolled his eyes and passed out. Cough cough cough. So ye knew that he was playing too big. So I let Wanda off and let her sleep well. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. After waking up, so ye checked the time first. 1840. Still early. It took him 10 minutes to take a hot shower and wash up, then spend 5 minutes manually, that is, changing clothes by yourself instead of using ability to change clothes. Finally take another two minutes to walk downstairs. Open your own office door and enter. Um, got in at 8.58 a.m., two minutes early. It's a good habit to arrive early. Keep it up. Then it's the same as usual. So ye took out a bottle of iced milk tea for breakfast. Then he slammed his legs up on the table. Then turn on the TV show and watch the news. But there is no news today. Neither superhero thing. No tidbits, either. So so you watched it for a while and was about to close it. But at this moment, the door opened. A little girl with green hair walked in. She locked the door with a click. Then he grinned at Su Yi. You've forgotten me all this time. Ah uh, dot 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 how can that be? Su Yi thought for a while. Isn't it mended on the yacht? Who said that? Little Hala gritted her teeth. That's what you helped me forget and make up later. So ye thought about it and said yes. He looked at the door locked by Hala. I knew that this little Lolita was here to be squeezed today. Cut. Who am I afraid of? Tun tun tun. So ye drank the remaining milk tea in one gulp. Then throw it in the trash. In the end, he stood up directly and said fiercely. Come on. Lie down and let me see your belly. My goddess of death is afraid of you Tilda. I do not know how long it has been. The little Hala, whose eyes were distracted after watching the belly strips, was sent back to the bedroom by Su Yi to rest. For Su Yi, Hala is safe to deal with. She has the power to protect herself, so Su Yi didn't have to worry at all. It just takes a lot of effort. Definitely, the real thing is not enough. He just used the limit of mortals. But Hala still couldn't stand it, because the damage of entering the belly strip is too high, that's all. Wait until noon. So Yi opened the locked office door. After a while, after waking up, Wanda made lunch and brought it down. But when it comes down, she glared at Su Yi and said, From now on, the tiger talisman can only be used when rewarding you, not normally. So Yi agreed with a smile. You can use it. He also didn't know that Wanda's use of the tiger charm not only didn't help. Instead, he asked for trouble. This can be regarded as suffering Wanda. But Wanda saw that Hala was not here and asked, What about Hala? Why doesn't she eat lunch? A. Eh? So Yi couldn't say that he had too much to say and that his game was ruined, so he could only add, She played all night last night and just went to bed. Okay, let's eat then. So Wanda and Su Yi started eating. But Wanda was a little puzzled. Why is Gwen gone too? Hasn't she finished the exam? So Yi took out his phone and showed it to Wanda. Gwen, oh no, Su, George wants to take me to visit the university in advance. I said it's fine to watch the one in New York but he still has to take me to see it, I may only have nights these days, pass, so ye, university is one of the most important starting points in your normal life, George must be very concerned about it, it's fine, Gwen, but running around is too troublesome, forget it, the school is here, I have to go in with George to visit, so ye, good luck, Wanda laughed out loud when she saw it, but also very envious, there are parents who care so much about their children, but luckily I have Su Yi. Thinking of this, Wanda reached out and stroked Su Yi's cheek. Su Yi knew what she was thinking. So I raised my eyebrows, and my consciousness wrapped around me. Bang bang Tilda. At this time, there was a knock on the door of the regimental office. Wanda immediately wanted to get up and pack her lunch when she saw it. But Su Yi waved his hands and said, It's fine, then speak to the outside world. Enter. Branches Tilda. The door opened, a man wearing a robe, a maroon cloak, and combing his hair walked in. Su Yi saw it and immediately smiled happily. Yo who is here? Isn't this the top surgeon in New York? After Stephen came in, he turned up the neckline of his cloak, trying to put on 13 lightly, but after seeing the sumptuous lunch on the table, he broke in a second. Then he slapped himself on the forehead and said speechlessly, why didn't I come half an hour earlier? So Yi smiled, if you want to come half an hour earlier, 
then we can eat half an hour earlier. Stephen looked helpless. Why can't my sorcerer supreme even catch a meal? So he laughed again when he heard this. Because I'm your godfather, if I don't let you touch you, you won't be able to touch you. Well, you're right. Stephen opened his hand directly, then sit down and lick the plate. Then I'll eat the leftovers. No way. Cough cough. Get him a bowl of rice. 120. Admiration of the magic cloak. Thanos goes to the void. For Stephen's broken cans and broken operations. So Yi is convinced. If I can't get a full meal, I will eat leftovers. Anyway, I'm sure I'll be sorcerer supreme for this meal. Ancient one is useless. I said it's Stephen. Seeing this, so Yi beckoned, and the bowl filled with rice and flew over with the chopsticks. Then it fell in front of Stephen. Can you use chopsticks? Definitely. Stephen picked up the chopsticks deftly and knocked on the table and said, I use chopsticks in Kamartage, people that basically use chopsticks. I thought it was anti-human at first, but later I found it really easy to use. It smells really good afterward, doesn't it? Every foreigner will feel that this thing is anti-human before using chopsticks. But once you learn it, you don't want to lose it, because it's so useful. After getting the bowls and chopsticks, Stephen started to eat in front of Su Yi. Su Yi just didn't finish his meal. Then eat and chat. Su Yi took out a bottle of milk tea and pushed it to him, then asked, Why are you free today? I thought Sorcerer Supreme had a lot to do every day. Stephen took a few mouthfuls of rice. After eating, he swallowed and said, Although it's not that exaggerated, I just became a Sorcerer Supreme, so I always have to be serious in front of them. After speaking, Stephen gave another example. You know, it's like just going to work, you can't let your boss and colleagues know that you are a waste from the beginning. Okay, planned. Hearing these two words, so he shook his head helplessly. But also very good. Stephen didn't turn serious. In front of himself, he is still humorous and witty. If he really becomes respectful, awed and admired. On the contrary, Su Yi still felt sad, because with the passage of time, his friends will not become more and more in the future, but may only become fewer and fewer. And there are only a few 750 friends who are worth making. That's why he feels sad. This may be one of the negative effects of powerful beings. Definitely can choose words. Su Yi would still choose a powerful life. Because of this, there is the ability to say no. How does it feel to be a sorcerer supreme? So Yi asked with a smile. A. Hey, Stephen thought for a while, looked for a new job. If you say that, other magicians will cry to death if they hear it. That's what I think anyway. Stephen took a few more mouthfuls of rice and said, but the responsibility has grown. This is true. I have to protect the stone every day. Stone, is the time gem. But Stephen talked too much at once. Swallowing so fast that he choked. He just punched himself twice on the chest. The cloak automatically went to get the milk tea, then opened it and handed it to Stephen. Thanks. Stephen took the milk tea and drank it wildly. Tan 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 tilde. After taking a big gulp, he said with a long breath, it tastes really good. Then he saw Su Yi and Wanda looking at him. So Stephen stood up and put the cloak in the air before sitting down and saying, let me introduce, it's called a magic cloak. After I became Sorcerer Supreme, I encountered it when I visited various holy places. It can take me to fly in the air. And it can also resist attacks. A dot 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 you can be considered my good friend. After Stephen's introduction, the gentleman in the cloak waved to Wanda first. Then turned around and bowed to Su Yi to salute. Um, Stephen was taken aback when he saw the appearance of the cloak. Have you been like this before? Stephen meant. Why is there such a big gap between you and Su Yi? Stephen was also sure that he had never seen the cloak against anyone's luggage. Cloaks are good for him. Be polite to your friends. But it was the first time for Stephen to see the cloak salute respectfully, and in the face of Stephen's doubts, the two corners of the cloak are like into hands, and then gestures. The hand closest to Stephen was at the bottom. The hand close to Su Yi was raised to the highest. Then it's not high enough. He flew up and pressed against the ceiling before coming down, meaning ceiling level. Stephen's expression was embarrassing on the spot. All that was missing was the finger pointing at the cloak, and after the cloak flew down, it spread its hands. The meaning is that simple. Wanda and Su Yi couldn't help laughing. Then Wanda saw that the food on the table was finished. She magically dragged the dishes upstairs to clean them. Su Yi snapped his fingers on the table. Snap Tilda. The next moment the table was also extremely clean. Good magic. Stephen's eyes lit up. I'll learn one later. Then pay attention when you learn it. Su Yi reminded. Otherwise a spell will be lost along with the furniture. Stephen picked up the milk tea. He continued to drink a few sips, then said slowly, It's all little things. Actually, the main purpose of my coming is to get some food. The second is for chatting. Third, I want to ask how you keep one dot 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 that apostrophe s dot 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 uh. Stephen thought for a long time, but couldn't find an adjective. In the end, I can only say, it's to keep you in this state. Even with ability, I can live like a normal person without being affected by anything. After listening to this sentence, Su Yi felt it. You don't know how to face Christine, do you? Stephen. The question was very deep. It was pierced in a second. Stephen touched his nose, 
Yes, do you feel that your status is not harmonious when you are with Christine? Stephen covered half of his mouth with his hand, that's right. Is it because I don't know what other tropics to talk about, and I don't know what angle to integrate into it? Stephen slapped himself completely on the face, that's right. Look, it's broken. There is nothing. When a man has ability, he still thinks how to return to the original. Are you kidding me? So ye also just classified ability as ability, and life as life. After this division, it will not be affected. So Stephen's question is, he couldn't integrate into his previous life by himself. And this question is also very simple. So ye knew it just by feeling Stephen's heart a little bit. It turned out that he had always had a worry in his heart. There is also a responsibility. These two were pulling him back. So Su Yi shook his head and said, You said it yourself before and found a new job. And the responsibility of Sorcerer Supreme is something you cannot forsake. But it doesn't mean you have to be Sorcerer Supreme all the time, but when you need to be, then you can separate work and life, okay? When you go to work, you wear your robes and you wear the eye of Agamotto. Put these two away when you get off work, and wear them after work. Do you understand? Then you try to contact Christine. Stephen thought about it, and felt that what he said was right. Didn't he just put on a white coat at work and drive a Lamborghini to see his sister after get off work? But different, although the doctor's sense of responsibility is not small, Stephen performed with ease. But Sorcerer Supreme is different. Sorcerer Supreme's responsibility is much greater than that of a doctor. So Stephen felt a lot of pressure. I wear eye of Agamotto even when I sleep. After all, he was suffering from the same symptoms as Tony before. So your problem isn't because of Christine, Stephen. After Su Yi finished speaking. He nodded his heart. It's something wrong with your heart. You've got the same problem as Tony. Anxiety. So Yi finished speaking. Stephen was shocked all over, and his face was filled with disbelief. I Definitely. So Yi opened the milk tea and took a sip. Then he said slowly, from a psychological point of view, some mental illnesses are not known to me. Physiological disease is discovered because there is a response. But you don't realize it's a mental illness even if you react to it. That's who you are now and that's what Tony used to be. Stephen looked down at his heart. He really didn't expect that he would have a mental illness. He just thought he wouldn't get along with Christine all of a sudden. But think about it now. His whole life and lifestyle have changed. Eat with Eye of Agamotto. Sleep with Eye of Agamotto on. Take it with you wherever you go. Fortunately, he has no object. Otherwise, you have to wear Eye of Agamotto. Are you saying it's outrageous or not? And Stephen didn't even react. But this is already heart disease. So Yi felt it at the beginning. I knew there was a knot in his heart. That's it. I don't really feel it, really. Stephen touched his heartbeat and let out a long breath. But I seem to be really like this, and there is something in my heart that is always pulling me. So Yi crossed his hands, so you have to try to put it down. Stephen nodded. I think so. Wait for him to think for a while. After calming down, Stephen smiled again. Sure enough, it's the right thing to come here. It seems that if there is a problem, it is right to find the Godfather. So Yi smiled. Then take the credit card machine next to it and push it over. You're welcome. Just pay. Stephen really took out a card and swiped the money. So Yi also accepted the money calmly. Look, this is work is work, life is life, and friends are friends. You have to distinguish between them. Stephen put away his hand and gave a pause. He looked at the transaction, then suddenly reacted. Yes, you really taught me a lesson. Fortunately, the last lesson here is good words, but it's different elsewhere. Although in a sense Su Yi taught Stephen a lesson cough cough cough. Stephen collected the bank card. Then he stood up and straightened his clothes, gave Su Yi a salute that others would only give to Sorcerer Supreme and said, Thank you very much, Su. Su Yi knew that Stephen was going to leave, so he had to solve the mentality problem. So he stood up and opened the door for Stephen. Whoever received the money, get out of here. Stephen scored another second. Then he walked out of the office, turned around, clapped his hands and opened a portal. After finally nodding to Su Yi, he went in and left. The portal will also be related soon. Su Yi commented on it after reading it. Not as fast as Wanda. Plop tilde. At the moment when the portal closed, Su Yi vaguely heard the sound of someone falling. It can't be Stephen, can it? Su Yi returned to his seat and sat down. At the moment, it's already two or three o'clock in the afternoon, and I can clock in after get off work after a while, scoffed tilde. At this time, the scarlet portal opened on the side. Wanda came out with a plate of strawberries she liked. She looked at the place where Stephen disappeared and asked. He's gone. Right. It's just right to leave. We will eat strawberries by ourselves. There are sayings. Follow Wanda to the side. So he hugged Wanda's waist and let her sit on his lap. Then open your mouth. Ah. Wanda smiled happily. Then he picked up the green leaves and washed the strawberries and fed them to Su Yi. Su Yi took a big gulp when he went up. By the way, I ate a little of Wanda's slender hands. Hate. Wanda patted Su Yi. Then wiped it on Su Yi's body. It's delicious. Why is it like a child? Su Yi felt the plump precipitation on his legs. There is also Huni Yuan, which looks juicy in front of you. Then I am a child. Can you give me milk? Wanda looked down the line of sight, immediately covered and said, No Tilda. Why not? Didn't you say I was a child? Who was kid wants to drink at such a big age? Oh, Wanda had a helpless expression on her face. 
but there is no such thing. It's too big to drink, and still drink here. Besides, she didn't either. Isn't this wishing for plums to quench thirst? But Su Yi had already grabbed her waist, preventing her from finding a chance to escape. Wanda was already panicking. She put the strawberries on the table, and then wanted to untie Su Yi's hands. But Su Yi had already taken the opportunity to bury himself in the face Washington. You, Wanda quickly came over and pushed Su Yi's head. But it's useless. Wanda went ahead and tried again. In the end, it was found that it could not be stopped. She could only sigh and say, You get up first, I'll give you strawberries to eat. I'm eating. I'll give you delicious food, but you can only eat strawberries, and you can't eat anything else. Hearing this, Su Yi immediately raised his head and agreed. Good. Ever since, with the generous and wealthy help of Wanda, Su Yi ate authentic strawberries. It was delicious and beautiful. They are rosy, and there will be reactions after eating. Just like Wanda makes a meowing sound, finally lying on Su Yi's face trembling. After a while 3.0 will pass. Su Yi finished eating strawberries and strawberries. Wanda picked up the plate with a ruddy face and gave Su Yi a white look. I won't bring you delicious food next time. Su Yi thought about it. Then bring seafood. What seafood? Abalone. Wanda didn't understand at first. She nodded in agreement. Good. Then after a while, he suddenly reacted and shouted in embarrassment. No, Su Yi smiled. It's not up to you whether it's okay or not. Then I'll eat it hard. Su Yi looked at the time. It was already past four in the afternoon. I'm going to get off work soon tilde. At the same time, somewhere in the universe that used to be a grey area. It used to be very lively here. The spaceship fleets of the major groups will come to join in the fun. Why? Because they all hope that they can find something good from this big head and make a fortune. Then buy some Maydex slaves and go back to have fun for a while. But now, there is nothing here. Just at the moment, Thanos battleship unified time warp appeared nearby. This is Admiral Ebony Moore's fleet. All battleships with lots of donuts. But that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that Thanos is very angry now. He originally wanted to take a good slash with a double-edged sword, slaughter half of the lives here and rebuild his reputation. As a result, wait until the fleet arrives here. The void is gone. Where did this end go? Ebony Moore was also dumbfounded. He asked Thanos hesitantly. This, did Supergent get the wrong information? Thanos shook his head in silence for a while while holding the double blades. Supergent is right, the coordinates are correct, and the land of nothingness has disappeared. Ebony Moore was dumbfounded. This, 121. Check in. Twin Dancers. Infinite Gems Blind Box. Modifier. Ebony Moore thought the coordinates were wrong at first. That is, Supergent got it wrong. But he never thought that the planet was gone. Is the void gone? Then play with a hammer. But there is another way. Ebony Moore suggested in a low voice. Master Thanos, I can take some fleets to press the nearby group transport team. They often pass by here, and they should know the news that the land of nothingness is missing. Thanos nodded. Go. So Ebony Moore set off with his fleet of donuts. After a while, Ebony Moore stopped a convoy. Then he took the soldiers into the opponent's battleship. He waved his dead wood like fingers. The steel gate was directly torn open. Then Ebony Moore asked with his hands behind his back. Master Thanos wants to know about the disappearance of the void, and I think you should know. After hearing that it was asking questions, the people in the fleet breathed a sigh of relief. They looked at each other, and then someone said, We didn't experience it firsthand, but according to the person who was sent out, the land of nothingness was transported away by a bunch of huge robots. In the beginning, no one knew who these robots were. But judging from recent events, they're like shapeshifting King Kong. Ebony Moore. At the moment of hearing this answer, Ebony Moore's mood suddenly changed. He doesn't dare to mention anything about shapeshifting King Kong in front of Lord Thanos now. As a result, the land of nothingness is still transported away by the shapeshifting King Kong. Then go back and talk about it with a bit of trepidation. Sure, just to be on the safe side, Ebony Moore looked to the others. But everyone else nodded at the same time. There is only this one version of this thing. Especially after shapeshifting King Kong became famous later. Everyone even agreed that this is what shapeshifting King Kong did. Definitely is. After hearing the answers from everyone in the captain's room. Ebony Moore turned and left. But at the same time waved his hand and said. Kill half of the people here. The eyes of the people in the captain's room widened instantly. After a while. There were screams from inside the transport ship. And after Ebony Moore returned to the flagship. He bent over Thanos and whispered. It was the shapeshifting King Kong who took away the land of nothingness, and Shu and Fujia should have left with them. After Ebony Moore said this sentence, there was deathly silence inside the flagship. No one spoke. No one spoke either. After half a sound, Thanos said flatly, Cooperate with Supergent to find other infinite gems. Words are that the fleeing fleet of Asgard carried the infinite gems. Find them for me. Ebony Moore nodded immediately. Yes. Lord Thanos. Immediately the fleet was dispatched. Start searching the universe for the fleeing fleet of Asgard and the other side. After 5 p.m., Su Yi appeared outside on time and locked the door. Then I silently opened my mind. It's Monday again. Su Yi thought to himself. View all check-in rewards. Ding tilde. Check in successfully tilde. Obtain. Atomic Heart Twin Dancer Robot X2. Acquired. Mrs. Snow Girl Comics X1. Get. Atomic Heart Succubus Refrigerator. Kitchen Edition. 
X1, Acquire, Atomic Heart Twin Dancer Robot, Reissue Version, X2, Get Crit, Marvel Infinite Gems Blind Box X2, Get Critical Strike, Marvel Multi Universe Editor, Couple Version, X3, Obtain, Leave Card X3, Eloquent is a bunch of things. Su Yi glanced at it, and found that many things were quite interesting. But first he snapped his fingers. Crack. Next moment, his figure appeared in the depths of the small universe. This will make it easier to view the various rewards you have received. Look at the first one first. Atomic Heart Twin Dancer Robot X2. Introduction. Products from a non-existing red overhead country in 10,000 realms. They are created based on the prototype of ballerina women. They have excellent intelligent systems and mechanical performance. They are your best choice for good housekeepers, good maids and good partners. Lin Lin. Inch. Good mate. Can robots be companions? Could this be a cyberpunk ex-puppet? Does this make him a fountain pen? Although he has a great physique, isn't that a bit too outrageous? So Yi waved his hand. Two twin dancer robots appear at the same time. They were real robots, silver all over, with voluptuous and slender bodies, and golden dazzling hair. But at the same time there is no face. The face is smooth metal. But that's the match. It made Su Yi feel very social. And the two robots are not the same. The one on the left is normally dressed, wearing a ballet leotard made of soft metal. In addition, the one on the right is also wearing a golden short jacket. The jacket is short until the ribs, and when the two stand together, so you could tell that the temperaments of the two robots were actually different. The actor on the left is a little bit, and the chin height is normal. The dance on the right is a little bit, not only the slender mechanical legs and high heels are tight, but her chin is raised a little higher than the one on the left. This way you can tell the difference between the two at a glance. Sharp. So you had to admire this robot technology. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And now, as long as he activates, he can use the robot sisters. But Su Yi remembered one more thing. Does he have another pair? Su Yi checked his fourth reward. Atomic Heart Twin Dancer Robot. Reissue. X2. Reprint. Introduction. The performance of the reprinted Twin Dancer is the same as that of the normal Twin Dancer, but the reprint is a duplication of the original Twin Dancer. The original version can control the main body and can also seamlessly control the replica, that is, one consciousness has two bodies, and can also control two bodies at the same time. Oh tilde, it means that a robot consciousness has two bodies. Although there are four robots now, they are still controlled by the consciousness of the original body. Then this is interesting. So Yi waved his hand. Two other twin dancers also appear at the same time. In this way, there are two pairs of twin dancers standing in front of Su Yi. What does it mean? Benefits doubled? But let's not worry about that much. So Yi stepped forward and activated their will one by one. Their hands are gracefully behind their waists, which is a classic elegant gesture of ballet. Next moment, the four twin dancers all tipped out slightly. Then he looked at Su Yi at the same time and said, Comrade Su Yi, please name us first and then use us normally. When saying this sentence, only a bunch of twin dancers spoke. A. Su Yi thought for a while. Then he pointed to the one on the left who was not wearing a golden coat and said, From now on, your name will be Ling. Then he pointed to the person in the golden coat and said, From now on, you will be called Wu. I can call you Xiao Ling and Xiao Wu, and I can also call you Su Ling and Su Wu. To tell you the truth, these two pairs of robots, Su Yi, must be used by himself. So there is nothing wrong with giving a family name. And the two are also very recognizable. Ling is called Ling with a soft temperament. Temperament proudly called dance. The difference is that the former did not wear a coat, while the latter did. After Su Yi finished speaking, the two pairs of twin dancers stood at attention at the same time and said, Yes, comrade, wait. So Yi stretched out his hand and shouted to stop, change the title of comrade, at least you can't call it that way outside. Why? Ling asked, because this is another universe, it doesn't belong to Red. So Yi shook his head and said, so you can call me master, boss, boss, or Su Yi. Hear Su Yi's words. The twin dancers looked at each other. Definitely they have no eyes, only one face, but they probably mean to look at each other. Then Ling said, what a pity. Then we'll call you the boss or Su. Ling finished. Wu added, or you can call the master on special occasions. Su Yi, obviously two robots. How can it look so social? Su Yi turned his head, looked at the replica version of the twin dancers and said, you can control them seamlessly, right? Yes. This Ling replied with the same voice, strictly speaking. She is also Ling, and I am also Ling. Same. Wu also replied. That's good. Su Yi nodded, and with a wave of his hand, an extra fire source appeared in his palm. For a moment, the two teams of twin dancers and four pairs of faces all looked at the fire source in Su Yi's hand at the same time. Su Yi just held it still, after half a sound. Wu couldn't help but said, Master, I can feel that my heart desires it very much. Ling on the side also nodded. Me too, as expected. Tinder is a huge attraction for sentient robots. And Su Yi just wanted to enlighten these two pairs of twin dancers. Why? Because the current twin dancers, Su Yi can't guarantee that they won't betray him. There are many kinds of super abilities in the Marvel Universe. What if a twin dancer takes over control of his mind and stabs himself in the back? 
the two stabbed each other. It just so happens that both waists are gone. So having to convert to shapeshifting gold just works. And it's not like being a shapeshifting King Kong is going to be angular. Remember shapeshifting King Kong Butler? So Su Yi believed that they would not become crooked. At the same time, Su Yi plans to throw the reprinted version on Cybertron to be the steward of the shapeshifting King Kong civilization. The positions are elders and messenger of the creator. In this way, Su Yi can use the original version of the twin dancers to learn about what happened on Cybertron when he is on Earth. They will also take the initiative to record and report to Su Yi. This is much better. So under these two conditions, Su Yi must call them. Otherwise dare not use. Come on, Wu, Ling, accept my blessing. Hear Su Yi's words. The twin dancers looked at each other. Then she walked forward gracefully with her hands behind her back. Su Yi took a closer look at them. He also couldn't figure out how the four pieces of metal without a face could be so astringent. Do you have to call it a fountain pen? Wait until the twin dancers are on the front and back. Su Yi took the fire source and stepped forward, first pressing on the abdomen of the first Ling on the left. Linking couldn't help humming. Then Su Yi took it away and pressed it on Wu's abdomen. Snort. Wu couldn't help but let out a cry. Then Su Yi pressed the remaining two twin dancers, then put away the fire source. Take two steps back and wait for the results. After a while, the reality is really different from what Su Yi thought. Locomotives and meshes are shape-shifting when enchanted. The parts on them will evolve and move arbitrarily, and then modularly assembled, but not twin dancers. After they received enlightenment in front of Su Yi, there is no modular repart transfer. Instead, it started to fluctuate from the position Su Yi touched, just like nanomaterials. Then the change of material changes with the fluctuation. After the fluctuation of a layer of ocean waves is over. The appearance of the twin dancers is more refined. Those metal-like exteriors look like robots at first glance. But it looks like someone wearing a leather jacket. You thought there was a woman with red fruit in it. But the reality is, they are twin dancers. Wait until they get on the phone. So Yi stepped forward to look at the details. First, the joint has been optimized. It is no longer the previous axis, but a flexible fluid metal. Then there are the details. The original metal looks like metal but now the metal looks like metal skin. So the overall look of twin dancers has become a lot rougher. After a while, the twin dancers both resume their ballet starting hands at the same time, then said at the same time, Hello, respect the creator. So Yi waved his hand, we still use the previous name. Yes, master. No, 290 means whatever. But it's okay to call the master. Anyway, he is very cool. Then Su Yi looked at them and said, Report on your evolved performance. Next moment, both Ling and Wu's faces began to rise. Self-checking. After a while, Ling looked at Su Yi again and said, Body flexibility increased by 100%. The body strength has increased by more than 1000%. There is no reference yet, and the upper limit is unknown. The body's reaction speed increased by 500%. Comprehensive combat power increased by 1000% plus. After the twin dancers reported the luxurious data, Su Yi had to lament the power of the fire source for mechanical improvement. Just touch it. The data immediately soared. And you can see it all. When they called their names before, they are all electronic sounds, and the emotions are not obvious, just like the product uses. But it's different now. The tone of the owner's barking was a bit like that of a succubus refrigerator. And very willingly. From this we can see why Su Yi must turn them into shapeshifting King Kong. That would definitely benefit greatly. At this time, Wu stepped forward and asked to thank the master. Would I like to present you a ballet with Ling? Oh Tilda? So Yi heard this proposal. He looked at the figure of the twin dancers. That's for sure. So eye-catching. Can. After obtaining Su Yi's consent, apparently the twin dancers were very happy. They held hands and left Su Yi a little. But the replica version chose to stand behind Su Yi on one left and one on the right. Then the original twin dancers arrived at their positions. They started the ballet performance. And it's a pas de deux. Ling first hugged Wu's slender waist. Then Wu leaned back and then kicked her slender right leg up. She wears a high heel on her right foot. With a kick of the dance, she actually kicked a horse directly. His Tilda. Look at the dancing posture of the twin dancers. So Yi really felt a fire burning in his heart. It's so tempting. Well, it's ballet. Whoever sees who is excited, that's all. The twin dancers performed a pas de deux in front of Su Yi. Wait until they come back. He saluted Su Yi, and then continued to gracefully put his hands behind his back. This is a pas de deux. Right? Su Yi asked. Yes. Ling nodded. Wu added, It's a pas de deux between lovers. If possible, we would like to dance with a master again. Hiss. Su Yi looked at Ling and Wu. At first glance, this person still has the attributes of lesbians. But not obvious. But Su Yi is running out of time now. Forget it. Next time. He still has a lot of rewards that he hasn't seen yet. Okay. I look forward to your next request, master. Ling Hui's voice was slightly lost. This is the shape-shifting King Kong. Much hotter than the original robot. 122. Modify the multi-universe. Twin dancers join. After the twin dancers backed away regretfully, with a wave of his hand, Su Yi took back the two replica twin dancers behind him and said, It is enough to have you as secretaries and housekeepers at home and in the office. So I will put your duplication on Cybertron 
which is also a civilization of shape-shifting King Kong, to be the elder and steward. Your duplication is responsible for recording everything that happened, as well as conveying my words and other operations, that is, my messenger. After Si Yi finished speaking, the twin dancers nodded together. Yes, master. Then there will be Mrs. Snowmanger next. Si Yi directly took it out in front of the twin dancers, flipped through it, and then put it back, just to make sense of it. Didn't watch for more than two seconds in total, but just these two seconds. Let the twin dancers look at each other. Then Wu asked, does the master like these? Forehead broken. Si Yi forgot that the twin dancers are not robots anymore. But he didn't say Ben. So after thinking about it, I could only answer helplessly. I'm human, your shapeshift in King Kong, it's different. Let's not talk about pens that are getting worse. She has to have that position, right? Otherwise, isn't it a daily wear steel plate? But as soon as Su Yi's words came out, the twin dancers looked at each other. Then he turned his head and said to Su Yi, Our bodies are not robomorphs, but companion robots to the archetypal ballerina. So we now have nervous systems and organ systems, and nano systems. Let us show you, if you can, Delph. That's what they mean. They are the invincible partners from the second dimension to the third dimension. They have everything. Showing is okay, but time is running out. So Su Yi said, Then turn into a mouth that can bite. Yes. Wu stepped forward after hearing the order. Then in front of Su Yi, a slit suddenly appeared on her originally smooth face at the position of her mouth. Then a red lip spread out. Then she opened her mouth wide. Su Yi could clearly see the oral cavity, tongue, mucous membrane, tonsils, and dot 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 throat in his mouth. And accompanied by simulated breathing. Her throat was still constricting. All right. All right. Su Yi quickly told her to close it. This is really looking like the head is getting bigger. How can two pieces of metal be so astringent? And since the mouth can change like this, another place is definitely fine too. Cough cough cough. Su Yi waved his hand. Jump over this question quickly. Dave fountain pens are scary. Although it must be flexible metal, it is estimated that the body feels the same as a real person, or even better. But it's a little weird. He has to get used to it. So Su Yi looked at other rewards. Atomic Heart Succubus Refrigerator. Kitchen Edition. X1. Introduction. Although she is just a top intelligent chef robot, her rich emotional system can bring you food full of love both psychologically and physically. Yep, another joke. Su Yi took a look and felt that she might not be a good person. So don't point it out yet. Don't take it out yet. I will put it directly in the kitchen to see if I can make a dinner. Then there are two final crit bonuses. Marvel Infinite Gems Blind Box X2. Look at the blind box first. Infinite Gems Blind Box. Open the box and get an infinite gems randomly. Gone. The introduction is as simple as that. That's okay. Isn't it just two infinite gems? So Yi was speechless for a while. Then directly open two infinite gems blind boxes at one time. Ding tilde. Successfully open. Get. Mind gem. Ding tilde. Successfully open. Get. Power gem. That's all. After opening the two blind boxes, two gemstones, one yellow and one purple, appeared in Su Yi's hands. So Yi looked at the two gems. I feel very helpless. What is it called? Tasteless to eat. But a pity to discard. You say it is useless, a gem can be used to the extreme to reach level single universe. If you say it works, it's only useful here. Go to multi-universe, let alone one gem, a set of gems is useless. But it's not impossible, the power gem is for Gwen, and the mind gem is for Wanda, just right. So Yi thought for a while, and put away the gems. Next, look at the last reward. Marvel Multi-Universe Editor, Couple Version. X3. When this reward mentions the word multivariate, Su Yi knew it shouldn't be easy, especially the three words editor. Su Yi felt that it should be awesome. But when I saw the last three words, Su Yi knew in his heart, this is bad. Take a look at the introduction, as expected. Introduction. You can freely edit the identity, origin, experience, past, etc. of the host's multi-universe for the partners of the host. Simply put, it is a treasure that can permanently edit multi-universe. If there is no girlfriend limit, then it will be strong. For example, so Yi edited this universe without life court, or delete the five gods directly, does not exist. As long as you don't strengthen the target, then you can weaken it at will, or even erase it directly. And what is erased is not a universe. Instead, you lost the entire multi-universe. Change 1. The multi-universe is completely overhauled. This is pretty awesome. But now it can only be used on Wanda, Gwen, and Hela, and cannot modify itself, because Su Yi is stronger than the general multi-universe. At the same time, his super template also shields the weapon of causality. Now there is only Su Yi in the entire multi-universe. That counts as editing. What else can you edit? Edit Nuzi to be bigger? At that time, it will not be in the stomach. But something really terrible. Wanda will definitely not play with him by then. So this thing. You can only edit the three women. But at the same time there is a person who does not need to edit. Who? Gwen. There is only one Gwen in the entire multi-universe. There is no other Gwen. So Gwen is no need to edit. So does Halo want it? Seems like. 
Don't need it, so ye thought about it. Hela is Ragnarok no matter which ending. And basically every universe will die. So she could meet Suyi. Still a very lucky thing. Then there is only Wanda. Suyi crushed an editor. Kak, accompanied by a click. A preview of the entire multi-universe appeared before his eyes. There are Fantastic Four. There are assumptions. There is Tony as Sorcerer Supreme. There's Tony being a dictator and blah blah blah. In short the multi-universe is endless. You simply can't finish it. And even if you want to change it, you have to think of something that is reasonable for every universe, otherwise there will be a bunch of things. So so ye thought about it. He gave the simplest answer directly. Delete all multi-universe wonder, leaving only the wonder around me. There can only be one wonder in the entire multi-universe, after an order. Multivariate bubbles quickly gather and then boom crash. So the multi-universe modification is successful. It's that simple. It's as if you selected to delete directly. It's that convenient. Henceforth, the multi-universe has only one Suai, only one Gwen, and only one wonder. The three of them will be the only ones in the multi-universe. There is no parallel universe himself. After doing this, Su Yi clapped his hands, slapped Tilda. Then he said to the twin dancers who couldn't understand, I'll send your replicas to Cybertron first. Su Yi waved one hand. The two replica twin dancers in his space went to Cybertron in an instant. At the same time, Su Yi's figure also disappeared. In Cybertron, Su Yi opened the internal channels of all shape-shifting King Kong veterans, then announced it. They are twin dancers, they are dancers without jackets, and dancers with jackets. From now on, they will serve as the elders and stewards of the shape-shifting King Kong civilization, mainly responsible for assisting the development and statistics of the shape-shifting King Kong civilization, collecting and organizing the history of the shape-shifting King Kong. It is also my cosmic messenger. After saying this sentence, all the shape-shifting King Kong elders responded at the same time. Yes. Creator, after hearing the response from the elders, Su Yi turned around, looked at the twin dancers behind him and said, That's it, I'm leaving, and your replica will perform Cybertron and Cosmic Affairs for me. I'm going back to see your bodies. The twin dancers nodded together after hearing this. Yes, Master. Then he gave Su Yi a thank you gift for the ballet curtain call. Su Yi nodded, snapped his fingers and lost it. Snap Tilda. Next moment, Su Yi's figure returned to the small universe. Then he said to the twin dancer body, Let's go, go home and show you where you will live in the future, as well as your mistress, hostess. The twin dancers looked at each other. Although they don't have eyes or expressions, they express their soul fluctuations. They are very interested in the hostess. After all, Su Yi gave them the duties of housekeeper and secretary. The hostess is one of the butler's clients, but she is also one of them. Su Yi stretched out his hand and snapped his fingers. Then the three disappeared in an instant. Go back to the door of the small universe. When he comes back, Wanda and Gwenatha. Wanda is using magic to control the small shovel to shovel the soil, and then plant the flower seeds. And Gwen's physical strength is very good. So she just took a shovel and shoveled it on the ground. Then put the produced pit on the sapling. Finally, cover with some fertilizer and water. So the two are farming. Su Yi walked over with the twin dancers, and after his feet made a sound on the wooden board, Gwen and Wanda looked at themselves at the same time. Su Tilda, um? But after seeing the twin dancers behind Su Yi, they were all taken aback. This is, to finish it all at once. Su Yi called Hala over first. Hala, coming. Su Yi's cry was heard. Little Hala came rushing. Then she was also startled when she saw the twin dancers. So Su Yi began to introduce. Twin dancers, the new shape shift in King Kong. There are four in total, but they are all controlled by the two of them. I put those two on Cybertron as stewards, and I put these two at home as stewards and my secretary. After Su Yi briefly explained the background, he reached out and started introducing them. The one without the jacket is called Ling, because he has a very charming temperament. Introduced to Ling Wu, Ling took out her hands from behind her back, and saluted the three girls. After saluting, it will be placed behind the waist. As I said before, this is their ballet prototype pose. So under normal conditions, they will always step on high heels and maintain this elegant posture. Then Su Yi introduced another one. The one with the golden jacket is Wu, and it's the same for handstands. You can see the temperament. When Su Yi talked about the dancing queen, she also stretched out her hands, repeating the same operation as Ling. But it has its own style. And Gwen was surprised when she saw the posture of the twin dancers. So elegant Tilda. Wanda nodded in agreement. It's kind of like ballet, as expected. They can still guess this, but Su Yi chose to let the twin dancers introduce themselves. Let's talk. Ling nodded, then walked out and said, Our prototype is a woman who has learned ballet, so we will always live in a ballet posture. We also stepped forward and said, We are the new shape-shifting King Kong, dancers, but also the master's housekeeper and secretary. The way the twin dancers speak is simply flawless. After one of them finished speaking, the other will finish up. Let you pick out a little bug. And Gwen and Wanda were also very novel after hearing it. The new shapeshift in King Kong. Gwen immediately took a closer look. It's so beautiful. The perfect combination of machinery and human form Tilda. Gwen is now very fond of the twin dancers. Because when she said that she wanted to learn about shapeshift in King Kong. The shapeshift in King Kong she imagined in her mind looked like this. 
she's neither shapeshifting King Kong exactly like a human, or even indistinguishable. Nor do you want the shapeshifting King Kong to be completely mechanical with sharp edges and corners. What Gwen thinks is the perfect combination of machinery and people. That's how it looks the most beautiful. But Gwen has never been able to figure out how to make a perfect combination. But now she sees it. And Wanda looked up and asked. Then you will let no ballet. Can you teach me in the future? Here's that Wanda wants to learn ballet. Su so Yi's eyes suddenly lit up. Then he blinked at Twin Dancer. The Twin Dancers understood. Ling said to Wang. Zhao Zhao. D.A. Miss Wanda. Ballet is our specialty, and we can do any kind of dance in the world. Wu said to Wanda again. Miss Wanda, through basic analysis, in addition to ballet, you'd better learn a kind of yoga first, which is the key to the popularity of ballet. Ling nodded and added, as long as you get started with yoga and learn ballet, you can bring your master to practice and dance every day. Hearing that the twin dancers suggested to Wanda to learn yoga, Su Yi immediately gave them a thumbs up. Well done dancer. He also wanted to suggest that Wanda learn yoga. If you think about it, bow your waist, sub-size and lower your waist. What a pose. But he never mentioned it. It is because Wanda suspects that Su Yi asked her to learn this to torment her. It's good now. The twin dancers mentioned that she should be able to learn it, right? As expected. After Wanda thought about it, she nodded in agreement. Okay, then start teaching me yoga from tonight. The dancer nodded at the same time. I am very honored. Nice. Beautiful. See Wanda agrees. Su Yi said happily in his heart. I will be happier in the future Tilda. And Gwen said immediately after hearing it. Then I wanted to learn too. It just so happens that I have a lot of time for vacation. So I come to study with Wangda every day. When Wanda heard that someone was learning from her, she immediately high-fived Gwen happily. Great Gwen. Then Gwen asked Hala again. Do you want to learn Hala? No. Little Hala simply shook her head. I want to play games. All right. Finally, Wanda and Gwen decided to dance with the twin dancers every afternoon and night. And the first project is yoga. Seeing this, Su Yi smiled with satisfaction. Seeing the night is getting late. Su Yi remembered that he still had a succubus refrigerator that he hadn't read. So he waved his hand and said, let's go go into the house, and do another fun thing. 123. The succubus refrigerator, BT character, cooked delicious, fun stuff. Hala was most looking forward to hearing this kind of thing. She trotted to follow Su Yi closely. Then he raised his head and asked, what is it? A. An automatic cooking machine? Su Yi thought about the introduction of the succubus refrigerator. That's about it, but maybe a little weird. Su Yi didn't know either. So he came to the kitchen door with three. No. Five women from his family. Then he looked at the size of the refrigerator in the space. Finally, he found a location on the left against the wall to confirm. Leave it alone. Then Su Yi waved his hand. A red refrigerator appeared in place. Su Yi and everyone behind him looked at the refrigerator, and they didn't think there was anything strange about it. Then he took a closer look at the refrigerator's monitor. There are various settings on that. You can choose any meal. Chinese food, Western food, Italian food, Japanese food, French food and so on. At the same time, there are all kinds of methods available. Almost anything can be cooked. Su Yi stretched out his hand and swiped the screen. Crack tilde. But the moment he touched it, the refrigerator door opens from the middle, then stretched out several tentacles and whimpered while dancing. Ah tilde, what a strong master. Come and fill me up. Hurry up, tilde. Su Yi snapped his fingers. Next moment, the tentacles of the succubus refrigerator all stood still. They all stopped beside Su Yi. The succubus refrigerator was taken aback. Then he said more loudly, Master likes to play this? Do you want to play it? I like it so much. Su Yi took a deep breath and took a few steps back slowly. Gwen looked in the refrigerator. Then he turned his head to look at Su Yi and asked, This dot 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 is really a cooking robot, eh? Su Yi hesitated for a moment. Anyway, it says on the interface that you can do anything. Yes, I can accept anything. Come and spur me on. Shut up. Ah yes, scold me a few more times. Su Yi stroked his forehead helplessly. Why can a refrigerator be so hot? You are a cuboid. First, the two robots are so social, another fridge burns like that. What are these? Wanda looked at it and found it incredible. She's so... so... amazing. Wanda thought for a long time. The only word to describe it is great. Can only say, this refrigerator is even more outrageous than her previous witch duplication. The witch was just a little bit depraved. But this ice 410 box is too much for a horse. Even worse than the witch. And it looks really tough. Ah no, it sounds difficult. But Su Yi also breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, I didn't turn her into a shapeshift in King Kong. Otherwise, something big will happen. But Hala seems interesting. She looked at the refrigerator in surprise. She's so interesting. And the refrigerator heard Hala's words. She seemed to look at Su Yi's team. Then he whispered in surprise. Oh Tilda. Lolita. Girl. Sister-in-law. Robot. You are welcome to come. Then we have too many sockets to dry. Stop. Stop. Su Yi really can't handle this yellow refrigerator. So he snapped his fingers first. Rule 1. The tentacles of the refrigerator must not intentionally touch people directly. Rule 2. 
Try to say as little as possible if there is color every day. Otherwise, you will dismantle Cybertron and go back to the furnace to rebuild. So Yi finished giving the order. The refrigerator replied immediately. It's demolished. It turns out that the owner still likes to play with this. This is too rare. Although it hurts, I can try it for the sake of the owner. So Yi took a deep breath. You can still say nine things today. Immediately, the refrigerator stopped talking. Instead, the voice turned around and asked. Then what does the master want to eat? I have it Tilda. So Yi waved his hand. He is really tired. Then he said to Wanda and Gwen. You can figure out how to use it. I have already ordered that the mechanical tentacles are not allowed to touch people. After speaking, so Yi went to lie down on the sofa. And Wanda, Gwen, and Hala began to study how to make dinner with this machine. But the twin dancers turned around. Then he followed Su Yi out. Wait until Su Yi falls onto the sofa. The twin dancers stood on both sides of the sofa, waiting quietly. They are mainly Su Yi, and the setting of the robot is to stand forever. In addition, after becoming a shapeshift in King Kong, his physical fitness has increased by at least ten times. So twin dancers don't sit down at all. Just stand gracefully with your hands behind your back forever. Su Yi turned on the TV and began to watch it. Then he habitually wanted to raise his calves. After all, I am used to fishing and fishing at work. But there's no place for the calves here. So Su Yi moved his legs, but didn't move. But this was seen by the twin dancers. They looked at each other. Ling gracefully walked to Su Yi's side, then squatted down and asked, Master, do you need Ling to step on your feet with your body? Hiss. Su Yi turned to look at Ling. After she squatted down, the graceful curves of her figure were unobstructed. The long golden hair is in front of his hands. I want people to reach out and touch them. There is nothing on the smooth metal face. But I still want to scratch it with my fingers. Especially when she said it. Su Yi was already thinking. What does Ling look like when she is squatting or lying there to step herself up? Do you feel confident? Maybe so. Cough cough. But that's not good. What a shame. So he looked at the small table not far away and said. Take that over the mat. Ling looked back. Okay. She got up. Then turned to get the little table. Have to say. Her backside is also particularly felt. Curvy waist and waist. Smooth back and cocked. Ling picked up the small table. Then walked over and placed it where Su Yi's feet could just soar up. Su Yi originally wanted to kick his feet against each other to kick off the slippers covering his feet. Dan Ling held Su Yi's feet with both hands. Then take off your shoes and put them away. Then take another one off and put it away. After finally putting Su Yi's feet on it, she neatly put the two slippers aside. It is more convenient for Su Yi to wear it later. Wait until these are done. Ling Kai stood up and nodded to Su Yi. Then she elegantly returned behind Su Yi with her hands behind her back. Su Yi took a deep breath. It can only be said that it is invincible. If such a robot is sold in the domestic market, and there is no limit to how much you want, then even if she sells 500,000 yuan, she will be robbed of her head. Okay, how sweet is it to buy it back and be a wife? Sleepless nights belong to yes. Su, this refrigerator can make a lot of things. At this time, Wang Yin stretched out half of his body in the kitchen and asked happily, What do you want to eat tonight? She seems to be able to cook anything as long as there are dishes and kitchen utensils. Can do anything? Su Yi thought about it. I want to eat egg darts. You ask her to make me an egg dart. Number 7 Tilda. After a while, Gwen came over with a plate of 12 egg tarts and sat beside Su Yi and said, Taste it quickly. The refrigerator said that the taste is incomparable. Once you've tried it once, you can never live without her again. Su Yi heard, Is she messing around again? Is the... Gwen was stunned. I don't understand. All right. The light color of this refrigerator can only be understood by his pure people can't understand it. So Yi picked up an egg tart and tasted it. The taste really caught his eye. It's delicious. You have to try it. Really? I'll try. Gwen immediately picked up a piece and tasted it, as expected. She also thought it was delicious. The deliciousness of egg tarts has a very serious relationship with the taste. Whether the edge is crispy or not, whether the inside is tender or not, how mellow is it and so on. I want to make it delicious. The time and heat must be in place. And the refrigerator is very good. It's even perfect. You underestimated her. So Yi finished eating an egg tart in his hand. I didn't expect that she really has two brushes besides coloring. I wonder if it will be thrown into Cybertron and rebuilt. Gwen said after eating the egg tart. The dishes are really good. She is cooking Wanda's dishes now. I'll go over and have a look. Gwen took the plate back. Then go back and see how Wanda's food is doing. And little Hala is just playing. She just wondered how this refrigerator could cook so well. And why are there so many? Ah, burning words. But after half an hour, Wanda and Gwen really came out with several dishes. Steak, salad, French, Chinese food. There are four kinds in total. Six dishes in total. Plus an egg tart. So Yi stood up, looked around the table, and commented. But don't tell me, there is no place to scold. So Su Yi came to the kitchen to have a look and praised, Good job, I can't find a place to criticize you. Su Yi thought she would be very happy. As a result, the refrigerator made a pity at first Tilda. How could it be like this? I want you to criticize me, master, take a whip and beat me, saying that I did something wrong Tilda. Hiss. Su Yi took a deep breath, you are so cheap. Yes Tilda, I'm just a scumbag, as long as the master tortures me, I like it. Okay, 
Awesome, this cannot be said. Withdraw. So Yi turned around and left the kitchen. The refrigerator was still there and said regretfully, No, come in again. Have to say, this thing is really good at color. Who could stand turning her into a shapeshift in King Kong? I'm afraid I'm really going to become a succubus. Then squeeze you hard. Out of the kitchen. So Yi came to the table and sat down. The twin dancers followed Su Yi all the time, and when Su Yi sat down, they went to stand on the other side of the dining table. This will not block the view. Looking at the dinner on the table, Su Yi felt that the refrigerator was pretty good again. Easy and tasty. That's right. Su Yi suddenly remembered something. Hala, you only need to bring the dishes over from now on, and the refrigerator will wash them. Hear Su Yi's words. Little Hala's eyes widened immediately. That's great Tilda. Look at the excited look of little Hala. Su Yi could see it. She even wanted to pay homage to that refrigerator. Eat it quickly. It will be cold if you don't eat it. Following Su Yi's order, everyone began to eat. These dishes are so delicious. Wanda sighed after eating. Wouldn't it be a shame if I cook again in the future? It's okay, Su Yi said indifferently. You still have to buy vegetables to decide what to eat, and let the refrigerator do the last step. You can do whatever you want. Wanda thought about it, too. Isn't this thing taken out just when I don't want to do it when I'm too lazy? The advancement of technology is for laziness. The second is for development. After a while, we finished our meal. Gwen looked at the time and could only go home again. I don't know that George wants to show me school for a few days. I hope it will end soon. Wanda and little Hale cleared the dishes together and proposed. You ask George to take you to see a university in New York first, and then you just make sure it's fine. Gwen thought about it and thought it was feasible. Then I'll go back and mention it tonight. After speaking. Gwen had no choice but to leave first. Su Yi walked into the flower field of the small universe to get some air. The twin dancers have to follow all the time. Su Yi thought for a while and said, It's okay for you to follow me all the time outside, but there's no need to follow me at home. You are not the same as before. In the past, you were intelligent robots with polymers, with thoughts, but no independent thoughts. But now you are the new type of shapeshift in King Kong. You have souls, and I know you have ego. So when you are at home, I will give you the highest level of freedom free activities, watching TV, networking, resting, planting flowers, sightseeing and so on. It's no different from normal people. Only when you are in the office and outside, you can keep the previous twin dancers. To put it simply, life belongs to life, work belongs to work. Is it the goal? What Su Yi said was very simple. Just don't be as strict at home as you are at work. Otherwise, they have been following like this. It feels too weird. It's like Pepper in Iron Man 2-3 who keeps working at home because of the iron armor. It will make people feel uncomfortable. So the twin dancers nodded after understanding. Okay, Chinese. Su Yi waved and let them move freely. Then do what interests you. The twin dancers looked at each other. Then they turned and left together. Seeing that no one was following him, Su Yi also relaxed a lot. So Su Yi lay on the recliner and Xiao and blew the evening breeze. But at this moment, Wu walked over again and said, Master. The shapeshift in King Kong Legion and Collector from Planet Botan set off again. Huh? Su Yi still closed his eyes and said, What's the reason? Wu replied, Collect resources, find other infinite gems and various magical energies. Gathering resources is no problem. But isn't it a bit outrageous to collect other infinite gems? Isn't this Thanos' job? Now shapeshift in King Kong is going to grab the business. But it doesn't matter. Su Yi likes to have fun. So he waved his hand and said, Don't worry about it. Just keep recording the chronicle. Okay, dancing back. After a while, Wanda returned after handing the plate to the refrigerator. Su Yi patted his thigh. Wanda came over and sat on Su Yi's lap, then leaned on him and said, I saw the dancers moving freely. Yes, Su Yi nodded. It feels weird to let them follow you at home. Yeah, I think so too. Wanda took a deep breath. Then he thought for a while and said suddenly, Is the dancer strong? How about other shapeshift in King Kong ratios? This problem, Su Yi replied without any hesitation. The dancers are stronger. Why? Under the same combat strength, the smaller the body, the higher the combat effectiveness. The more handsome and beautiful the appearance, the higher the combat effectiveness. Not to mention the stronger combat effectiveness of dancers. Wanda was taken aback after hearing this. Is this still such a saying? Definitely. So Yi opened his eyes. Haven't you heard that beauty is justice? You're so pretty, and you're so fixated. Wanda smiled happily after hearing this. Mua Tilda. She took a sip of Su Yi. Then you are so handsome. You must be very strong. That's definitely narcissism. Question mark you dare to say that about me? Su Yi turned around and directly switched places with Wanda. Startled, Wanda quickly looked towards the door and said, Not here. This is still outside. This is my small universe. Only us. Su Yi snapped his fingers, and the small universe closed the door. Now I want you to try it up and down. 124. The beauty of twin dancers as good refugees. That's it. After the gate of the small universe was closed and open for an hour or two, the people inside have disappeared. But if you want to look in front of the recliner, well, one piece of soil is wet. Do not ask. The question is that it has been watered, although not many, but to see people. Next morning, Su Yi is still awake. Last night's wonder was too shy in the small universe, 
so she lost the battle quickly begging for mercy. Su Yi originally didn't want to accept surrender, but thinking that Wanda might not be able to handle it during this time, I softened my heart and let her go. After teleporting back to the room, Wanda almost fell asleep. Looks really exhausted, but Su Yi felt uncomfortable. So early in the morning, the quilt was raised high, and in his deep sleep, wow Tilda, the door was slowly opened. Two faceless faces poked their heads out to observe. After seeing Su Yi's tent, she looked at each other, then Chi Chi nodded. Then the two walked in silently, then after getting close to Su Yi's body, their mouths begin to now evolve, form a mouth that is no different from a human being or even more perfect, finally started messing around. So he waited until Su Yi was awakened. He looked up, look past Wanda's hair, arms, and thighs. The twin dancers are working hand in hand. Su Yi gasped. Think about it. It's better to be happy without moving. So his happiness has been appearing and disappearing back and forth between 100 and 1010. And Su Yi could only take a breath after half a sound. With happiness being fruited it becomes zero. After a few grunts, the twin dancers stood up, saluted Su Yi gracefully, and then left silently. During this process, their faces returned to normal, as if nothing happened. But Su Yi's happiness in returning to normal state is not a lie, because I was really happy just now. And he can obviously feel it through happiness. Twin dancers are different on the inside. They will evolve something to make you happy just to make you happy. It's like looking for your weaknesses. Horrible. This is the succubus, right? Yesterday's fridge might just be a fake succubus. And the two elegant twin dancers beside me are probably the real succubus, because they are so fierce. After a short rest, Su Yi got up to wash up, opened the door. Twin dancers stood to the left and right of the doorway. Ling on the left is holding a toothbrush and toothpaste. The dancer on the right is holding towels and other tools. So Yi took a look. Tears flowed down my face. It's really depressing. I really am. I like it so much. Cough cough cough. So Yi went to the bathroom to wash up. The twin dancers also followed with their things. Then Ling took the water and squeezed the toothpaste trying to brush Tsu Yi's teeth. I'll do that. But this Tsu Yi likes to come by himself. It's like he likes to be active at night, not passive. So he picked up his toothbrush and brushed his own teeth. Then rinse your mouth and spit it out. Ling took the toothbrush and water glass. Wu took a warm towel to help Tsu Yi wipe off the toothpaste first, and then gently wiped Tsu Yi's face with the other side. After several gentle wipes, Wu took the towel away. Then the changer stepped forward and began to shave Tsu Yi's beard and trim his eyebrows. Tsu Yi relaxed his body. Ling and Wu are both tall at 1.79. The sense of oppression they stand together is very strong, higher than that of Gwen and Wang. Even Su Yi's height of 185 plus is a bit difficult in front of them. Ling stood in front of her. The two are almost stuck together. Ling stretched out her hand and began to repair Su Yi's face, and Su Yi could see a trace of love from Ling's shopping face. How does this feel? Never mind her. Now it's just a pen. Why do you still care about those? But he was in no hurry. I'll try the pen again later when I have a chance. After a while, after Ling Su finished. He took two steps back. Wu then used the freshly washed and heated towel to wipe Su Yi's cheeks again. After all the operations are done, Su Yi looked into the mirror. Groove, so handsome. The eyebrows are more energetic than before, as if the meaning can be expressed only by shaking the eyebrows. The complexion is also more refined, but it is not a pussy, but bright and clean. It looks very comfortable. Very good. Su Yi nodded very satisfied. Wu said from the side. After online comparison, the master's heroic appearance ranks number one among known creatures. Su Yi smiled. Then does this ranking have your personal subjectivity? Wu and Ling looked at each other. In that case, it will always be number one inch. Very eloquent. Su Yi smiled happily. Then he said to the dancer, After Wanda wakes up, you also help her dress up, and I'll see how it looks. The dancer nodded. Okay. After washing, Su Yi came to the kitchen. After what happened last night, Wanda and Gwen put all the dishes here. Because the succubus refrigerator can not only be preserved perfectly, but also need not be taken out later. How convenient. And Su Yi came here. The refrigerator went mad immediately after seeing it. Ah, master, you finally came to see me. What do you want to play today? I can accept it Tilda. Shut up first and listen to me. Su Yi saw that there were not too many dishes in the kitchen, because I didn't make up last night. So Su Yi looked at it and said simply, make me an egg pancake, two eggs, one piece of green vegetables is enough, everything else is normal. 11. Okay master the refrigerator immediately started to take out the ingredients with its tentacles and started cooking, but the words still kept babbling. Master, I also seem to be a robot to serve you, can you make me a robot? Hearing this sentence, so you raised his eyebrows. He turned to look at the twin dancers. Did you chat with her last night? The twin dancers immediately shook their heads in denial. So Yi knew that twin dancers would never deceive him. That's why it's not them. But how does the refrigerator know? Guess, I guess, master the refrigerator said while cooking. Aren't the two of them robots? Then if they can do this, I should be able to do it too. Okay, Master Tilda, I want Master's big baby. I want to serve the Master to get up and go to bed every day, as expected. The refrigerator was guessed after seeing the twin dancers. 
the intelligence level of the robot in the atomic heart seems to be very high. To have such self-awareness, this is already very similar to people. Even more self-aware than those social animals cough cough cough. But Su Yi still directly refused the refrigerator, and said without fishing. Do you have your own name, refrigerator? The refrigerator is still moving. But the visual system replied after hesitation for a while. Yes, master, I named myself Nora. Su Yi nodded. Very well, Nora. Can you accept my cruelty? You can be the master tilde. Refrigerator Nora said without hesitation. You can scold me, hit me, smoke me. I like them all tilde. Dot. Okay. So Yi said directly. I don't want to turn you into the robot or shapeshift in King Kong for the time being. It's just that your current value is not enough. Not worth it. After you cook us a lot of meals, or have a great relationship with Wanda, Gwen, Hala, then I will consider turning you into a robot that can move freely. But not now. The value of the twin dancers is definitely much better than that of the refrigerator. And the character of the twin dancers is really good. But Nora's refrigerator is not necessarily so. So Su Yi needs to make a comparison first. How can it change immediately? But after Su Yi finished speaking. Ah, I'm so happy, so cool. Master tell me a few more words. I'll remember them tilde. Cool. Su Yi took a deep breath. Turn around and go to work. Are you placing play again? Great tilde. Ling. You stay here, when the pancakes are ready, help me take them down. Okay, after bringing Wu to the office, Su Yi sat down on the chair and let out a long breath. Then take a few sips of iced milk tea. After Wu saw it, she kept it in her heart. At this time Su Yi suddenly asked. Tell me what you were thinking early in the morning. Asked by Su Yi. Wu turned half her body, faced Su Yi and replied. We see that the physiological state of the owner needs to be addressed and addressing these is also part of our responsibility. Although the impact of this physiological state will not be too great, every negative state should be eliminated. Why? All right. What you said is well founded. I believe it. Su Yi waved his hand and told Wu to go back. After a while, Ling came down with Su Yi's pancakes. Take Ling's breakfast. Su Yi started to eat comfortably. Refrigerator Nora still works. I used to be too lazy to make breakfast. It's ready to eat now. Su Yi looked at the dancers standing on the left and right sides of the door. Oh yes. Su Yi snapped his fingers at them. Snap tilde. Then explained. That way ordinary people can't see you. Only a superhero with some strength can discover you. After the dancer heard it, she nodded to express her understanding. But Su Yi's purpose of doing this is very simple. I just don't want ordinary people to have a lot of problems after seeing the dancers. Otherwise, it would be very troublesome for these two robots to stand here and be exposed. Su Yi was eating pancakes. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers while watching the news. But the recent news is nothing. Very boring. Eating and eating, etc. Su Yi remembered. Did he still have a check-in reward that he didn't see? He glanced at the reward. Leave card X3. Taking a bite of the pancake with two eggs. Su Yi looked at it. Introduce. Introduction. After using a leave card, you can let anyone who does not have to go to work on the first to fifth of the week but is normally counted as a check-in card to get rewards from myriad realms. Wu Tilda. Good stuff. Isn't this just three leave slips? When I was a student, if I could get three leave slips, I would be a god. During the working period, if I can get a leave slip, then I will be happy. Definitely. The leave note during this working period is even more precious. It's best to keep it for when you have something to do, or get together to extend your vacation while on vacation. So Su Yi put away the leave note first, talk about it later. At the same time, in the depths of the universe, a legion's fleet is moving forward, searching, moving, searching, just repeating what I was looking for. They are Thanos' legion. In the command room, Ebony Moore opened a star map and showed it to Thanos. Master Thanos. News from Supergent says that Asgard's exile fleet is in this star field, and we should be able to find them soon. Although Asgard's treasure house does not know how much it contains, the space gem must be among them. Ebony Moore finished speaking. Thanos ordered from his exclusive seat. Increase search efficiency and find infinite gems as soon as possible. Okay, off the open air. Ebony Moore quickly directed people to search. But after a while, Ebony Moore came back to report excitedly. Master Thanos, the forward fleet has discovered the Asgard exile transport ship. Only one. There is no threat. Hear this sentence. Thanos rough pumpkin jaw finally smiled. He took the double-edged sword, stepped down from the throne and said, Let them track well, speed up the battleship transition, and get infinite gems. With Thanos' order, fleet transition began to accelerate, straight to Asgard's exile fleet warp over. And at the moment's deep space, a transport ship is driving alone in the universe. The costumes of the people in the transport ship are weird, but it looks quite luxurious. But why do you feel so downcast? and everyone's face is also very sad, for they are the wandering fleet of Asgard. Now Asgard has been destroyed, they are already homeless. In front of a window, a man holds a long sword under his hands, but the eyes are always looking at the deep space of the universe. His eyes were still sharp, but there is confusion in the sharpness, without any direction. He is Heimdall, former patron saint of Asgard. Heimdall. At this moment, Thor came over and asked in a low tone, Where do you think we should go? Heimdall looks back at Thor. The people of Asgard shall now be guided by you. 
Thor, after he finished speaking. He continued to look at the deep space of the universe. In fact, Heimdall had several goals in mind, but the future Asgard will definitely be led by Thor. So he has to let Thor decide. As for Loki, Heimdall knew he was not the son of Odin, so it is impossible for Loki to become a god king. This is a doomed thing, and Thor was confused after hearing Heimdall's words. To be honest, I don't know what to do, Heimdall. My father didn't tell me anything before he took it, just left so suddenly. Then Asgard was destroyed by a flaming titan, and we started wandering, not knowing where to go. We are not vagabonds, Thor. Upon hearing the word vagabond, Hemwell suddenly reminded Thor sternly. Asgard is where there are people, and our home doesn't have to be fixed in one place. We can settle down anywhere in the Nine Realms, or anywhere in the universe, as long as there are Asgardians out there. Thor understands a little when he hears this, but he still feels confused about the future the future of Asgard. How can I do? Wow Tilda. Just at the moment, the massive black shadow blocks the light of a nearby fixed star. Heimdall and Thor look back. A spiral cuboid flagship is directly attached to the face of their transport ship, and their guns are aimed directly at the only transport ship here. At the same time, countless donut warships are flying from both sides. Heimdall took a look, immediately panicked and said, Oops, who are they? Thor asked, grabbing the hammer. Heimdall's face darkened. Legion of Thanos inches. 125. Rediscovering the Thanos Legion is a disaster. But before that, there is also a Legion that scans for various support in the depths of the universe, and then collects and hits the transport ship. And this time the Legion is bigger than before. Since the Power Gem and Nova Energy are in hand, all elders are unanimous in favor of expanding the power of Cybertron's Legion. And it's fully expanded. What does it mean? Because the Legion is called as a whole, and after the subdivision, it is divided into Resource Department, War Department, transportation department and so on, so broaden the meaning across the board, that is, every department needs to expand, then the mighty shape-shifting King Kong army in the universe now explains everything, 50 transport ships with a length of 10,000 meters, 10 veterans lead the team, 200 battleships, 600 shape-shifting King Kong offspring, 100,000 robot troops, this time shape-shifting King Kong dispatched the Legion force, it can be said that Obsidian, who can fight the entire Thanos army, will have a frontal war, yes, it's war, it's not fighting anymore. Such a huge legion force, ordinary cosmic empires without special abilities can't resist the impact of shapeshifting King Kong. That is, at the moment, the military strength of the three Marvel empires is almost inferior to the shapeshifting King Kong civilization. Only all of Thanos' legions combined can stand against it. And on top of at the moment's lead ship, the Collector also set out with a legion as before. At the moment he said to the elders, most of the top empires in the universe have their own core treasures and technologies. For example, the Kerry Empire, such as the Skrull Empire. Maybe we can mobilize Thanos' legion in the dark to oppress them, and then we can do these things in it. Have to say, there is something to this collector idea, but the universe lives in such a law for the development of their own empire. Doing so can not only gain benefits, but also won't cause the empire to lose any operations. 270. Actually it is right, but, the senators still refused. Conspiracy theory, this kind of operation is not only not right, but also has potential risks. And in a gray area of creator doctrine, away from it. Here the elders dismiss it. Collector expressed his understanding. He wasn't disappointed or anything, he just suggested a solution. After all, he can only be regarded as a staff officer at best. Shapeshifting all development doctrines of King Kong. It was all discussed by the elders, so Collector thought about it and suggested again. Then let's use the method of steady development and expanding harvest. I know that there are many unmanned mining areas in the depths of the universe, where there is no fixed star, so most creatures don't want to go there but shapeshifting King Kong can go. Not a bad idea. And the elders are also carrying out this plan, because the current shapeshifting King Kong civilization is still in the stage of explosive development. Do not mess around at this stage. Instead, we should collect more resources, research technology, and develop ourselves. Simply put, build walls high, accumulate food widely, and become king slowly. At this time, a communication arrives from the offspring of shapeshifting King Kong. Dear veterans, a continuous transition trajectory has been found in the star field ahead and based on the analysis of the transition scale, there is a high probability that it is a legion. Legion? Collector was taken aback when he heard that. Now in this universe, who else has a large-scale leap of legions? Collector thought for a while. Could it be the Legion of Thanos? In addition to the last Black Dwarf Legion, it has four legions. This legion is most likely Thanos' legion. This sentence from Collector. Immediately, the elders became interested. I got good stuff with the Thanos' legion before. Do you want to follow this time? Why not follow? Any losses? Number. Can't beat it? Can beat it. And the Legion dispatched this time is bigger than last time. And the Thanos Legion is there for a purpose. Last time it was for the Power Gem. What is it for this time? Will it be a good thing again? So the Elders voted immediately. Whether to track along the Legion transition trajectory 10 colon 0. Okay. All votes passed. Track. All shapeshifting King Kong. Entering the fighting posture. The fleet starts the jump engine. 
and tracks the trajectory. So the elders gave an order. Fifty warships started the leap with whom? The main thing is to pick up trash. And the other side, in a state of hardly firing a single shot, Thanos entered the Asgard transport ship with a group of men and Ebony Moore. Why don't you resist? The guns of the flagship as big as the outside face the Asgard transport ship. So just a glimmer of hope. Thor and Heimdall are going to try and get it. They can't directly bury the last people of the entire Asgard civilization in one breath. And before Thanos boarded the ship, Thor hides Hulk first. It was a temper tantrum, and he couldn't handle it. Then wait until after Thanos boards the ship. All the people in Asgard who are still fighting go to the cabin hall to face Thanos and prepare to talk. Thanos' double-edged sword at the moment is carried by others. And after he walked in, he looked at the hall, at the Asgardians, and at his legion outside the ship window. Finally Thanos spoke to Thor. Hand over the Tesseract, and I can kill everyone in this transport. Thor was furious when he heard this, but now he is not as reckless as before. So Thor just tightened his grip on the hammer. He exchanged a glance with Heimdall. Heimdall shook his head. Whether they hand over the Tesseract or not. They will not let the other half die in order to live half. This is the same as with problems such as train tracks. Instead of choosing this way, let's all fight together. Asgard is not bloodless, and Loki in green said so. It's better to have no choice than to give it a choice. Hear Loki's words. Thanos looked at Loki, thinking about it before speaking. You have wasted one of my small legions and are still betraying me. No, that's not betrayal, that's called a deal. Loki shook his head. Your called investment failure. Loki's words didn't offend Thanos, but it annoyed Ebony more, because at that time, the two of them had a fight, but Thanos waved his hand, annoyed that stopped Ebony Moore. He looked at Thor and said again, again, hand over the Tesseract, and the resistance isn't just half dead, it's all dead. With Thanos' last warning, the atmosphere here froze instantly. Now there are only two options. One, surrender the Tesseract, half dead. Two, if you resist, you may live a lot, but there is a high probability that you will all die. Thor looks at Heimdall again, but it wasn't just Heimdall shaking his head this time. Even Thor has reluctance in his eyes. He was originally a bloody Thor. Now you make him obediently hand over the Tesseract, and then half the people die? How can that be possible? It's good that he didn't do it directly. And he turned around. All the Asgard warriors shook their heads too. Instead of betting on half the odds, they are also willing to fight. Even if the management method behind Odin is still in its infancy. But Asgard is also the first realm of the Nine Realms. A little bit of pride. And Loki, the number one magician in the Nine Realms, pulled out his hands, took out two small knives and smiled at Thor. My brother. We can fight side by side again, Thor forced a smile. Now I can turn my back over to you because I believe in you. Loki didn't answer the sentence, just shrugged, too, and Thanos warrior said, Do you want to find a way to delay it for a while? The last time Thanos was deflated was in the hands of a new civilization called Shapeshifting King Kong. So the Nova Empire handed over the cosmic spirit ball and was rescued. Let's delay for a while. Maybe we can also meet the shapeshifting King Kong civilization, and then we hand over Tesseract as well. This way we can be saved. What Loki said made Thor brush him off. Thor said, holding the hammer that Hela hadn't crushed. How did you come up with such a bad plot? Can Thanos get hit twice? Loki curls his lip. What if? It's not impossible. You just say whether you want to encounter this kind of plot. Thor thought about it. Still nodded and smiled. Then I would like to. I think so. Loki thought for a while. Then I'll delay. Abruptly. Loki blade turned around and grabbed to your neck, then pulled aside and shouted, back off, otherwise, I will kill your future god king. Loki, Heimdall, was immediately dumbfounded. Why did you suddenly turn back? Why are you turning back? Go away. Loki grabs Thor's neck and makes him roll. Thor's heart skipped a beat. Also shouted, Loki, what are you doing? Are you betraying us? Loki shook his head. He was just about to say something. Thanos interrupted. It's useless boy. Stop acting. The Tesseract must be handed over. To Thanos' surprise. Definitely. Loki definitely agreed. Then he pointed to the people in Asgard and said, Take out the Tesseract and present it to Lord Thanos. As soon as this statement came out, People of Asgard you look at me, I look at you. Where do they know where Tesseract is? Or, does Asgard really have Tesseract? Quick. Loki looked at the bewildered man and yelled, Go find it. Hear this sentence. The people of Asgard immediately started looking for Tesseract. But Tesseract with a hammer. At the moment of Asgard's destruction, Tesseract was taken by Loki. They know the Tesseract is in Asgard, but have they brought it and where is it? That's where no one knows. So all are looking for. After watching the crowd go to Tesseract, Thanos takes a look. I chose to wait zero. Then go to the Rubik's Cube. It's okay to wait. And where they can't see, Loki spoke to Thor via voice transmission. Long enough. Thor wouldn't do that, so unimpressed. But I was thinking in my heart, will this trick work? But it will take time to prove, that's all. The people of Asgard found it in the transport ship. Thanos' men are waiting. But after waiting for a while, Thanos didn't even wait for Tesseract, so he felt something was wrong. Thanos stepped forward slightly, looked at Loki not far away and said, you're playing your tricks again. No, I'm serious. Loki was still holding a dagger around Thor's neck. They should be able to find it soon, but the Tesseract is kept deeper. No. I don't trust you. Thanos stretched out his hand, 
and directly took the double-edged sword standing next to him and said, Call everyone over and stand still, or I will let the fleet fire directly. Hear this sentence. Loki was startled. He knew he couldn't lie anymore. So hurry up and voice transmit. Thor said, It's still in Saka, understand? But this time it's me. Thor didn't answer just tightened his grip on the hammer. Loki knew it was ready, so he said to Thanos, Hold on, may I give you this guy now? I am coming now. Not waiting for Thanos to agree, Loki drags Thor along. They know that Thanos is very vigilant and will not be deceived again, so you have to take the initiative. And Sarka's trick is very simple. Confuse your opponent first, throw the brother over again, and finally hit the raid. But it was Loki who was thrown last time, and this time Loki is going to throw Thor. Thanos watches as Loki drags Thor over, but as the two get closer, there was something wrong with him. Thanos looks toward Thor's hand. The hammer was firmly touched by him. Is this what it looks like being tied up? This is what it looks like to fight. Stupid behavior. Thanos immediately clenched his double-edged sword and prepared to raise it. Artilda, the roar not far away made him look over. It turned out that Heimdall had already seen it. He sees Thanos reacting now, so shout without any hesitation to attract the attention of the other side. It turns out he succeeded. Thanos' warriors all looked at Heimdall, who was charging. It's now. Loki sees an opportunity. He throws Thor into the crowd with all his might. Ha! And Thor gathered the power of lightning directly in the air and smashed it in. Boom tilde. After a thunder and lightning, a dozen fighters under Thanos were blown away. And Thanos roared. He raised his twin blades and began to fight. And Loki rushed up with two daggers. Definitely he is not in vain. Instead, throw magic while rushing, looks like he wants to be a melee magician, so the battle begins in an instant, soldiers of Asgard came after hearing the roar, then they all charged up with weapons 4.9, Hulk, who heard the news at last, also arrived, as soon as he saw Thanos of the same size, Raw Tilda, immediately roared and rushed towards Thanos, as soon as Thanos saw Hulk, kicking Thor away to let Thor fight the others, and he charged at the Hulk, that's all, Thanos legion began to fight the Asgard refugees hand to hand, the entire hall of the transport ship began to crackle, and it was accompanied by the sound of PSSD puffing. I don't know how long it has been. Wait until the battle gradually stops, or the Asgard warriors who basically didn't fight all these years ended up almost completely wiped out. PSSD tilde. No, as Heimdall was stabbed to death by Thanos himself. At the time of his death, Heimdall looked at Thor still with a little unwillingness in his eyes. This is dissatisfaction with the future of Asgard, and Thor has been hammered and covered in blood. At present, Thor is the only warrior left in Asgard and Loki is the only magician left, and the last part of the battleship, only the last bit of the old, the weak, and the sick are left, at the moment Thor and Loki are both handcuffed and captured by Thanos' warriors, and Hulk was rested in the corner, bang bang, Thanos came over, he grabbed Thor's head and said, hand over the tesseract, Thor looked at Thanos angrily, without saying a word, Thanos' hand continued to squeeze hard, trying to crush Thor's head, after a while, Thor let out a cry of pain, I give you the tesseract, at this time, Loki couldn't stand it anymore and said proactively, No, Thor shakes his head weakly, and Loki looked at him, as if saying a final goodbye, No tricks, Thanos said, looking at Loki, Definitely, Loki reached behind him and took out the tesseract he had been hiding for a long time, Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.